Hello, doctors. Welcome back to second revision class for this upcoming FMG July. So first class we finish with bacteriology. That's a big topic, 50 to 60 percent I told. So another 40 percent, maybe even 50 percent can come from these three topics. What are the three important topics? And very easy topics. What are they? They are the virology topic, mycology, and parasitology. Okay. Why I say this is easy? Because bacteriology is somewhat they complicate you, give clinical diagnosis, that this, and they confuse you. But in these topics, what I have noted, they usually give the picture only. It's mostly, you know, they'll give you the identify, they give the picture and they'll identify it's a virus or it is the fungus or it is the parasite, you know. Accordingly, they will do. So it is easy. You will not miss anything. Okay. So now we'll start the revision immediately. So come with me, join. Even if you have not revised before, doesn't matter. Now with me, revision would be your main revision for you. You will be ready for the exam. Okay. So let's start. Now, viruses. Viruses, you've been repeatedly studying, okay? Now, you know already which is the largest and smallest viruses and all, okay? The largest virus is definitely the pox virus. Pox, the, you, you know, I always say, remember the pox virus is a box, pox, box, bada, hai na? So, remember like that. It's a brick shaped, well said. So, pox, remember like that. Pox or box. Pox virus is the biggest, largest virus. Smallest virus, you know, paru, choti paru. Choti, that is parvo, parvo virus, na? parvo b 19 parvo virus, that is we know that they have that movie ka kahani. Okay, we'll talk about that also. Now, the largest herpes virus. See, this question has been asked before, not now. In herpes virus, which is the largest one, if they ask, it's the CMV, cytomegalovirus. Okay, the name megalo, central megalo, no? megalo. Mega means big. So you can remember like that. That's it. Okay, very simple. Size virus me, pox, box, big, paru, paru, choti, paru. Okay, paru, smallest virus, and largest herpes virus. Virus structure. In virus structure, the, 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 the question, they don't ask much, but if they ask, see, we have two things, enveloped and non-enveloped viruses. Both the viruses have central what? They have this genetic material. So one important thing about the gen genetic material, number one, genetic material, number two would be the capsid. And number three is the envelope. Envelope is the third one, which is present only in the enveloped virus. So what are the important points? No. Genetic material, remember all the viruses, they have DNA or RNA, not both. Not like bacteria. Bacteria has both. Bacteria have both. But here for viruses, it's either DNA or RNA virus only. Not, never both. Okay, remember that one. Capsid is a capsid. It is basically protein substance. Envelope. When you talk about the envelope, the envelope is always taken from the host. Our host, but when the virus enters into the host, our body, it takes all this envelope from our body only. Okay, so it is coming from the host, one thing. Now, which is easy to kill? The, uh, a non-enveloped envelope, you know already. Enveloped is easy to kill. Easy to kill, okay? Easy to kill. So that means even your sterilization process made by chemicals or heat, whatever you use, you can kill the enveloped virus very easily than the non enveloped virus because the envelope is a structure, so you can destroy easily. In non enveloped, you can't do it, okay? So that's one point. This much later, I want to remember envelope is derived from the host and the virus is always DNA or RNA, never both. If they are both, then that could be a which one, a parasite or fungus or bacteria, okay? It will not be a virus, okay? Now, next point. Shape of the viruses. Important question. Definitely, you can expect one question from here. It's a guaranteed question from here. Okay. Now, what are the viruses? The first one, you see, it's a bullet shape, right? Look at this, a bullet, huh? bullet, like the gun, gun ka bullet. Huh? So bullet means, you know, what you do in olden days, what you do? When, what they do when there's a rabies dog, they kill it, they kill with a gun or bullet. So rabies, rabies virus, okay, rabies virus, rabies virus is the shape of bullet. That's, you know, very well. So this can be asked easily. And next, this one, this one is very easy. Look at this outside, look like a brick. Outside it looks like a brick, and inside the brick you have a dumbbell nucleus. Dumbbell nucleus, in a dumbbell of brick. See the name is this bada brick, bada dumbbell. So anything bada bada, I always told you what pox virus, pox, 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 pox is like a big box, right? So question can come from there. Remember, look at this. This is so beautiful. You know, this is called as a space vehicle, it's like a satellite. You can say satellite also, but usually it is called space vehicle. Space vehicle, okay, space. V H I C L E vehicle space vehicle so space vehicle which is a space vehicle you know space vehicle I always tell you remember I always tell you to remember that name very frequently who who has who wants a space vehicle our Adnan Swami adenovirus Adnan Swami adenovirus okay he helps the children I told you also that uh, clue will come there soon so space vehicle is adenovirus so any one of the question from here look at this beautiful what is this one this is like a cart wheel you know cart wheel like a wheel you know cart wheel so there are a lot of names usually they call this cart wheel only cart wheel 
कार्टविल सो व्हाट इज अ कार्टविल कार्टविल को क्या करना है व्हेन यू आर ड्राइविंग अ शिप व्हेन यू आर ड्राइविंग अ शिप और एनीवेयर व्हेन यू हैव अ व्हील व्हाट वी हैव टू डू विद द व्हील यू हैव टू यू हैव टू व्हाट यू हैव टू ऑलवेज रोटेट द व्हील सो रोटा वायरस रोटा वायरस रोटा वायरस ओके कार्टविल इज रोटा वायरस व्हिच कम्स अंडर द रियो फैमिली रियो वायरस विल टॉक बट रोटा वायरस एक्जेक्टली इट्स द कार्टविल अपीयरेंस सो मदर दैट क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्क ओके यस नाउ दिस वन लुक एट दिस दिस इज लाइक अ स्टार्स यू नो दे दीस वायरसेस दे आर लुकिंग लाइक अ स्टार्स इन द स्काई ओके दे आर लुकिंग लाइक अ स्टार्स इन द स्काई सो what is this one the star shaped virus is stars in the sky so when the name is has with this star then what is it star means what is a star star means it is the astro the name itself has astro virus astro virus star is astro virus okay this question was not asked much but you can expect also but cartwheel is important this other virus which talk is so important now we are coming to here look at this this virus this one you by clue you but seeing only you must be saying this it looks how look a filament it looks like a filament filament so it is which virus f is close to e ebola 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 virus okay so ebola virus is there this could be a question this can be a expected question ebola you know from the fruit bat you know that so now this one what about this one look at this this one beautiful virus everybody knows this you know uh, this is a common one everyone from school kids to our parents everybody knows this it's repeatedly does this petal like appearance okay so this is the petal petal shaped peplomus no because of petal shaped peplomus peplomus petals or sometimes also called as a club petal or club shaped club shaped peplomus so this all are same only okay petal shaped so which virus you already guessed you're right that is the covid or coronavirus coronavirus corona coronavirus okay corona the name is a is like a flower only like a flower petal now that's what okay corona okay so this can be they can, you can expect this also in your exam okay easy now next now dna rna viruses how to classify so now before going to dna rna viruses you you know about the or bacteria I mean you know gram positive and gram negative what we spoke in top of the gram positive i told the mcdonalds you whenever the positive people always go to eat in the mcdonalds i'm advertising for mcdonalds now first people going to mcdonalds okay okay fine let's leave it now for dna rna virus so for dna viruses dna virus and the rna viruses you have to remember only the dna viruses dna viruses of i love dna viruses because they are happy virus dna viruses are happy happy viruses okay h h a p p p i happy okay happy or why happy okay now what is this happy virus so in happy viruses what are the viruses coming in the happy h for herpes all the herpes virus are dna viruses and another h is for hepatitis b virus hbv virus okay that's called as hep dna we also call it as hep dna because only hepatitis virus which is dna is hepatitis b important question okay and a for adeno a for adeno virus also dna virus and what about other p we have two papilloma papilloma and other one is what parvo or choti paru parvo and other one is your pox pox virus the biggest virus so these all are dna viruses and all the dna viruses are what they are double stranded double stranded dna they are double stranded dna but there is an exception which is that only single stranded dna viruses you are going to tell now you are going to answer now you already know but you are going to tell me rest all other viruses are rna viruses okay rest all other viruses we want to talk all the things now okay so when rna viruses is usually single stranded all the rna viruses are single stranded except what is that except which has double stranded rna viruses we are going to talk now so you guessed already single who is single you see in the devdas movie our aishwarya rai was single she didn't get married at all that is what her name is paru paru is always single 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 choti paru so this is a single stranded rna virus goes to parvo virus expected easily asked question you know that many times it was repeated you would have seen the questions for sure even if forgot also i swear right power is always single only okay now double standard but double standard rna uh most type of single standard. who is double standard it is your rio virus if you remember the rio bird uh, okay you uh, you, uh, you must have watched that rio animation movie the rio bird it has double remember like this it has a double this uh, head horn like that you remember so which is that rio virus rio virus means rio under rio virus comes the rota virus so they are same family rio rota you can say rota virus okay the virus and one more virus is the colorado virus colorado virus colorado virus so they they have never asked this question before then if you forgot also three r's will come rio rota colorado virus okay very easy but rio you have to remember either rio or paru will be an expected question rio virus ka do hai this is like this it is looks okay finished okay so this you know very well now i'm going to jump to the next topic now they might ask you 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 you, you need a clue because many times they give you cases and tell they will give you indirectly dna naked virus rna naked virus so you should know by a shortcut so all the dna viruses are happy remember like that 
gram of all the gram positive bacteria gram positive people go, goes to mcdonald's all the dna virus are happy happy people okay now naked dna naked rna naked so how to do this it's also very simple so for dna viruses see any uh for uh if you want to take a uh vaginal let's say you want to make a pap smear you will tell what you tell the lady to go naked right so dna virus may if you want to if you want to take get naked a woman to you want to take a pap smear a woman you will tell her to go naked so pap pap okay so p for what papilloma papilloma because pox will not come that's also p starts with p so don't confuse papilloma other one is adenovirus and other a is what Parvo. Here also A comes. Parvo, right? A comes. But not the pox. Remember, option may exactly you will have pox, polio, kuch na kuch confuse karne ke, to confuse you, they might give. So don't choose that. Okay. Sorry, I will speak in English only because I know South Indian, many of our South Indian students are also having difficulty in understanding the Hindi. So, okay, I'll go with only English. Okay. So now for RNA viruses. RNA virus, what to do? See, what you do know? This girl is that Astra, Astro, Astro girl. She gives CPR nakedly. She gives CPR naked. Okay, so this is for the RNA viruses. But the DNA viruses, PAP, and Astro viruses got CPR. Okay, so what is this Astro? So you already know. It is the Astro virus. Uh, they might ask this three you should know cpr cpr or you remember when you want to do a cpr to a patient you have to go naked remember like that okay okay uh not necessary this is just for clue only so see for if you forget see such so many viruses how will remember this corona also there is calci also hepatitis c also don't worry see for kali calci calci this guy kali you know this guy kali our Kali the fighter. So remember him, Kali, Kalsi. Kalsi virus, he is naked. Of course, for fighting, you to go naked. And of course, to click his picture also, he goes naked. Pick, 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 pick corona, pick corona, pick corona. Okay, pick corona virus. See, very easy. R for Rio virus. Rio virus, of course, naked. Nobody have to cloth the Rio virus. Okay, so Rio virus. Rio means it again comes a rota will come into Rio. So rota is included. Okay, so these are naked virus. Very simple. CPR naked, pap smears naked. Two medical things you see, very easy. For pap smear also you go naked for doing cpr also you have to go naked but cpr may naked how you remember do not not to avoid the confusion of rna viruses kali took a good flick uh pick and then the bird okay rio bird they all go naked okay finished very simple you will never forget it okay what about this year now here negative sense you know who is negative there is this guy always you know negative i would call him very filthy prabo okay he's one of my friend is very negative you know i hate this guy because he's too negative he thinks all negative things only you know okay sir how to remember the prabo now prabo is a negative guy okay remember for exam we have few days for exam so this is the easy way to remember so prabo filthy is the fill over so fill this negative guy even if you forgot also fill this negative and p see p to uh, so many p's will be there but again if you want to uh, 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 I will give you the clue how to remember Param, Paramixo Paramixo, okay so Param, Mr. Param is, this is some Param guys are there, they are very negative people very negative, or Rhabdo virus of course, Rhabdo, see if you get a rabies, of course you will be negative no, so Rhabdo virus, Rhabdo virus when you get a rabies, you will be negative that, that's a negative dog, that's what it's giving it's biting you, negative, rabies negative A for, A for uh, I'll, uh, before coming to the A, let's go to these two. Uh, okay, first bunny, bunya, bunny, bunya. That is basically allo Arjun. Allo Arjun is girlfriend Arena. They are always together. They are negative. Unfortunately, they are negative. They are acting good in Pushpa movie. Everything allo Arjun is good. Bunny is acting very good. Other name for allo Arjun is bunny. Okay, it's good, but he is very negative. One more people, you know, in medicine in the department, if you go to any hospital, you know who is the most negative guys? Ortho guys. Ortho mixo virus, ortho mixo virus, okay, ortho mixo virus, negative, okay. Param negative, rabies virus is negative, rena and bunny are negative, and ortho is ortho negative, okay. This is the way you're going to remember. You will never ever forget. Expect question from here. Segmented viruses. Segmented, who is segmented? You see, when you go to any village, and if you, the segmented six pack or eight pack guy, whose names will be, if you like this Bora, Bora. If you go to Haryana or anywhere, even Tamil Nadu, wherever you go, the names are like Bora, 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 like that one, you know, they're big, gigantic guys, right? So, because they're segmented six pack guys. So, what is this? Again, I'm saying Bunya. Bunny, our bunny, Allo Arjun, which is girlfriend, Arena. Again, they're coming. See, they're negative also. And both of them are having six packs also. Very smart fellows. Okay. And over for ortho guys. You know why doctors choose ortho. The ortho guys want to get six pack and, you know, seduce 
or impress the girls, right? That's what they have six pack. So easy, you'll never forget. Ortho guys are segmented and negative guys, okay? At least this one you'll not forget. So R for segmented. You know what? If you see in that Rio movie, my favorite animation movie, the birds are like having six pack. You know, the birds was also segmented like this. Though it has double standard, the Rio bird, you know, it was very beautiful. I was surprised that the Rio birds are also segmented. So Rio virus. Very simple. Okay, don't you see a lot of B's and P's and A's will confuse you. So Bunny and a girlfriend, Arena are always together. One, don't forget. You will never forget if you remember Bunny and Arena. Arena is a girlfriend. And ortho guys are negative and segmented. You never forget. And then ortho and param are negative guys. That also you don't forget. Okay. And fill. Fill is also negative. This way you are able to. Okay. See, so easy. And now any question comes, they give you case. Whatever cases, you don't even have to go to cases. If you know this trick, negative guys, negative guy is bravo. And if the segmented guy is bora, easy, simple. Okay. And the naked me, again, once again, to repeat, pap and sip, CR, CPR. Okay. Now, Next is, uh, next, next, next is, now in prions disease, see prions disease, uh, a lot of diseases, see prions is basically protein material, just a protein material, there is no RNA or DNA, it's just a protein, no RNA or DNA, that means no nucleic acid, no RNA or DNA, it's not there, okay, only protein is a P for prion, P for protein, so in human animal disease, see so many diseases are there, so in human disease, you, I'm not going to discuss a medicine topic, but just want to revise, Kruspal Jacob disease, anything with Kruspal Jacob, because Jacob is a human, you know? Jacob is a human, so it's a human disease, and other one is your uh, just man, G R E S T, just man, Schindler. This I'm not going to write because the names, uh, spellings are difficult. Just man is also man, so human. Other one is all the man only will have what fatal insomnia. Animals will never complain about insomnia. Only man will come. So these three diseases were repeated so many years. These questions are coming. They are human. Rest all are animal prions. Like anything with bovine, uh, scrappy, uh, like the spongy form, you know, spongy form. All these things go for animals. So this question might come. Except or whatever it comes. So don't make mistake. Okay. Encephalopathy, bovine, etc. etc. Now. Prions killing agent might be very important. So, you know, who, prions is the most resistant one among all the bacteria, virus, parasite, whatever you take, even the spores, more than spores, the most resistant thing is prions. Followed by prions, next only is your spores, and then comes the TB, non virus, etc., etc., so on. So, how to kill it? To, you know, who can kill, you know, you know, the girls know. Who can kill your prion? Only your SARS. Only your SARSuma, SARSuma is like mother in law, right? If I'm not mistaken, it's the mother-in-law. Only a mother-in-law can kill the thing. So how, how a mother-in-law will kill a prion? It's very simple. Yes, for sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Okay. Around 1N. 1N they use. And then for 1R. Yeah, for 1R. Sodium hydroxide. A for autoclave. Autoclave, but not the normal temperature. Normal temperature, you know, autoclave is 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes for 15 pressure. Okay, 151 degree normal. Here you are raising it for 144 degrees Celsius for one hour. You have to leave it longer because it's very resistant. And another SS was sodium hypochlorate. Sodium hydroxide and also sodium hypochlorate. Sodium hypochlorate, how much you will be using? You're using only 0.5 percentage. That's it. If you get a question, your chocolate prions are highly resistant. To kill a prion, you need only SAS. Only you need a mother-in-law. Only she can kill. Okay, SAS. SAS maka, I told. Sodium hypochlorate, autoclave and sodium hypochlorate. Okay, revision, revision, revision. So I'm going to run. Okay. Excuse me. Now bodies. Bodies is another favorite exam. Every exam is favorite topic. They will ask you. So you should know. So the two types of bodies. You have intranuclear bodies and intracytoplasmic body. So in intranuclear, we, uh, we have two types. Cowdery A and Cowdery B type. Okay. So the shortcut is very simple. Hey, Bob. You simply get, you say to your daddy, say, say to your papa. Hey, Bob. Okay. Hey, Bob. That's it. Okay. Hey, Bob. So this is A inclusion. This is B inclusion. So for A inclusion, H stands for herpes. Herpes and Y stands for yellow fever. Yellow fever. Okay. Here, BAP ke liye A for A stands for your uh, adeno and P stands for polio virus. Adeno and polio virus. You can have question. Hey, BAP say you can have one question. Please, very important. Don't forget. Cowdery A body and Cowdery B body. Okay. Intranuclear. So now, now I'm going to make it even more easier and chocolatey for you. Uh, okay. So herpes. Herpes, what is the body name? Herpes usually comes in the lips. Remember HSV1, we're going to talk soon. It usually comes in the lips. So that is called so that is called lips. No, so you call this lip shoals. Lip Schulz bodies, lip shoals bodies, lip shoals bodies. So lip may herpes, you get herpes on your lips. 
So lip shut. So shut your lips. Okay, you get herpes. So shut your lips like that. You remember lip lip. You came. Hello fever. Hello fever. Me see. Hello fever. Who gets tourist? When you are tourist, you will get what tourist body. You call tourist body. You remember tourist body. Tourist when they travel to other country. India me there is no hello fever. You know very well. So when you go to other country as a tourist, you will get this thing. So tourist hello fever. Okay, well, tourist will get hello fever. Right. I did not follow no names. Okay, just you have to remember quadrupeds or bug bug. Okay. Now into cytoplasmic body. In this article, buddy, this is a standard and you should know there is no way you're going to miss this. Rabies virus. What is the rabies virus? Called body name? Negri body. Negri body. Okay. Negri bodies. You know that very classically. No need clue. Negri means it is your. Negri is giri, giri, giri got dog bite. So this is the negri body you're seeing in this picture. You We will see in rabies virus also. But even now itself, you see inside the neuron, inside the neuron, this thing, you know, the small stained structures you're seeing. The stain stain those are the negri bodies okay that's rabies virus molascum contagiosum you'll know now it's will discuss there also now what's it become in molascum contagiosum you know who got who got peter gets so that body name is henderson peterson henderson henderka son is peter peter parker spider-man i'll come there don't worry peterson peterson body okay this could be a question also asked okay and the vaccinia vaccinia and variola both are pox virus only for vaccinia you know who uh, who gets vaccine my friend this girl gauri guarneri my uh, my friend name is my friend name her name is yes her name is guarneri guarneri gauri guarneri okay she like she gives vaccine she takes vaccine okay vaccine yeah virus so guarneri bodies guarneri bodies what ola you know these days ola is very fashionable you know even the ola cars are very fashion that means passion body, P A S H passion body, passion body, not the fashion, passion. You remember Olas are fashion, so passion body is very easy. Okay, very simple. Now foul box. Foul when you're playing a football, foul ball, no foul ball. When you're playing football, foul ball. So it is bowlinger bodies, bowlinger bodies, bowlinger bodies. So these questions, these days the bodies questions have recently been decreased. So this year. You might get if you're lucky, you might get okay. So don't miss anything. Very, very simple. Now, this is the coronary. And look at this beautiful, beautiful body. What see, this is okay. Before going there, so we talked about intranuclear and intracytoplasmic, but there are some places both the bodies of both intranuclear and intracytoplasmic bodies are present. What is it for that both are present? MM shortcut is MM M for measles, measles, and other MS for cytomegalovirus, CMV virus. MM again. So, so now what was this one? This is the owl eye. Owl eye, so you know, repeated 100 times. They must have asked this question. Owl eye inclusion body means who is having an owl? So, Chief Minister, CMB, CMB, cytomegalovirus. We're going to talk again there also. PJ, now you remember back, you're going to talk again. We're going to talk. Owl eye is CMB, CMB, owl eye body. So, okay, finished. Very, very simple and easy. See, no, you don't have to worry at all. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. No, animal viral cultivation. Virus cannot be cultivated. There is no culture media for virus and all. Okay. Artificial culture media like uh, begin uh, we store the mekong kegar blood agar chocolate for bacteria but not for the virus there is no culture at all we do only animal and like cell line culture and all or egg inoculation animal inoculation the most commonly used one is the suckling mice because which animal is most common many animals but suckling mice is the most commonly used one okay number one now cell line cell lines is important this can have a role so if you have primary cell line we have secondary cell line and continuous cell line continuous cell line continuous cell line okay primary secondary and continuous cell line so they might ask you example of this cell line so primary cell line what is the example you're going to give for the primary cell line so for primary cell line the uh, classic examples would be here for primary cell line, you know primary means it's something human animal like that so it is the human um, human amniotic human amniotic cell human amniotic, so human monkey when you talk about monkey it is a rhesus monkey kidney cell rhesus monkey kidney cell rhesus monkey kidney cell okay again human monkey then chicken so chicken for chicken it is a chicken embryo chicken embryo okay chicken embryo is used okay this is a primary cell and that means the cell division is normal they take uh, regular you know one to two two to like it goes in a proper channel not excess okay that is a primary so this is a primary so you will not make mistake easy secondary fibroblast also asked recently one of the exam they asked which is fibroblast belong to secondary cell line so you can virus can grow here also third one is continuous that is important continuous basically cancer cells they are from the they derive from different laryngeal cancer or your uh, any cancer synovial carcinoma any carcinoma particularly the cancer so examples are hella hepa mccoy KB, 
these are the cells. These are the hella, hepa, gipa. These are special cells for growing this thing. Of course, you can we were using this in chlamydia and rickettsia also, if you remember. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. Now, egg inoculation. Egg inoculation. See, egg has what are the parts egg has? Egg, you know, egg has four parts. What are, let's start from center. So first is the yolk cell. Yolk cell. And then it has the allantoic. Allantoic cavity. Allantoic cavity. Allantoic cavity. And then we have the amniotic 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 cavity amniotic cavity and then we have cam choreo amino membranic choreo amino membrane okay choreo amniotic membrane okay now 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 look yolk sacs is important you can have a question what are the three see yolk sacs are usually uh, carried in a car you have to carry the yolk sac in the car why sir why because c for chlamydia we already spoke in chlamydia r for rickettsia Rickettsia, Rickettsia, A for adenovirus, same thing, nothing much, okay, okay, so chlamydia, Rickettsia, adenovirus, allantoic cavity is for, again, influenza, influenza, vaccine, for vaccine production, Allen, you know, this Allen, my friend, you know, she makes influenza vaccine, Allen, she makes vaccine, but amniotic cavity, influenza grows, influenza virus will grow there, influenza virus, virus grows, for vaccine, I'm using Allen is making vaccine. For amniotic cavity, may influence virus growth. That's it, very simple. Cam, cam. You know, always remember when you have a cam, you always take what you have it. You'll be you'll take very nice hot viva. The hot viva camera. Hot viva camera has a very good picture. So what is that hot viva camera here, sir? H for HSV, HSV virus, and then VI for variola and vaccinia, variola and vaccinia, variola and vaccinia. That's it, variola and vaccinia. Okay. So this is this is a, you don't need a picture on this outer action, this amniotic cavity, uh, just for a picture like on the X. Okay. So you might have any question they can ask you. Which of the following grows where they can ask you? So be careful. At least influencer you must know. Allantoic and amniotic membrane. Vaccine means allantoic, and if it's virus growth amniotic membrane cam for hot wave virus okay finish nice now next this is where i'm going super fast now we have so many topics to cover and all important easy topics don't worry so herpes virus is one two three four five six one is basically herpes simplex virus one only and two is herpes simplex virus two only nothing different three three see three is one stroke two stroke three stroke so it looks like a z so herpes zoster virus herpes zoster virus is hsv3 hsv4 four ka See, Epstein, EBV, EBV. So, B, bar, no, Epstein, bar, B, A, double, R. So, it's four, letter one, two, three, four. So, it's four. Five is basically, see, this five, if you put this teacher C, if you put ulta, it becomes C, no. So, CMV virus. Six and seven, it starts with, yes. So, it is, uh, it, the, the disease causing, it is causing roseola, roseola, S is there, infanto, infanto, or it's called, Exanthema, 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 subitum, subitum, S for S. So six and seven would be yes, yes will come. That's it. Okay, Rosial in front of expected question, expected question. You can have. And HSV A to you know, it is the uh, two things it causes. The important thing is that one is you know, Kaposi sarcoma. Kaposi sarcoma, very commonly asked, HIV patient may most common vascular tumor. And the other one is your effusion lymph lymphoma, effusion lymphoma, also effusion lymphomas. Okay, this common. So, couple of circumstances expected question, expect this question, expect this question. Okay, very important. Now, next, now let's go to the individual diseases. I'm waiting for this, it's very nice. So, uh, herpes simplex virus is number one. Uh, H is the herpes virus means you know you get the vesicles. All the herpes you see the AV vesicles is the characteristic feature. You see the lips, mean there is this vesicle. So, the lesions are usually when you talk about the waist region above umbilicus, it's usually one is above umbilicus, two is below the umbilicus. So, whenever it happens in the lips, you call it as herpes labialis, herpes labialis, labialis, okay, Le lips, so it is labialis, okay, eyes, you see this one, you in, in uh, ophthalmologic question, it could be dendritic ulcer, dendritic ulcer, dendritic ulcer, okay, fingers, you call herpetic, herpetic, with low, with Low, with low, herpetic with low, finger means with low, herpetic with low, finger, okay, anything can be questioned, okay, please careful, the picture, any of the picture come, look at this, if it's on the face, it's with the boxes, breastless, so breastless, when they do, the name is called what, herpes gladiatorum, gladiator movie, like a gladiator movie, army movie, no, so gladiatorum, 
gladiatorum okay hespis gladiatorum any question can come easy pc the vegetable equal market now the most important so complication is a question frequently asked these days whatever of encephalitis you have in herpes and then if you don't treat it usually it goes up to the brain it causes the disease what is that uh, encephalitis name it is called as sporadic or temporal sporadic or temporal low and Encephalitis, sporadic or temporal encephalitis. This is a question frequently asked. Okay, they will ask you. You have to remember anything sporadic, it will be HSV. HSV1, HSV1. Okay, HSV1. So that is a question. Please remember ganglion. So it is because upper parts so will be trigeminal ganglion. Trigeminal ganglion. Usually it remains in the trigeminal ganglion. Okay, trigeminal. This is also question asked. Okay, every point is important. So please remember trigeminal ganglion. Try. Okay, right. Now, HSV2. HSV2, it is, you know, it is a basically HSV2 should be a, it is what STD, it's a sexual test. That means it is below the waist. Below the waist means what will happen? You see, this is herpes, the genital region. So you have painful vesicles or ulcer, painful vesicle in STD disease, in sexually transmitted disease, especially STD ulcer disease, we already discussed in uh, bacterial disease, painful vesicle or ulcer, multiple, okay, multiple painful vesicle will be there, okay? And what you do, you take a smear, what is the smear the name? Sang smear. This question was asked recent exam. They asked you make a sang smear with gymsa stain. Gymsa, you put in sang smear is basically you're scrapping that vesicle from the base when you put in. And then you do a gymsa and see what you're going to see. You see this cells, this cells, this multinucleated giant cells. Okay. That is called mul MNGC. MNGC. That means multi nucleated nucleated giant cell multinucleated giant cell multinucleated giant cell okay this one related now ganglion ganglion basically this is the sacral ganglion it's basically the sacral ganglion sacral ganglion sacral ganglion okay got it okay this is question yes for second so second sacral ganglion that is easy only you don't have to confuse too much yeah okay now brain complication now brain complication you know hsv2 causes something called molarex meningitis Molarex is basically recurrent meningitis. Recurrent meningitis. This is all are in children only. Recurrent meningitis. Recurrent meningitis. Molarex. Molarex or recurrent meningitis. Recurrent. Okay. Recurrent meningitis. Yeah. Okay. So this also. Molarex meningitis. Uh, yes, for second, second sacral ganglion. These are important, important points. Thanks, Mir. MNGC will definitely come. So this uh, multinucleate giant cell, you can see in both HSV, also in the herpes zoster virus. In both, in both the cases, you will see this multinucleated giant cell. Okay, that's it. Very, very simple. So you will not make mistake there. Now let's go to the next virus, HHV. So HHV3 is a virus zoster. In children, you call it as chicken pox. In children, it is called as the chicken pox. In adults, you call it as what? Shingles, 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 okay? Shingles. Bacillus zoster, herpes zoster, they all are same only. Herpes, that is zoster, basically zoster, okay? So chicken pox. Chicken pox in children, we told. So first is in the chicken pox. In chicken pox, the rashes are, the rashes in uh, shingles, it is totally different. Children and adults is different. In children, you see the rash. First of all, what was it? It's a pleomorphic rash. Pleomorphic, the word pleomorphic comes, it's chicken pox. Chicken pox, pleomorphic rash, pleomorphic rash. Okay, uh, so that means pleomorphic means different types of rashes. There is pustule, there is pustule, there is vesicle, there is papule, everything is a crust, everything is there. So pleomorphic rash. And it's a centripetal. Centripetal. Centripetal means they start from the central part of which start on the face and chest, and then it goes to the uh, extremities. Extremities. So that's what centripetal. So pleomorphic, centripetal, both are important. You'll have a question from that. Okay, right. Now complication. The most common complication, you know, it would be the secondary skin infection, staphylococcus infection. And uh, it's usually secondary skin infection that's usually caused by staphylococcus. Okay. Severe. When you talk about severe, anything severe, that is your pneumonia. So what type of pneumonia you will get? You will get the, the pneumonia name is called varicella pneumonia. Varicella pneumonia. Varicella pneumonia. Ray syndrome is when this patient with a zoster, uh, he's taking aspirin. If he's taking aspirin, he very likely get what? Fatty liver. Fatty liver. Ray is having fatty liver. Ray got, Mr. Ray, he got he got chicken pox and he took aspirin and then he ended his fatty liver. That's it. Okay. Infective period. Infective period is very important. It is two days before the rash and five days after the rash. Because measles also, we have the same question. Measles, it will be four days, five days. Here it is two days, five days. Okay. Two days before the rash, 
five days after the rush. So this question is expected repeated. Every question, every point is important here. You can get any question. Okay. Yes. Now next. Next is the chicken pox in pregnancy. Chicken pox in pregnancy also an important question, expected question. Hmm. What happened? Excuse me. So neonatal varicella. Neonatal varicella means. Ha. Huh, neonatal varicella is when it happens. Uh, when the pregnant lady just before delivery, five days before and two days after, it's like rash corpus. It, um, when you talk about the infected period, it's two days before, five days after. But here we talk about the neonatal varicella when the pregnant just before delivery, five days before and two days after delivery, get a neonatal varicella. This question can come. So treatment, if you, if the woman during pregnancy time, she got, during delivery time, if she got chickenpox, what to do? Only thing you have to do is that you have to give immunoglobulin. Immunoglobulin uh, for chickenpox plus uh, acyclovir. Uh, for children, you want a, a cyclovir, immunoglobin and acyclovir. That's a sufficient. Okay. Now, what about congenital varicella syndrome? In congenital varicella syndrome, this is number one. Congenital varicella syndrome. In congenital varicella syndrome, what happens is that yes, yeah, the primary infection happens during it happens in the early pregnancy, not during delivery time. During her pregnancy time is of early pregnancy. If she gets herpes. Then what happened? She might get this. The babies usually end up what? This one, you know very well. This is the baby can microcephaly with this picture called limb hypoplasia. Limb hypoplasia. Okay. And here, this is a scar. This is called psychiatrical. This is scar. You see scar on the skin. Psychiatrical skin lesion or other one is limb hypoplasia, of course, microcephaly also. They can have microcephaly also. But these two will come. This picture, they'll give you limb hypo. There is no limb. You see, limb is gone. Limb hypoplasia and the psychiatric scar lesion. That question will come. So, if pregnancy lady exposed to chicken pox, what do you do? You know that many of your friends also must be asking your relatives, uh, pregnant, uh, uh, got exposed to chicken, what to do? Only thing is you have to tell her to take immunoglobulin plus acyclovir, not vaccination. Acyclovir, okay? Not to give the vaccine, not the live vaccine. Because not to give the life, because okay, A, here in neonatal treatment, you can give vaccine, no problem. Child can give, you can give vaccine to the child. But here for pregnant mother, you can't, baby is already inside, no? so it would kill the thing. So it's a live vaccine, so you don't give, okay? Here, about, even in neonatal, also usually immunoglobin acyclovir flavor is sufficient. You don't uh, vaccine content, but not wrong. But in pregnant lady, the live vaccine, which vaccine number? OKA strain. OKA strain. OKA strain. This is the strain. It's a live vaccine. So it is dangerous for the fetus. So you can't give. So don't give this live vaccine. That's what not to give. Okay, not to give. Only what? Immunoglobin and the uh, uh, immunoglobin against the chicken pox and the acyclovir is sufficient. Okay, that's it. This question, you expected question, congenital varicella or neonatal varicella, one question you can expect. Okay, easily. Now, next, shingles. In what shingles? Yeah, now we talk about the shingles. Uh, usually, adults. It's usually, shingles will be in adults. Rashes, you see, there, chicken pox was bilateral, both the side. Here, rashes usually unilateral side. First, of all, unilateral side. See, it's unilateral and it's along the dermatomes. Dermatomes along the nerves, wherever the nerves ends, you know, there only you have like this. And it's very, very, very painful. Severe. It's very painful. Huh? So, see this one or this one. You can get picture like this and they to identify. Usually, they can ask you uh, which virus, that is, shingles herpes was a reactivation. In adult, when the herpes, again, reactivation of the herpes reactivation due to reactivation of this herpes simplex virus you can get and the most common complication you know in uh, shingles is the post herpetic neuralgia neuralgia very 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 severe pain pain goes for months and months so in that case what you prescribe you usually prescribe the gabapentin gabapentin or Pre gabalin, pre gabalin, pre gabalin. This question was also asked many times. You know that for pain, you have to continue this medication. Okay. And here, I we simply call this zoster ophthalmicus. Zoster ophthalmicus. It can end with the blindness also. Ophthalmicus. Zoster ophthalmicus, the condition name. And the syndrome and the vaccine syndrome. The syndrome is, you know, who is this guy? This is uh, Justin Bieber. He also got this um, syndrome. What syndrome? If you know, Ramsey, okay, Ramsey Hunt syndrome, Ramsey Hunt syndrome. So, Ramsey Hunt syndrome, which is genie, Ram is like a genie, geniculate, and a genie, Ram is like a genie, geniculate, okay. 
और राम से जेन हाउ वो यू वॉन्ट ओके राम से हंड सिंड्रोम दिस क्वेश्चन कैन सो राम गॉड वॉट चिकन बॉक्स जस्टिन बेबर गॉट चिकन बॉक्स आई मीन शिंगल्स शिंगल्स रिएक्टिवेशन ऑफ दिस ओके मिस्टर राम गॉट जसिंग एंड राम राम लाइक्स जीनी लाइक दैट ओके दैट्स इट सो यू गेट दिस पैरिस फेशियल नो पैरिस एंड देन because of the gene equilibrium ganglion affected so you get one side uh, this thing okay paralysis right okay so now here is so uh, uh, over now the next one next one is your hhv hhv we already told bar you know uh, b a r so four virus so why i put this paul here and uh, it is this picture mm, once again if i move like this so you can see paul is in the bar you've seen this picture right he is in the bar okay why i will tell you why is in the bar bar because epstein bar virus you know that one it is because of the epstein bar virus okay so this paul walker not anymore yeah but he is going to help us in the disease epstein barr virus so paul this is paul because paul bunner test will come that's why i'm making paul paul what he do he is going to drink uh, at age of 21 at age of 21 he is going to have going to wear bar he is going to bar okay you remember that cd21 cell is primarily affected lymphocyte cd21 and the receptor is simply cr cr5 cr2 receptor cr2 receptor okay cr2 receptor and cd21 okay this is the primary cell so the primary infection happens in the b cells of oropharynx oropharynx okay pharynx main thing it happens in the oral cavity this is also important question okay cd21 was the question 21 at age of 21 he was going to bar paul and then oropharynx may he got this problem and what is his favorite thing he loves kissing you know kissing disease kissing disease kissing bug is you know that is tom cruise trypanosoma cruzi cruzi this is kissing this is all infectious mononucleosis infectious mononucleosis question was also repeatedly asked sometimes they call glandular fever also glandular fever everything is important here infection kissing disease okay the type of cell raised here is of course you have what atypical lymphocytosis atypical lymphocytosis this question also can come monocytes or lymphocyte that's what you call lymphocytosis lymphocyte which is monocyte also included it comes in that monocyte you know that's what you call uh, infectious mononucleosis you know mononucleosis so lymphocyte atypical lymphocytosis is a typical word you can have downy cell is again basically a this is just a uh, downy cell is basically a um, uh, it's like a, the cells affected cells atypical lymphocyte they have the cells looks like you know it's like a, they are wearing the girl is wearing a skirt ballerina skirt ballerina ballerina skirt you know it's in from the uh, your pathology ballerina skirt appearance okay that's called downy cell so he's down to earth you know that who paul is down to earth downy but down to earth cell okay now you know that unfortunately he died with car accident but here how we are going to remember our paul before dying he had so many cancers f due to epstein barr virus so many cancers what are the cancer one is the one is the gastric carcinoma gastric carcinoma which is most common cancer most common cancer of epstein barr virus epstein virus most common cancer is gastric carcinoma only okay now what about the uh, this one what about ent ent it causes a nasopharyngeal carcinoma nasopharyngeal carcinoma in the chinese people chinese chinese people so nasopharyngeal carcinoma most common cause is epstein barr virus but most common cause of epstein barr virus is gastric carcinoma the two questions are very important don't forget so our paul had nasopharyngeal carcinoma gastric carcinoma oral what is this picture this is oral hairy leukoplakia oral hairy leukoplakia also hairy leukoplakia leukoplakia also for a paul that is epstein barr virus okay leukoplakia lymphoma many lymphomas of course hodgkins hodgkins lymphoma the characteristic cell is reed steinberg cell this picture you will have this is reed steinberg cell they can give you this picture okay you see multiple lymphocytes are inside no like this like this this thing okay so it looks like owl cell but it's not owl like bodies okay this is just reed steinberg we steinberg cells okay this question will come reed steinberg cell and then of course it causes non hodgkin non hodgkin and it causes the burkitts burkitts these are the other lymphoma any lymphoma you say it is epstein barr virus okay you not forget duncan syndrome duncan is basically a lymphoproliferative disease it's a lympho proliferative proliferative disorder it's a lymphoproliferative disorder diagnosis is of course epstein barr any any virus of course it would be what elisa or pcr but here but here the important test to his you know that one which is that test paul bunnell test that's what i brought this name paul bunnell test if you know know this what is the use epstein barr who goes to barr paul goes to barr paul bunnell test at age of 21 so here basically using the sheep rbcs it's a heterophile test it's a heterophile test 
like your wheel felix reaction like your so many you know like a mat cat so many test reactors sorry cat cat test this also heterophile like wheel felix okay heterophile test Ah, okay, so this is one of the important questions they can ask. Paul Bunnell test. Okay, Paul Bunnell will fix our heterophile tests. Okay, next. Now, next virus. Next virus is a CM virus. CM, any CM. Here it's Arvind Kejriwal because we are in Delhi. But you can take any of your CM. Always don't forget every CM in their house, they have owl. Okay, don't forget. They grow owl. And especially when you go to Kejriwal house, you get a pizza. And also you'll get what? Blueberry muffin you'll get. Please remember, when you go to CM Kejriwal's house, you will have an owl and you will get pizza and blueberry muffin. Blueberry muffin. You will never ever forget this in life long. Okay. So, congenital CMV. So, it can be congenital CMV. It could be adult CMV or it could be immunological CMV. Okay. Here. Uh, here, here, here. What are the disease we are going to remember now here? Yes. So, brain. In brain congenital CMV, you know, you have microcephaly. There will be microcephaly. And calcification. Calcification is common. Every most viruses in brain affected, they cause calcification, microcephalus only. Nothing much. Rash, that's what I told you what? Blueberry muffin. Blueberry muffin. Blueberry muffin is in rubella also. And here, CMB also. Okay. Blueberry, blueberry rashes. Blueberry muffin rashes, you can see on the skin. This in adult and adults here also, it causes what? Infectious mononucleosis. Infectious mononucleosis. But only thing is that, which is negative? Your Paul bundle will be negative here. Paul, the exam also, you, they'll give you questions, same infection, etc., etc. But Paul bundle is negative or heterophile test is negative. If negative means it's a CM, cytomegalovirus. Okay, positive means it is Epstein Barr virus. Okay, Paul bundle because Paul goes only to bar, Epstein Barr. Okay, now I, immunocompromised patient, may I, you know that in immunocompromised patient, CMV causes one disease. That is, you have to remember, no, if you forget, the, you, you can't, you know, no, nobody can forgive you for it. Okay, that is, disease name is. CMV retinitis. It is like you even if uh, when you're sleeping, somebody asks, you should be ready to tell CMV retinitis. CMV causes eye may cause retinitis, not keratitis, conjunctivitis, nothing. It causes retinitis. And CD4 count should be less than 50. I told only two virus, two infections. One is CMV, other one is your microbiome, avium, intracellular, MAC complex, TB, MAC complex. You know, it comes into microbiome like a TB. So these comes when the CD4 goes less than 50. Now diagnosis same. You could you do this uh, monospot test, monospot test, or uh, uh, in, uh, you take for, you check for the atypical lymphocytosis. But main thing is what when you this is this is the see, this is the pizza pie. Why I say you got pizza pie being CMV retinitis? You see this pizza pie appearance, pizza. Pi appearance, okay, pizza pie appearance. This question. So pizza pie, you remember CMB, CML, CMK Jiva. Okay. Now in the when you do the inclusion bodies, the main thing that you do monospot, etc. etc. But then the main thing is this: what you see, owl eye. That's what I did. Every CM has owl eye in his host, owl eye, owl eye inclusion body. So you'll never forget. This came in my exams also. Every exam it came in my PG time, the FMG time, uh GOG, everywhere, every MD exam, everywhere it came. Treatment is C looks like a G. So GAN cyclovir. GAN cyclo. GAN cyclovir. C looks like G. GAN cyclovir. Okay. Finished. So this is a lot of question, question, question. Expected questions. Okay. Yes. Now next. HHV6. When you go for the HHV6 virus, uh, uh, we already talked about this. Yes, this is there. So the disease name is what? Erythema. Uh, sorry. Exanthema. Exanthema subitum. Subitum. Other one is? Other name is called Roseola. Roseola. Yes, it's the Roseola infantum. This, you can see the rashes around the body. Okay, like this, 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 this. And other one is called sixth day disease. Sixth day disease. Sixth day disease. This one, if you see this blue color, this tumor, this is a vascular tumor. So when you see a vascular tumor, that is what? Kaposi sarcoma. Kaposi and the, they will give you history of what? HIV positive. So in HIV positive with this vascular tumor come, that is your HHV8, Kaposi sarcoma. This question also can come. Expected question. Okay, very, very simple and easy. Now we'll go to adenoviruses. Okay, now adenoviruses. Say, Paul, already I told you, space vehicle, Adnan Swami ke paas kya space vehicle, hai, and he helps all the children with all multiple infections. He loves children, no? He loves the children. So children, what happened? The children whom he wants to help, they all have different infections. One in I, they, one thing is they had this... They had the swimming pool conjunctivitis. The kids were in a swimming pool and they got swimming pool conjunctivitis. Okay. And throat, they got pharyngitis. 
pharyngitis. That's what sometimes we call it as pharyngoconjunctival fever. Pharyngoconjunctival fever. Adenovirus. Okay. This classic question they can ask. GIT what? Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Uh, diarrhea. Most common cause of diarrhea in children is rotavirus. But adenovirus can also cause either. So this combination, pharyngitis, diarrhea combination, if they give you an exam, just mark adenovirus. It's correct. Okay. Then you give hemorrhagic bladder may there was hemorrhagic cystitis cystitis and what is the use your use of adenoviruses you remember for any vaccine production we need adenovirus vector for vaccine vaccine vector is adenovirus vaccine vector is adenovirus so it is for any so adenoswami also helps in what children and also helps in making vaccine for many diseases even for covid also covid vaccine multiple vaccine you see this is the main uh vector it's used as a vector okay so this is so space vehicle swimming pool conjunctivitis all these things it comes okay so it's very simple you not make mistake children with multiple and you know a den full of children crying sneezing uh but uh, you know uh, hemorrhagic cystitis everything diarrhea everything will be adenovirus okay right Next, HPV, hey, human papillom virus, human problem virus, definitely expected question. You can't leave this topic. So, HPV, when I talk about HPV protein, we have different L1, L2. See, L1 and L, L1 is for vaccine. One always, number one is vaccine. Number one is vaccine. L1 is for vaccine. E2, nothing is there. For E4 and E5, what is important for E4 and E5 is, we're going to talk now. E4, E5, C4 and 5, they are there for Coilocytes, they help in formation of coilocytes. Coilocytes are basically again cervix cancer ka typical cell, atypical cells. Okay, cervix cancer ka atypical cells. So you see this inside inside this cell, there's this elevated uh, uh, racinoid, you call it as racin like appearance. Racin like nucleus. The nucleus is like uh, uh, so in pathological, if you make a smear and see, make a biopsy and see, you see racin, racin. So coilocytes, okay, coilocytes, racin, HPV. Okay, so remember like that. I remember the coquilla, coquilla got cervical cancer and she likes to eat what? Raisins, raisins, okay, raisins. So this question can be raisin, who eats coquilla? Coquilla is coilo, we say coquilla. Coquilla is common name in South India. Coquilla has cervical cancer and she eats raisin, pass, okay. Right. Now E6 and E6, E7 is another very, very, very important role. If you ask me what is the role, yeah. So what you do, in E5, E6, E5, E6 it inhibits the P53. P and 6 is equal to same. P ulta, if you do, it becomes 6. So, P53 inhibition. E7 inhibits the retinoblastoma. So, because of these two are inhibited, there is increased risk of what? Cervix cancer. Cervix cancer. Cervix cancer. Okay. CR, this is B. Okay. Very cancer. Vaccines. So, vaccines, you know, the, so I'm not going to talk about all the vaccines are so not here now. So, but if you want to remember now. So, there is two vaccines. One is Cervarix, Cervarix and other one is the Gardasil, Garda, Gardasil, you at least know Cervarix is only covers the HPV, which one? In HPV 16 and 18, whereas your Gardasil covers the 16, 18 and also your 6 and 11, 6 and 11 and we have Gardasil 9 also that covers more um, additional serotypes also, okay, but at least for now you remember these two. A recommended age, uh, sexually active ages of at age of six, uh, just after attending ages of they have to start, okay, early age, okay, just the uh, onset of on the on school age, in school age itself, you will be given the vaccine should be given, service card as accordingly, okay, right. Now, uh, next question here will be, huh, subtypes, you see, lesions, uh, HPV means itself, you know, all this HP viruses cause of so many warts only. So, 1, 2, 3, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, they all cause the warts, okay, plantar warts, plantar warts. But one is deep, one always first is deep, second is superficial, superficial plantar warts. I'm talking about warts. Any word warts comes, no, it is your HPV, HPV cause warts, okay. Three is again, is a plano warts, they call it as plano Watch simply plano plano watch four is basically varicosa varicosa verusiformis varicosa verusiformis okay they call vv okay v v is like v uh, c v v okay v v okay varicosa variformis four okay that's it five and eight this one causes epidermo epidermolytic uh, epidermolytic verusiformis, epidermolytic verusiformis or dysplasia, we call epidermolytic dysplasia. So what happened here, this is genetic condition, this thing, so epidermo, uh, epidermolytic verusiformis, this is called tree man syndrome, tree man syndrome, tree man syndrome. 
If you forget also E for eight, no, eight. E -H -H, eight. And five F I V E ends in E. Five and eight. They causes abnormalitic dysplasia or variciformis. Okay, dysplasia, abnormalitic dysplasia, abnormalitic tree man syndrome. This looks like a tree man. This is the plantar watch. All one, two, three, four, there was the plantar watch. Seven is a little bit different. Seven, you call it as. Uh, seven, you call it as. Seven is like, you say, axe. No, it's like axe. So, butcher's, butcher's knife, you know, butcher's what? It's called butcher's what? Okay, this question also can be asked. This was repeated. Uh, butcher's is repeated, asked question. Okay. Generally, they have watch picture only, but then you know, you have to know all the things also. 6 and 11, very important. You can have question from 6, 11 and other these 16, 18. So, 16, 18, 31 is very simple. They cause what? Cervix carcinoma mainly, followed by some anal, uh, anal carcinoma. Pinel carcinoma also possible. Pinel carcinoma are also possible. Mostly, but cervix carcinoma is the most common one. Followed by the anal and the penile. If it is homosexual or not, penile, everything can happen. Okay. Now, with 6 and 11, if you talk, one is the laryngeal papilloma. Laryngeal papilloma. Laryngeal papilloma. And other one is the, it causes the condyloma. Condyloma. Acuminata, condyloma acuminata, condyloma acuminata, 611. Okay, and other one that is the anogenital watch, anogenital watch, anogenital watch 611 only. The watch, if you see any watch in the anogenital region, watch this is the one in the penile watch, and this is the condyloma acuminata, it's a cauliflower like appearance in the vaginal part. So, this picture, if they come, simply close your eyes and mark HPV virus. That's what I want to say. Watch and this type of thing comes. And then you know cervical cancer, HPV, scatistic, human papilloma virus. Okay, you know this one, so I'm not going to stress again. Now, pox. Pox means each of you should know whenever the pox virus has come, the only person I would also remember is this one, Peter Parker. Peter Parker, because why the body name is Henderson Peterson. Pox, Henderson, Hender, Peterson, Henderson, Peterson, bodies. Okay. So, Parker Pirka. So, Parker Pirka, I told you, part, you know, Parker, you always live inside the brick. You know, he uses the brick, he used the brick and dumbbell to become strong, right? So that you know, we already talked about brick and dumbbell, brick, dumbbell. All this stuff, things will go for Peter Fox, okay? Peter Fox, okay? Peter, uh, Peter, uh, uh, our Spider-Man guy. So next important thing is, this, you see, if you see his umbilicus of all the Spider-Man, they are spiders, no? Something cheesy material will come out, cheesy, cheesy from the umbilicus. So the lesion name is... Um, exact word, umbilicated. If they give the picture, you're lucky like this. You see, this is a lesion with central umbilication. Umbilicated lesion with cheesy material. With cheesy material, then it is pox. Henderson Peterson. So please remember Spider-Man Peter. He has umbilicated lesion with the cheesy material coming out. And also he has what? He has a, a Henderson Peterson. The name is Henderson Peterson body, umbilicated lesion. So you know that with the dumbbell. And again, he used all the heavy object, dumbbell, gimbal, and all. He uses bricks and a token. Okay. Now Paru, oh Paru, so no need to say. I know you guys already have your fingertips, but again, this is the smallest virus, you know. The smallest virus, smallest which one? Which is single standard? She's single, she's single, she's single. Paru is single. So she is single and she is small, small and single. Sad, I swear, right? Sad, power one, sad, power one. No, so sad. So they have just made she was single only. Organs affected, you know, usually it is the liver and bone marrow. Liver and bone marrow. So that means uh, basically related with what? Uh, uh, RBC production. So basically it attacks what the P antigen, P antigen of RBCs. P antigen of RBC. That's what P A R, you know, PAR. PAR is there. P R PAR. So this is basically this is basically P antigen of P antigen of RBCs. P antigen of RBC. The clue is there. Okay. Now the rash. The rash is very, very important because you know frequently asked questions. So rash is that's what see, she is frustrated. She is single means every single person is frustrated only. So what happened whenever they see the child, they slap. Okay, with five fingers. So first of all, slap cheek. Slap cheek will be a question. You can expect slap cheek or uh, when you slap cheek, you it's five. No, so it is called fifth day disease also. Fifth day disease. Fifth day disease. Sixth day is Rosiola Infanto. Here slap cheek. Always remember she, she beats with the five fingers to this child, poor child. And so fifth day disease. Slap cheek or fifth day disease. Otherwise also one more name is infectiosum. Erythema infectiosum. We call it as erythema 
infectious. So we have hep is there, hep for five. If you remember like that also, five. Erythema infectious. So anything can come. Please be careful. Slap cheeks, infect erythema infectious. If I5 is there, so fifth day disease. Okay. Now, sickle cell and hemolytic anemia patients and all these patients will go what? They're already RBC is not there. So they'll go what? Aplastic crisis. You will have severe aplastic crisis. Okay, a plastic crisis. They don't have anything, no RBC. But in immunocompromised patients like HIV, you will have what? Transient. Because still RBC is there. No? So they go transient aplasia. Transient pure RBC, pure red cell, pure red cell aplasia. Please be careful with that. Okay. Because in sickle cell and there is no RBC at all. So it's crisis. But for immunocompromised patients like HIV, they'll go transient pure red cell aplasia. This was asked in a recent AIMS exam also expected. Okay. And in fetus, may, this is this is hydrophytalis baby you're seeing here. But what hydrophytalis? This is the non-immune. This is the non-immune hydrops, non-immune hydrophytalis, non-immune hydrophytalis. Okay. Non-immune hydrops fetalis. Okay. This is one. Okay, non immune hydrophytalis. Very, very simple. Okay, yes. Now, next question. Now, we talk about the Papo virus. We talk about the Papo virus. See, a Papo virus, there are somewhere apart from uh, this thing, there are few JC. You know. So, this JC virus, you know, whenever you go JC penis in America, you go to this clothing show, you know, you get crazy. You know what you'll get? You get PMLE. You get crazy. You know, that is a crazy disease. Okay, what is that precarious? P, but basically, this. Uh, uh, this is uh, P for progressive. This is a progressive multifocal, progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. Leukoencephalopathy. That's what you're getting encephalopathy, and you go crazy because so cheap. Yeah, especially girls when they go into this JC pennies, JC virus, they become crazy. Number one. Number two, BK. BK already has a clue. BK virus is a polyoma because uh, organ, first of all, the organ affected K is there, so kidney, kidney is affected. But if you forget, sir, how to remember BK and OMA, see, if you see Brahma Kumaris, Brahma Kumaris sisters, no, the, uh, the spiritual sisters, they always say Om, 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 Polyoma, Om, Om, Polyoma. Okay, if this question comes, you will say Polyoma. Very simple. Okay, BK, BK sisters, Brahma Kumaris sisters who do prayer, they get that. Very simple. Infection is usually what? Infection is usually seen in the transplant patient. Infection is usually in the transplant patient. Okay, that's it. So, uh, there's a special cell, you see, decoy, decoy cell. This is a decoy cell, dirty cell. You know, it's called also dirty. It looks dirty. You see, it looks, you, you see the cell, ground glass appearance. The central, this fully is like a ground glass appearance. Okay, ground glass appearance. So, that's what you put this name for, dirty, dirty looking cell. Decoy cells are dirty looking cells. So, questions can expel BK cells also. SCV is vacuolating, 40 is vac SV, for, see, it's just basically simian vacuolating. Here you just see the vacuoles. I don't think so anybody is going to ask from this topic. Okay, so it's forget about it. Not this is not that important. Okay, now next. Now we are coming, we have finished our uh, DNA viruses. Now we're going to RNA viruses. Wow, we did a great job. Now we're going to the next topic. I think a uh, very easy DNA virus is a very important expected question. And I'm sure you guys are like already in a very... Um, uh, uh, you must be very confident with that also. Okay. Yes. Now let's go to the next one. Hepatitis viruses. So we know hepatitis is A, B, C, D. Now we are starting RNA viruses. RNA first, let's start with the hepatitis virus only because you already revised so many things. And also important, hepatitis one question will come definitely. Family. A. I always say A class pick. You know, A class pick. Pick or now. Picorna virus, okay. Picorna, it belongs to the family. Picorna, this question can come. A class pick, okay. You always remember A class. The pick should be A class. A class pick, okay. B, you already, this is the only DNA virus. This is the only DNA, so it's called Hep DNA. Hep DNA, Hep DNA virus. The rest all are RNA except HB. Only B is DNA virus. This you should know. C, C for chocolate flavor. No, so flavivirus. C for chocolate, so flavivirus. Chocolate flavor, chocolate flavor, right. D for, you know that, Delta, we call it Delta Viridae. Delta, D for D, D for Delta Viridae. So, nothing, uh, this thing to remember, easy. E for, you know what is EC, EC, you know what is EC, micro is EC, right? EC, EC, C for Calcivirus. Very, very simple. Very, don't need to use your brain at all. A class pick, B is always DNA, Chordo, C is chocolate flavor, uh, D is D only, E for EC, e, EC, micro is EC. So, calcivirus, C for calcivirus. Okay, one question can come from this. Root, root I don't have to say only because you know hepatitis A virus means the root is uh, oral. You know that A virus, it's the oral, oral, 
oral and this is also oral oral right oral oral now uh, one second or but when hepatitis b c b they have different route. so b the most common route is sex route sex is the most common followed by blood transfusion vertical transmission everything is there okay vertical trans sex is the main route so question can be asked c also c blood transmission is more followed by this vertical and sex vertical and sex okay yes d it's the same like b virus same like hepatitis b virus nothing to add or take okay right okay i'm changing the paint color doesn't look good yeah. Now, fulminant. Whenever you talk about fulminancy, the most dangerous one is D only. D for dangerous. D for dangerous. Okay. D for dangerous. So, highest, most fulminant, most severe one. The most fulminant one, if they ask D, dangerous will be the most fulminant one. D. Okay. But in pregnant lady, if they ask which is the most dangerous, pregnant may E. Pregnancy. Now, P R E E. Pregnant. So, E, e is the most fulminant in the pregnant ladies. Okay. Chronicity, forget about A and E. They cause acute hepatitis only. They don't go for chronic. But the rest of, yes. The highest would be, highest would be, this is a B also will go chronicity, C also, but highest chronicity seen with the hepatitis C virus only. Even when we talk about oncogenicity also, C is the highest oncogenicity. But of course, it's possible with all these three, B, D and C, everything can cause chronicity and carcinogenicity. Okay, rest of it. Oncogenicity not with A, B. And uh, is the... Only culturing, only culturing viruses, hepatitis A virus, though we don't culture any virus at all, but if something, if you want to culture only hepatitis A virus, you can culture, it's very uh, common one, normal one, okay. So all these are hepatitis, so hepatic virus means, you know, they affect the liver, they affect the liver, so the patient usually have what, the patient usually comes with the jointers, the patient usually comes with the jointers, fever, uh, and uh, yeah, you know, LFT is altered, this type of clinical history only will be there, okay, right. Now next, next one. Uh, yes. Now, so uh, Delta HS, so this is important because we told it's most dangerous, D for dangerous. So usually you have two things, HS, you can have a co-infection, D cannot cause infection alone, either it causes with hepatitis B cause co-infection or it causes the super infection. Excuse me. So in HDV and co-infection, how to identify, you will see both, uh, in both the cases, IgM of HDV and also IgM of HBV is raised increased that's it very simple not much okay co-infection may you will see both the igms are increased hbv is uh, when you talk about hbv we are talking about the hepatitis c antibody and uh, antibody against the hbc igm antibody against hbc okay that's important and igm dv only but what about super in super infection or you have to remember super infection means already you have hepatitis b infection is there chronic infection is there okay you already have the chronic HBV infection. In top of that, you're getting HDV. So what happened here? Uh, when you say chronic, you might think I just you know what happened when HDV virus affect during a chronic HBV infection. If HDV comes, there will be acute exacerbation of hepatitis B only. So what happened here? Here you will have Ig. You will be having Ig here also. You will be having IgM only. IgM ka HBCAG will be there IgM plus IgG both the previous G to already it's chronic so that also will be there HBC antibody for this you both M and G both will be there along with that your anti HDV ka antibody also HD, HDV IgM usually it's IgM it is raised increased okay so remember all these things will be there so this is for the super infection when we talk about super infection please remember you don't think that Co-infection means easy. IgM, IgM only. IgM though for both the cases, IgM, IgM will be a rise. No, no, no big difference. But if you talk super infection, super will be very severe. So already you have a chronic infection of HPV. So there what happened? Chronic infection. Not only IgB will be already increased. Now we have acute exacerbation. So what happened? IgM of <coughs> HPV also increased with IgG. So this is complete for super infection. Okay. So you can have this medicine also. You'll be learning it. But now also you can remember this. Okay. Very, very simple. Now, look at this transmission rate. When hepatitis B, C, B, uh, the needle, needle stick injury rate is important. What happens in hepatitis B viruses, the needle stick injury percentage is 30%. HCV is 3%. HIV only 0.3% needle stick injury. So, shortcut is uh, B, C, I. Uh, no. Blood contaminated injury. Any blood related blood contaminated injury. So, 30 plus B, then C, I for HIV. Okay, like this. Vertical 
vertical hpv goes 90 percentage hcv not that much it is not that much common but hiv it will be how much for hiv it will be almost how much it's going to be almost 30 percentage 30 but the vertical transmission would be 30 percentage okay so that is you to remember okay that's very important yeah uh, just a second sorry Yeah, next slide. Okay, I just start with some. Okay, now next one. Yeah, so hepatitis B virus will go, the very, very important one now, a lot of things important here. Yeah, now you see, hepatitis B virus go uh, shape. First of all, shape is important. You have see spear, filament, and Danny particle. The most common one is spear, but they are incomplete. These are incomplete. The complete particle is Danny. So that question will be, uh, Mr. Danny has hepatitis B. That question also asked. Danny particle is which virus? It will be this only. Okay, other name is Danny particle. So, of course, you have different type of hands in an antibody. So, let's talk. So, we have three, first of all, three important things. One is the surface. His outermost surface, you have HBS antigen. Surface, no? outermost. So, so uh, we have CS protein, M protein, so many things. Surface. Then, other one is the HB. Uh, the next layer will be HBE antigen will be there. E. Huh? e. Then, will be the centermost one, HBC antigen. Okay, and so you will be saying everything. Then there will be antibody, anti HBS antibody, antibody against HBS. Okay, antibody, and then we have anti HBE antibody, and then we have anti HBC, which can be IgM or it can be IgG. Okay, IgG, these are the antibodies form antibody against E and C. Okay. Now, these are the common one antibodies and important, uh, how to interpret is also very important. I know you guys already know. Yes means simply infection is there. And if you have antigen means infection is present. Infection is present. Yes. Okay. It's present. That's it. If antibody is formed means post-infection, recovered. If patient is recovered, patient is recovered or maybe he is vaccinated. Vaccinated. Okay. That means good. Yes or no. Yes means Yes or no. Okay. Infection is present. Just infection is present. Yes, the infection present. Here it is vaccinated or recovered. Okay. Now E means E for always I see E means enemy or evil, anything dangerous. So that means when E is raised, it is pathogenicity is high. Uh, the repli replication of this is also high. Severity is also high. Everything is high. They, all the dangerous things are high, high, high. But if the antibody is already formed, that means everything is low. Everything that means pathogenicity, severity, replicability, everything will go low, low, low. You know that one. C means core. So you see centermost core, no use. It is always inside, it doesn't come out. So no use. It's antibodies are important. So antibody C and G, if it's IgM, it is acute. It always says it is acute infection. If you have IgG, then it says chronic. So the chronicity is said by IgM or G on this. Okay. G means chronic, M means acute. That you know already. I'm not going to stress that. Okay. Now let's go here. Ha. Now here, uh, look at this. So this is the interpretation. Now you have to interpret. See, I have HBS antigen. Only HBS antigen is positive. Rest all negative. That means what is my interpretation here? What should I show? I should say that. Uh, see, one more name. What is the HBS antigen? Ka? One more name. Once again, I have to. Oh, it's very important. So, you know that there is an Australian antigen. That question was also asked. So, the, if you are lucky enough, they can ask, which is Australian? Australian is HBS. Australian. Australian antigen. Okay. HBS antigen is otherwise called also Australian antigen. I don't know why they are calling it as Australian antigen. This question also will be asked. So, please be careful. Okay. Now, next. Huh. So now, 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 we have to talk about. So if only HBS AG is positive, that means what? So just an infection is present, just an acute infection. And you can't even say acute infection, just you say what? Infection is present. Hepatitis B infection is positive. Hepatitis infection is positive. That's it. Okay. Now, when HBS is there and IgM is there, so it is acute infection. So you call it as acute hepatitis B infection, acute hepatitis infection. Now, HBS AG and only IgG, that is chronic hepatitis infection, chronic hepatitis B infection. Now, IgG is there, IgG is there, and you see 
anti hb oh sorry we forgot here so hbe antigen is present so that means severity so acute severe infection chronic severe infection but here what happened already antibody is formed so this means again you have it's a chronic infection but low infectivity low infectivity or low severity okay low uh, low infectivity or low severity whatever you can say okay same so now if you see anti hbs is formed and HBC is okay, anti HBC is already patients recovered, okay, or with HB. So this means the patient has recovered because you're seeing anti HBC also as there. So that means patients recovered this and but if you see only this antibody means that is vaccinated. Patient must have vaccinated. Only in vaccinated me, you'll see you'll see only anti HBS. No, so that is obvious. Okay. So these are the few things uh, they can ask. Okay, that interpretation is very, very important. That's from previous you know. Now, one more question recently they asked is during the window period. Something called window period. Window period is a period where what happened? See, uh, normally for uh, we, they, they must ask you a few questions. They ask immediately after hepatitis B infection, which is the earliest test to come, but the earliest test is PCR. The earliest test is PCR because during the incubation period, antibody is not formed. So even the antigen is not rising. Uh, the, just, you just have the antigen. Sorry, only you have the antigen. The hepatitis B virus is there. Nothing is antibody hasn't rised yet. So what is the best thing in this time? The PCR during the uh, incubation period, PCR is the best. And after that, you can see after some days, though HBS AG antigen also is rising, after some particular time, it will go. And then what happened? Your anti HBS antibody is still about to rise. So there is a period called window period. So in window period, the best test is HBC IgM. This was a question asked recently. So remember, in a in, 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 in the HBC IgM, it's very important in the window period. Window period, okay, IgM, okay, window. If you forgot also W looks like M, no, W looks like M. So remember like that, W and M, window period. Window period, my IgM is very, very important role. Okay, I think this question will be asked. Rest all is okay. You will know not that much easy. X gene. X gene is basically, uh, these are some uh, genes, you know, where uh, uh, X gene is a special gene that helps in carcino, carcinogenicity. You know that it causes the cancer, in the liver cancer, X gene. Pre-core mutant is very important because pre-core mutant is a type of mutant where what happened? This uh, HBE antigen is absent. So it's in Russian. In Russians, you can see. In Russian people, they don't have HBE. E, e, pre corona e, e is not there. So that is very common. That is one question. Except question. Escape means, escape mutant, they escape here. What happened? You have the anti-HBES is there, but no you um, you have anti hbs all s with that also you have what anti hbs sorry you have hbs antigen plus anti hbs also both are there because this is mutant this is escape the mutation okay so if both are there, that is also not good so both are positive hbs ag also positive anti hbs antibody also positive means that is escape mutant okay yes yes based on yes only okay yes antigen and antibody both are present that's it okay so pre corporation the few exceptions okay now let's we are going to our favorite topic that is a hiv hiv human immunodeficiency virus which causes which disease aids you know that one aids 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 everybody knows now, what is to know here? In family, they belong to retroviridae, right? Retroviridae and the subclass of lentivirus also. In subfamily, lentivirus will come. But at least you should know retroviridae is very, very important because why? The, they have an important special enzyme. Uh, retroviridae, retrovirus cause special things that they will talk about it. The special enzyme here is reverse transcript. This question was asked. Reverse trans cryptase number one which converts the rna into dna rna into dna okay for replication because hiv itself is rna virus now that's one what about the nucleic acid you see this picture if you see this picture you are seeing what two rnas so this is the only virus where there is two single standard rna it's so rna single standard that's fine but two single standard rna is characteristic only for hiv virus remember like that that's the question okay the reverse transcription two single standard rna viruses Type of HIV virus, we have HIV 1 and 2. In 1 is the most common overall world. The 2 is only in African population. 
again in one subgroup we said most common is there also subgroup also most common is m and c only m m group and then subgroup m and c so this also if they ask you can say so hiv one is most common and that again m and c is most common if they ask you like that also okay right now structural see structural gene very very important you should know only there are three uh, genes are important one is your uh, first of all, the envelope gene, envelope gene, envelope gene, and the other one is your pole gene, pole gene, pole gene, and the other one is your gag gene, gag gene, gag gene. These are three genes, very, very important. Okay, envelope, pole, and gag. The name is important. Definitely, you will have a question from this expected question. So, envelope is always outermost, no outermost. Okay, sorry, the outermost part. So, outermost part may it is usually group 120, 120, if you see this, 120 and 41, 120 and 41. Okay, I, I don't need to see picture. It's outside here, group 141. And pole gene means basically it's a pool. If you remember pool, remember pool of enzymes. Remember like this pool of enzymes. Envelope is big, so big number. Pool of enzymes may which are the enzymes like your reverse transcriptase, reverse transcriptase, uh, other uh, polymerases, other polymerases, integrases, all these enzymes. Okay, so for enzymes, it is the pole. Gag. Gag means Gaga. When you talk about Lady Gaga, you see her, her age is always between 70 to 24 only. It never go up. Okay. So group 17 and uh, glycoprotein 17 and 20, this is the for envelope gene. This is the envelope gene. Uh, gag gene. Sorry. This is for the gag gene. Gaga age is always between 70 to 24. Even she become old grandmother also, they will say her age is 70 to 24 only. Okay. That's the, their, uh, uh, they, they, they like to say this only. So this you remember. Okay. The non-structural may you have nef, uh, nef, nef gene, nev gene, so many genes. It's not that important. So this you can have one question. Envelope is big number 12041. Pool means pool of enzyme. Transcriptase, pol polymerase ligases. Gag gene, Gaga, 70 to 24 age. Lady Gaga's age is only that much. She never goes up. Okay. Right. Now next. Uh, CC affect co-receptor. When you see CC co-receptor mutation, there is no HIV. HIV infection will be low, okay? Because there is a receptor where the HIV binds on the, uh, the, the CD4 cells, right? The CD4 cells to bind it, right? So what happened in that lymphocyte, if this is the co-receptor there is mutated means, then no problem. The HIV will not go. So they are lucky. Some populations are lucky. Same way, when a Duffy negative, you know, uh, Duffy negative, Duffy positive means if Duffy is positive, there is increase. So if Duffy negative, then there is decreased infection of plasmodium falciparum. Okay. And if the iron is low, that will go to diphtheria. Diphtheria. Okay. Iron is low, there is the risk of diphtheria goes high. If iron is more, diphtheria will be high like that. Okay. So same way. Duffy, iron for this thing. So HIV this thing. Okay. Now root of transmission, risk of transmission. The risk of the, the risk of transmission, the root of transmission, the most common root for HIV is, is usually what? Sexual root. But the chance is only 0.1 to 1 percentage. Next is blood transmission. But the chances how much in a blood transfusion almost 100 percentage okay almost 100 okay immediately go 99 to 100 percentage neurostic injury we already spoke just 0.3 percentage only and the vertical transmission 30 percent we spoke that also vertical 30 percent chance of hiv spreading okay now we'll talk about the disease we talk about the diseases you should keep in your fingertips very simple disease hiv or I'm not going to talk about the primary, secondary incubation period and that now. Normal CD4 count, you know, it is usually 500 to how much? 500 to uh, 1,500 or about, doesn't matter. Okay. But if it is between 500 to 200, what are the infections common? You can get tuberculosis, you can get candidiasis, candida infection, and you can get what? Herpes zoster. Uh, herpes zoster. Just now we spoke about the herpes zoster. Huh? Uh, zoster. Now, what about CD2? When you get to uh, less than 200, when you get the lesion less than 200, Three infections important. One is toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis, you saw it's usually in pregnant lady, but of course in HIV patient also. Yeah, toxoplasma. And the other one is your cryptococcus. The main injury is causing the crypt crypto. Caucus, cryptococcus that is causing you know most common cause of meningitis, meningitis. Yeah. And then other one is your pneumocystis. To pneumocystis, we're going to talk about this individually also. Now. It's going to come to pneumocystis. Okay, these three infections will come between 200. So there are double. Okay, this you have to remember. No other option. Pneumocystis, cryptococcus. 50. When it is 50, small number, no, so small, just three words: CMV and MAC. CMV virus and the MAC complex. MAC is microbacterium avium intracellular. Microbacterium avium avium intracellular intracellular complex. Okay, that's it. This question can be asked based on the thing. One question can be asked. All right. Okay. Right. Next. Ha. Huh. Next. Uh, screening test. When you go to screen uh, diagnosis HIV screening test, antibody detection. Of course, you do many tests. You know, it's a COMS test. Combs test is basically, it's like a comb. You can, uh, many samples can be tested. Like a comb, you insert into the tubes and you can check comb's test. Other one is a card test. Card test, 
that is latex or glutination, uh, your uh, uh, immunochromatography, sorry, immunochromatographic test. And apart from this, you can do uh, tried out. Tried out, tried out is basically you're checking both HIV-1 and 2 like this. It will be three, two dots. So HIV-1, HIV, tried out, and other ones ELISA. These are all the basic. But these are all come, these are all the screening tests. No, it will come after months only. It will be positive after months, not immediately after months. Supplementary test, which is the supplementary test? Western blot. Western blot is also supplementary. It's not confirmatory. It's a uh, supplementary test, Western blot. Specific test. In specific test only, very important. Two important tests. They, you can expect it. Can you tell me without even I'm saying, you will be already saying that I know. If you're saying RT-PCR, very good. Excellent. PCR. PCR, uh, RT-PCR, especially for de detecting the RNA of the virus. So this is the, it will become positive in the 12th day after infection. 12 day after infection. Okay, the earliest one. Earliest is PCR. But the option, if you don't have PCR, if they give P24 antigen uh, assay, uh, detecting the P24 assay, but that will be 16 days. PCR is the best. Second option to be P24. So both are specific tests and early detection. Now, what about treatment? Treatment, of treatment response, you have to do what? PCR quantification. That is viral copies. PCR, you have to check for the viral copies number. Previously, we used to do CD4. Now, not to CD4. In PCR, you have to check the viral copies, quantifying. Quantifying and see the treatment response, quantification. Okay, remember that. Okay. So, not a CD4 count. For treatment response, the best is the viral copies. Okay. PCR and count the number of patient copies. Yes. Now, now we're going to do this thing. Now, we talk about the uh, strategy. Uh, we, have, uh, we have strategy, NACO, strategy, HIV. So, we have one, two, three strategy. One, always, which is very important in your life, blood transfusion is very, very important. So, blood transfusion and transfusion and uh, transplant also. Any transplant may you use this strategy one. Strategy one is basically one test you do, any one basic screening test. All based on NACO strategy is based on number of tests you're doing. One, you do only one test. In two, you're doing two tests. For two B and three, you're doing three tests and confirming uh, HIV is positive or not. That only. Okay. All screening tests only you have to do. So, second is strategy two, two A. So, strategy two, uh, yes, is there. So, it is for the surveillance. Surveillance purpose. Okay. Surveillance purpose. Yes, for S, surveillance. But two B. Yes, is there symptomatic patient? This is also a symptomatic patient. Patient will come after surveillance. Symptomatic patient of HIV. Then three will be asymptomatic. Asymptomatic, asymptomatic patients. Okay, very very important. You can have this PSM question also. Of course, micro also. Okay, yeah. So you'll be known. Ortho and is very very important. Expert one case history question will come definitely from this topic. I would stress yes, you can't omit this one. Ortho mix of viruses, you know only one, that is ortho guys or flu. Ortho guys, if you go to ortho world, they have big, big body, six pack and negative. Not only that, they get influenza. So only the influenza virus comes under the ortho mix of virus. Okay. What about other things? And other things, uh, para mix of viruses, param, uh, the, 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 the name itself has a clue. The name itself has a clue. I will tell you, uh, P, P, uh, no, P, uh, first of all, take this P. Uh, there's R, sorry, uh, this P, E, R, M, so R is there, and then there is 2 M, 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 there will be 2 M, 2 M will be there, yes, and then, of course, uh, Param Nehi, the shortcut is Param Nehi, Param Nehi, this guy is not here, Param Nehi, Anna, Ni, Okay, P, P for paramyx of virus. Oh, sorry, I, this is a paramyx of it comes, sorry, pa, it, is, it is the para-influenza, okay, para-influenza, para-influenza virus, influenza virus, R for respiratory sensitive virus, not rubella, please remember it's not rubella, R for rubella, many students have made mistake previous exam, it's not rubella, okay, it is RSV virus, not rubella. And M for 2M is there. Measles and mumps. Measles, mumps, rubella. No? So rubella will not come here. Because rubella is which virus? Toga. Rubella will go in toga virus. It's a toga virus. Remember that. Okay. Exceptional. Measles and mumps. N for Nipah. Nipah, you know, it's from the fruit. Nipah virus. Hair for Hendra. Hendra, Nipah. Hendra virus, Nipah virus. Hendra is very new. Okay. That's okay. So these are the uh, important things you know to the Parama virus. At least you know flu is only for ortho guys. Ortho guys get flu, but Param is a nehi, Param nehi. Okay. So Param P R and M2 M and H. This is from here only. P R M M. Everything is there in the word only. Okay. Fine. Now that's not important. Now we we'll go to the individual things now. Very, very important. Questions will be asked. 
So when you talk about the number of RNA segments, you know the influenza viruses, we have influenza. If you talk about influenza, we have influenza A and B, and then we have C. So A and B, they have eight segments. So you see, if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, we say, ortho guys are segmented. Now, so influenza is segment. Influenza comes under ortho, so segment, eight segment. Whereas the C has more, it has 11 segments, okay? Uh, segments, more segments they have, right, okay? Yes, some uh, it is it, some book it says seven segment also some eleven I, they, you, you go with seven only okay because it's not changed it okay seven segments C has seven segments okay yeah, remember like that seven segment okay the eleven ka there's one more under uh, in this in special it comes but I don't think that's much important now you remember seven segment eight segment finished okay now of course your rotavirus has eleven segment that is a different story but now C has seven this is eight segment this is not an eight segment can be asked. So there are two important structures for influenza, hemagglutination and the neuraminase. Hemagglutination is for attachment. It is attached, it is for basically to attach to the sialic acid receptor, sialic acid receptor in the respiratory system, you know, because it causes influenza, no? So respiratory system is sialic acid, it attaches, hemagglutination for attachment. But neuraminidase, what happens is that is usually this do opposite work. It breaks the receptor, it breaks the sialic acid receptor and cause the virus to enter inside. It makes the virus to get inside. It makes the virus to get inside. Right? It makes the virus to get inside or get inside. So that means it is just doing opposite of the hemorrhage. That's what it is called what? Elution. Elution. The word elution is basically reversal of hemagglutination. Elution means reversal. Reversal of agglutination. This is characteristic for influenza virus only. Influenza. Okay. So hemagglutination, neuromidase, this question comes, it's influenza viruses. Uh, hemagglutination A for attachment, but neuromidase means it is reversal or for the reversal of agglutination. That means it breaks the sialic acid receptor and makes the virus to get inside. So that's what you have this name. Okay, right. Next. Uh, now uh, when you talk about the H1N1, H1N1 causes swine flu. It causes the swine flu. H5N1 is causing the bird flu, H3N2 seasonal flu, seasonal flu, oh, old uh, five, six years before they used to ask direct, direct question like this. I don't think so. Now they're going to ask this type of question, but you know, just remember, okay, five for bird flu, swine flu, and this thing. Okay. And the drift and shift is expected question. Sure, short question. Okay. I guarantee this question will be asked. They love, examiners love it. Okay. And the drift and shift, first of all, how to remember, so this is influenza goes some side of change. You know, you have pandemic, a lot of pandemic and epidemics, you know, that's the reason. So shift. Shift means drift is not that much. Shift is more important. So why shift is important? When it is a shift, you remember the shift car. You know, shift car every just just every year, every ten years becoming popular. Why? Because they're doing genetic resortment. Genetic resortment they're doing. So every ten to twenty years, you can see the changes. Changes happening. Okay, every point is important. So that means major pandemic, major pandemic and epidemic. Exact word is important. Genetic resortment is a question. 10 to 20 is a question. Major pandemic epidemic is a question. Influenza virus. And it's, it's always an A class. So type A influenza. Shift is always A class car. So only type A goes shift. But drift is both A and B goes. And drift is due to mutation. And it causes only minor pandemic, minor epidemics, minor epidemics. So that's what it is useless. So they will not even ask question from this also. Don't worry. So remember only shift car. Okay. I know most of the doctors having shift car. So genetic resortment, tetrodipy has changes and major every pandemic. Okay. And type A. Everything is a question. Complication of influenza, you know that influenza comes, then you get secondary pneumonia. Secondary bacterial infection. Secondary bacterial infection, especially we talk about secondary bacterial pneumonia. You get pneumonia. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, other one, uh, also, I forgot, otitis media. Now, to this, you can get otitis media. Otitis media, otitis. Second, you know, you know, flu comes, because pneumonia, uh, otitis media, all these things are complications of the uh, influenza. Okay, right. Now, next, we'll go to the paramomix virus. A very, very simple, very simple, easy viruses, paramomix. So, so para, para, para influenza. So, uh, this is the, you see, this is a paramamsa, right? He's sitting on the crop. He's sitting on the crop, okay? So, first of all, crop, croup. Crop, we make this croup, number one. Number two, you see behind him, there is a steeple, steeple, steeple sign. Bus. These are the two words, an exact question, you'll get this only. Croup, this picture. This is the x-ray picture. Croup means, you know, acute, 
laryngeo tracheo bronchitis that means larynx trachea bronchi everything is affected that is cosmic croup so who is sitting on the crop croup i am saying crop crop means field no so who is sitting param paramamsa paramamsa he is paramamsa no paramamsa sitting on the crop and he has a steeple behind him steeple sign is basically on x ray you can see on x ray you can see steeple sign okay like epiglottitis use a thumbprint for that's why h influenza bacteria here steeple sign or the church uh, steeple whatever you can say it is for the paramamsa okay is a temple behind him mums mums may uh, what are the important things about the mums here so mums what are the things you should know way about the mums here the most common clinical sign of mums is you know that is the parotitis the parotitis parotitis is the most common one and most common clinical is parotitis swelling of the like you can see the big big swelling other organs are usually arthritis pancreatitis arthritis and pancreatitis wherever gland there is a swelling okay so if you get this picture this is a bull neck diphtheria also remember the picture was almost similar like this the bull neck was beginning but here also it's a parotid gland swelling this is basically a mump mump is bump remember mump a bump okay mump and bump remember like that if you forgot also if someone is studying new don't worry mump is like a bump remember like that okay parotitis the vaccine anybody anybody in your friends group you always see anybody with bump means you know their name would be jerry jerry you know jerry strain so jerry at least i know two three friends they call jerry and they have big big cheeks okay big big cheeks so jerry lynn strain jerry lynn strain vaccine strain is jerry lynn can be asked expected question only okay right so this picture you know answer now measles measles is very very favorite question for many people so measles also call us what measles otherwise called uh sorry this measles otherwise called rubiola ruby or not rubella rubiola rubiola okay rubiola so uh, not rubella rubella is called german measles that's a different story see this rubella is otherwise called german measles but your rubiola is basically measles only another name so incubation period let's start with 14 you know 14 days incubation period mump is big everything is big so it should be 19 days okay rubella uh, it's smaller than everyone so it would be just the 10 days plus okay okay 14 19 10 14 19 10 is the rule so clinical features in clinical features day 10 the first day you will be having fever will be there with that you have three c c c c what are three c's cough or cold cough cold coriza conjunctivitis okay in the day 10 now and other days what about the other day? In other day, in the day 12, exactly day 12, you will see a special spot called coplic spot expected question. Coplic spot. You coplic spot, you know, this is the coplic spot you're seeing here, this spot, exactly where lower molar, L for L, coplic low, lower molar, exactly opposite to the lower molar, second lower molar. Okay, that's important. They'll ask this question. Day 14. Day 14, day 14, what happens is that I will be getting different type of what? I will be getting the, the, the child, the baby will be getting the rashes. The rash, any, this, this, this particular rashes, okay, ma, this uh, macules, maculopapular rash, but especially where hand, uh, palms and, palms and soul. That is very important. Palms and soul rashes also seen in Coxsackie virus, also in syphilis. Remember, syphilis also palms and soul. But here is it. Question, these two are very 10, 12, 3 and 14 days important. You will expect this question. You must know. Infective period, I, as I told, for the chicken box, it was 2 and 5. Here it is 4 days before and 5 days after the rash. 4 days and 5 days before, 4 days before the rash, 5 days after the rash. Question, question, question. Everything in measles is very important. You can't miss it. So you must know. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about that. Yeah. Now, here, complication. So complication, the most common uh, complication would be uh, for measles is the otitis media. Otitis media. MS is otitis media. Common one. Rare. What is a rare? That is the question. What is that rare called? It's called SSLE. SS, uh, subsclerosing panel. Sorry, SSP. Okay. Subsclerosing pan and very very rare it happens after the years after many years after years but dangerous very bad prognosis bad prognosis that's what i'm saying ssp okay like pmle 
PML is for JCPenney. When you go to JCPenney, you get crazy. You get PML. But when, uh, or, or when you get um, measles, you will get SSPE. Okay. So the most common complication of autitis media, the rare one is SSPE. Apart from that, not only that, in measles, may you can have many other uh, pneumonia, you may have things, but usually autitis media is most common. Diagnosis may, you can do many things, but one thing very, very important is that you do this. Uh, uh, smear and see what you'll see the special cell called warthin pin kidney cell warthin pin kidney cells warthin pin kidney cells is very important this question will be asked a complex part warthin pin kidney is one repeated question for measles okay so this is basically from the lesion wherever skin lesion or complex spot wherever you take and check this is also mngc cell multinucleated giant cell like sang smear for herpes user same way you see like this here so vaccine you know vaccine uh, you know that swatch and at least you should know Ed Maisel, Edmonston, Ja Garib, 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 eh, na? Garib is poor, eh, na? Garib. So, M for Maisel, Edmonston, Ja Garib, but at least remember Schwartz also it looks like M only. So, Schwartz and Edmondson Jagrib. Garib people needs measles. Garib butchers, they need measles vaccine. Remember like that. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, rubella. As I told now, rubella. Rubella, uh, rubella, we already told what it is the German measles. Na? German measles. German measles. German measles. Okay. Family is Toga viride. It doesn't come under Parma week. So, it is Toga viride. Toga ka rubella hai. Okay. Rubella. The Toga got rubella. Toga got rubella. Okay. Now, now, now. Yeah. So now the rash present on the day, uh, the, uh, the, the, the rash usually present on the day 10 only, the day 10, because incubation period 10, the day 10 on the face, and then it lasts for, it, it lasts for, see, sorry, it starts on the day 2, it's a day, so day 2 or 3, it's a start, and it lasts for 10 days, okay, it, la it starts at 3 days, it lasts for 10 days, okay, that's not that important, just you remember, only in, in case you, you never know these people, no? So they can ask anything. So now, what about lymph? Lymphopathy is usually common in the post auricular or cervical. You can have cervical or in the auricular region, the lymphopathy is common. Here, the spot is very, very important. What is the name of the spot? For shimmer, for shimmer spot. R is there. So it is two R's are there. For shimmer. Okay. For shimmer spot, this spot. Where you see in the Uvula and palate. You see here, palate and uvula, I mean, this red color rash you're seeing, that is for shimmer spot. Like complex spot if a measles, for shimmer may two R is there, that means rubella, rubella, don't forget rubella, rubella. So they are this common. Okay. Now, when you get congenital rubella syndrome, I would recommend you to go to CCD, coffee day, coffee, coffee day. Okay. Why I go to CCD when you get a congenital rubella syndrome? Because in congenital rubella syndrome, CCD means, say, for cataract. And another C is for cardiac problem. Cardiac may, you know from the medicine, well, pattern ductus arteriosus, PDA is very, very common. And D may just the deafness, D for deafness, you know, very, very important question, expected question, pediatrics, medicine, everywhere. You can ask this question. Rashes, again, I told you, because if you go to CCD, there the blueberry muffin cake is very tasty. Not only the Kejriwal CMB is giving you blueberry, if you go to CCD, rubella syndrome also, you get a blueberry muffin rash. Vaccine rubella is the name R A twenty seven bar three R A twenty seven rubella rubella R R twenty seven but because twenty seven eleven twenty seven three thirty days the CCD is open thirty days if you count thirty days CCD is open whole month so twenty seven bar three remember like that twenty seven bar three is total thirty okay however you want okay because it's revision time so I'm running but I'm sure you guys are catching up. It's, I know it's, you're recalling everything and students who can't recall, no problem. You again revise one more time. You will get it. Don't worry. You, it's easy. micro again. I'm saying it's easy. Easy. Very easy. Respiratory sensitivity ages is again it's for the children's only. And the most common cause of which disease is bronchiolitis. Acute bronchiolitis most common cause was expected question asked in many times. So remember, acute laryngotracheal bronchitis is otherwise called croup. Croup means who is sitting? Paramamsa. Paramamsa, the, uh, the saint Paramamsa is sitting. Parainfluenza. Parama, parainfluenza. But in respiratory sensitive virus, it's bronchiolitis. Okay, right. 
Metanipo virus is just respiratory infection, nothing. I don't even know why. Uh, it is not popular, right? Maybe in upcoming, you know, in a, a COVID, it can become popular and it become uh, more famous. But right now, it's not. So you can leave it. Nothing is. So Nipah virus. Nipah virus, the clinical future is for encephalitis. Encephalitis. Okay, first of all, encephalitis. For Pfizer, encephalitis. Outbreak happened in, you know, Kerala. Any new virus, it will be in Kerala only. Now, transmission is usually transmitted through. How it is transmitted through? Um, uh, uh, the, see, first of all, the reservoir is the fruit bat. Also for Ebola. Ebola also is fruit bat. Here, the it has happened because of the infected what water or food. So the infected water or food. And so many fruits were contaminated to intake. So infected food or infected food or water, fruit especially. Ah, yes. Now the amplifiers are always the pig. pigs or the always amplifiers here. Everywhere you go, amplifiers are pig. Okay, pig and fruit bed. Treatment, because there are a lot of uh, new medicines uh, have come for this thing also. Uh, 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 sorry, for diagnosis, always it is the ELISA and PCR. All any virus, it is ELISA serology or PCR direct detection. That's it. Okay, nothing much more. So fruit bed, pig, infected water root, Ebola virus. Very simple. Okay, right. Now next. Arbo. Arbo means you know what is an Arbo virus means. What is Arbo? Arbo means any virus that spread through the insects. No insects. So Toga Viride, uh, in Toga Viride, we have, see, though uh, rubella comes here, but it's not through insects. So in, under through insect spreading, me, this virus is chicken gunia. Chicken gunia. One is rubella. Rubella will not come here because this Arbo virus you are speaking. So chicken gunia virus is only chicken gunia Toga, exceptional. Okay. Same way, rubella, Toga, chicken gunia, Toga. Flavi. So, what are the flavi viruses? You know, you know what is flavor? Yellow fever, yellow fever, dengue. Because dengue yellow is papaya, no papaya flavor. Okay, papaya flavor. When you talk West Nile. In West Nile, fish flavor. You know, fish is delicious. So, fish flavor. Anything with the flav flavi means I'm talking about flavors. Okay, different flavors. So, you'll not forget it. So, dengue West Nile. Another one, Japan. Japan sushi. You know, Japan Japanese encephalitis. No, Japanese. Encephalitis. So, Wamper Shushi is very popular, right? So, yellow fever, dengue, ah, Zika virus. Zika virus is why Zika? Zika noodle flavor is very delicious. But this much only you have to remember. Yeah, and of course, Koisnur forest juices. You know, Koisnur is Karnataka, so there, Mysore Park is very Mysore Park. Mysore Park flavor is very good. These are the different flavors, okay? Flavors of India, okay? Any flavor, papaya, yellow fever, dengue, because yellow color papaya, so papaya is good for dengue, so dengue flavor. So for West Nile, it is the fish. Fish means West Nile. Sushi flavor, Japanese encephalitis. Noodle flavor, Zika. You know, Zika noodles, the restaurants, if you're not eating, you made a big mistake. Delicious. And Mysore Park is in Kashmir for Karnataka. If you go, the first thing you'll get is Mysore Park one day. Okay. So these were some flavi viruses. So you'll not forget. And of course, in other way, hepatitis C, I remember. Hepatitis C, where C, C is a chocolate flavor, I told. That's also comes in the flavi virus. Okay. Right. Next. Now, now one of us. Yeah. Now these are the uh, these are the vectors, the insects. So anaphylaxis mosquito, anaphylaxis mosquito. These are the mosquitoes. No mosquito which spin. Anaphylaxis mosquito one only, which disease you know very very well. That is your malaria. That is Plasmodium, Plasmodium species, Plasmodium. That causes malaria. So all malaria will come in the anaphylaxis mosquito. Of course, one more thing is that uh, filariasis may everything comes in filariasis may anaphylaxis also come. But okay, that don't remember now. Plasmodium malaria one. Culex or coolies. Remember, remember coolies. You know where all these coolies live? You know, na? coolies. Coolies, they live in West Nile. Na? West Nile. And they live in, the, they, work, they work in the Japan. Na? So, coolies means West Nile. West Nile virus. Japanese encephalitis virus. Disease causing encephalitis. And then also elephantiasis. You know, poor people, they are coolies, you know. So, when they do a lot of work, they get elephantiasis like this, right? So, elephantiasis. So, coolies are in these West, West Nile, Japan, but they get elephantiasis also, poor them. Now, AD. AD means this is the AD, our Adi, and this is a tiger. They both are best friend buddies, no buddies. So, because they are both the best buddies, they all the fevers are spread by them. Example, dengue fever, Yellow fever, chicken gunia fever, chicken gunia fever, 
Of course, they got fever. They got fever. Anything with fever, 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 it is caused by an Adir Hager because they give their hot persons in the Bollywood. So every girls get fever, you know. Every girls get fever because of Adi Aedes mosquito, tiger, tiger mosquito. This combination causes gives lot of fever to lot of people. Okay, remember it. Very very simple. You will not forget exam. Can now also you will not forget. Okay, any fever, fever is coming from these two boys. Okay, yeah. Now dengue fever. When you go to the dengue fever. Uh, dengue fever virus, you know, this is also called as break. But this is a physical question: break bone fever or saddle back. Like step ladder fever, you have it in where typhoid. Very good. So here is a saddle back fever and undulant fever in Brussels, Uganda, Undula, Malta, Mediterranean. Everything is in Brussels. Step ladder for testing. Okay, so this is some few names. fever. Karna. I mean, the fever names are very very important. Okay. Serotype, we have 1 to 5. Which is the most dangerous one? You know already it is type 2. 2 dengue is very dangerous. Type 2 is worst. Okay, worst. Vector, already told you any fever it is or Aedes. Aedes or Mr. Tiger. They are the popular guys. Mosquito. Primary infection is usually mild and it will go away. Secondary infection and primary infection, this is okay. Primary infection is usually caused by type 1. Type 1 serotype. And subsequent infection uh, what happened if it is uh, secondary infection it is usually severe if it is caused by type 2 okay type 2 not the same type 2 is caused by type 2 why the reason is ade what is ade that would be a question what is and why severity usually when primary infection happens in secondary infection i get the immunity should protect me but in uh, dengue it will not protect why ADE for dengue ad is basically antibody dependent Enhancement. Antibiotic enhancement is what happened. In the primary infection, this type, uh, there is some uh, non-neutralizing antibody. Usually, you should have a neutralizing, but here you have a non-neutralizing antibody. This antibody, what happens? It increases the it increases the pathogenicity of or infectivity of the second virus of dengue 2 virus. Dengue 2 virus, the type 2 serotype. So the symptoms will be severe. That's what you get. Severe. You got what? Dengue hemorrhagic fever. You get dengue DH of dengue hemorrhagic fever. You get what? Dengue <laughs> hemorrhagic fever. <clears throat> so that's what AD is classically seen. If the primary infection is used to the uh, dengue virus 1 and the secondary infection is happened due to the dengue virus 2. Okay, 1 is 1 and 2 is 2. This question also was asked. So please remember ADE, even if you forgot to, there is a clue D for dengue, dengue enhancement, dengue, dengue. Okay, antibody dependent enhancement, DE for dengue. That also good way to remember. Okay, now dengue hemorrhagic fever. Dengue hemorrhagic fever, what is more important here? <coughs> Excuse me. Pain, you know, everyone got dengue fever, we know that. Retro or beetle pain, retro or beetle pain is one, number one. The blood cell affected is, you know, there's a bleeding means platelet is definitely affected. Thrombocytopenia, it goes down. If it goes less than 1 lakh, usually it goes less than 1 lakh. That is important, okay? Platelet, thrombocytopenia. You know that one. This will be also a question. Now the test. The test, a lot of important tests are there. Now, you know, the, the recently exam uh, aims make uh, your uh, INICT exam. NS1 antigen, this was asked. In antigen test, the initial test, just from the day of infection, uh, day one, you know, from the day one to day five, I can go more or so till that it is NS1 and this is very good. Antibody, usually after five days, but usually see day three is if it start to rise only day three. Some book it says five, doesn't matter. So you can remember five also and then it uh, goes to weeks. It will be rise till weeks, okay, antibody, okay, IgM. We're talking about the anti IgM antibody. IgM antibody test here. Okay, and later on IgG for crowding, not important. Molecular PCR is due, that is not much done. Tourniquet test is very important. What you do, you tie your arms with a tourniquet, not your tie, and then in this region, you will be checking the petechial rashes. So rashes should be more than 20 petechia. Petechia per cubic mm. So per cubic mm. This also can be asked, repeatedly asked in the previous FMG. So repeated. Okay, very, very simple and easy. Now I'm going to the chicken gunia, the another favorite topic. Chicken gunia, clinical picture, you know, joint, joint, joint pain. When you have a severe joint pain, you think about chicken gunia. When you have severe uh, eye pain, retroorbital pain, you think about dengue. Okay, very simple. Incubation period is 11 days. That is okay. Not that important. So only this is important. And you know, it's a toga virus. 
they might mix to confuse you. They can you talk about it. That's your number. Okay. Now, yellow fever, the vector is again who? Edison, tiger, any fever. Of course, for chikungunya also tiger. Clinical future, yellow fever means it's a few no. Now, apart from fever, they should be liver should be affected. So, liver is affected, kidney is affected, renal problem, every multiple problems are there. In India, no, no, no. We don't have yellow fever in India. Okay. That is gone long back. Uh, no, no, we never had at all because that virus, you know, this, which is causing here, it is, it, it is not able to survive in the uh, our environment. No, and uh, we have good that uh, facility. We have uh, airport. You remember, no? Of some kilometers, we have nicely. They have put it properly. You know, insecticide everything, and that the virus doesn't grow. That okay? Yes. Now for this antibody test, you can do uh, LF with John. So ELISA, you do ELISA. Or molecular test, you can do PCR and the vaccine is important. Yellow fever vaccine is 17D. 17D, yellow fever. Now, what is the problem? Yellow is yellow. Yellow, you can't go. Yellow will not go with another egg yellow. Egg yellow. Remember like that. So, whoever has egg allergy, you can't give. Contraindicated in the egg allergy. Okay. Contraindicated in egg allergy, you can't give. 17D is the vaccine name, but you can't give an egg allergy. Question. Okay. Remember like that. Okay. 17D. Now, uh, now what about this? So, Zika virus. Zika virus, again, I told you, any fever, it is Aedes and Tiger. Aedes and Tiger, again. Other route of transmission is, apart from the mosquito, there was also reported contact, uh, sex, secretions, secretions, sex, vertical, etc., etc. And first, Z for Z, so it was first, discovered in brazil brazil was first center clinical feature again they can have fever they can have encephalitis encephalitis syndrome body pain all uh, you know uh, this atypical symptoms what about congenital congenital zika syndrome very important because this also causes microcephaly just like any other congenital microcephaly plus calcification of the brain can happen okay congenital zika syndrome what about the molecular when you talk about the molecular Oh, I forgot. One syndrome. Another very, very important. How can I forget this? Zika virus causes gullen barrier syndrome. GBS. Don't forget. gullen barrier syndrome is not only our gully boy going for camp, campylobacter, not only campylobacter, jejuni. Even Zika virus. That means in camping, may our uh, Ranveer Singh with Alia Bhatt, they are not only going for camping, campylobacter there. They also, what? They also have what? Zika noodles. They even take Zika noodles. Not only chicken, poultry, they take. You can remember that clue. Campylobacter. So, gully boy is a from, I told Gully boy come from down to upper. From nothing, they went to star. When we're seeing example that one. So the wrapper. So this is a Gullen Barry syndrome. Okay, Gullen Barry syndrome common with the Zika virus. That question will be asked. Molecular PCR. Usually we do PCR. Most viruses PCR. It's there's no culture, so it is either LIS or PCR only. Okay, right. Now Japanese encephalitis. Japanese encephalitis is another sweet, sweet topic. Japanese is the most it's the most common cause of uh, acute. Encephalitis in India, encephalitis, acute encephalitis, or any acute epidemic, any uh, uh, acute epidemic encephalitis, the word comes, sporadic means, already told you, sporadic is herpes simplex 1, we already did it, HSV1, flu is there, when you talk about Japanese, it is acute or endemic, vector is very, uh, Japanese curve, it will coolies, in Japan, the coolies work in the, they think, so Culex mosquito, expected question, reservoir, usually, Usually, uh, who are reservoir is usually the rodents. Japanese encephalitis is in the rodents. Okay, you see. Uh, oh, 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 once again, once again, not rodents here. I'm sorry, this is not rodents. Japanese encephalitis, Japanese people, you see what they're having here. That's what they put in this picture. Pork, and there is a seabird, arid. We call this arid birds or the cranes and whatever which is living near the water. Water birds, any water birds that they are the reservoirs. Amplifier is the pig. Pig is the amplifier. You can see the Japanese people, they love pig so much. Okay. Now in India. In India, clinical in India, you know, Gorakhpur. Japanese encounter is Gorakhpur only. That is in UP. UP Gorakhpur is the classic. The in your uh, uh, case history, they give the UP Gorakhpur. Don't even think. You think about this one. Otherwise, if you typus me, you think about scruff typus. Craft type is also there only, Gorakhpur, Bihar side. When it, when it comes to Japanese encephalitis, if the Gorakhpur comes, that also same. Okay, scrub and Japanese encephalitis. Okay, clinical match mortality rate is very high, around 30%, you can say. Not that much, but just mortality is high, but okay. Serology again, you go with ELISA, PCR, same, 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 everywhere. Same. 
for japanese english what is it japanese english is just in see japanese encephalitis sa sa my name i don't know why santosh sa they get my name say say and 14 14 2 this is the variant sa 14 14 2 like 17 d is for your yellow fever yellow 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 17 d Okay, egg, egg content. Here, SCA 1442 is for Japanese entry. They didn't ask this question for a long time. I never seen, but yeah, you never know. People are crazy. Okay, now, uh, next one. Kaisenor forest disease isolated from, this is usually coming uh, 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 from the monkeys. If you go to Mysore, endemic in Mysuru. Mysuru, uh, that is Karnataka, basically came for Karnataka. It is in Karnataka. Koisinor forest disease, this forest is in Karnataka, especially in Mysore. It came from Mysore only monkeys. Vector, usually, uh, you know, I have told you, a tick. It is usually the heart tick. You remember what are the heart? Heart, heart tick is for heart baby, baby seosis, baby seosis, and heart tick is for your. Um, Tularemia, tularemia, babesiosis, and one more heart is your Rocky Mountain fever. These are our heart tick. And exodistic, I told you, exodistic is for your Lyme's disease, Borrelia burgdorferi. Okay, right. Now, reservoir for coisinurus, rodent, forest full of rodent, or for rodent or rat. Amplifier, I already told monkey, monkey, monkey. So it's monkey. Because this forest is full of monkeys only. No, so you don't have to confuse. Forest may, you don't have pig and all. No, forest may monkey. So question for this monkey. So clinical picture, when you go to the forest, you will fall down. No, so hemorrhagic disorder. You have a lot of hemorrhage. Brain, I mean, poor body hemorrhage and also encephalitis. Also, you get head injury. So encephalitis, remember like that. Hemorrhage and encephalitis are common with us. Vaccine, of course, we have killed vaccine. This is also K for K, K for killed vaccine. We have killed vaccine for Kaisenor forest disease also. That's it. Okay, right. Excellent. We are doing good job. We are almost uh, finishing now. Yeah. Now, Rio Verde, I told you already, this is the only double standard DNA viruses. Rio Verde. <coughs> Excuse me. Under the Rio Verde, the rotavirus. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. Under Rio Verde, we have this uh, rotavirus. I already told you it's a cartwheel appearance, no? Rotate, so it's a cartwheel. <coughs> cartwheel appearance. We already saw the virus shape. Now I'm going to tell again. So it's the most common cause of diarrhea in children. Diarrhea in children, the most common cause is usually the rota virus. <coughs> yeah. Vaccine, yeah, we usually have the oral vaccine. Remember, rota has very O, O is there, rota. So we have a very good oral vaccine. What are they? Rota. Varics or Rotovac. Rotovac is recently asked. Rotovac. So these vaccines the schedule they have asked. What are the doses? 6, 10, 14. 6, 10, 14 weeks. Just like your DPT. That's like your DPT. You're giving DPT, OPV, same dose. 6, 10, 14 weeks. But only till 8 months. Only till 8 months you have to give. Not after that. You will be giving maximum to 8 months only. Okay. The, the main side of this Rotovac being a live vaccine, it is orally you're taking is into susception, into susception. In this question was also asked many times. Okay, into susception. So these are the few things of rota. Rota means diarrhea. Diarrhea means you have to give oral vaccine, live vaccine. That is a live oral vaccine, and then six to fourteen week till eight months you can give, and then into susception can happen. Rabies virus. Rabies virus. Now next we are going to the next family. Rabies virus. I'm going to use a red color because it's very dangerous. Right. So okay, family. Uh, family uh, rabi virus comes a rabi viride you know the name is this rabi viride rabi viride subfamily this girl name is lysa lysa virus he is the one who's having poor girl has a dog the dog bites her lysa viride okay they can they have asked this lysa one time a few time back i've seen one of the uh pg question exams also they've asked this question lysa okay now the shape shape if you see already told what is this bullet bullet shaped so if you have a dog have a rabies, what they do? They used to kill with a bullet. So remember like that bullet. So this is a bullet shape virus. You have glycoprotein, matrix protein, etc. So glycoprotein is very important for vaccine making. Vaccine making and it's very important for pathogenesis. Also, it's very, very important. Okay. Next. Now, uh, yeah. So street virus and fixed virus. Two types of viruses. We have two important proteins. That is this one only. The glycoprotein and the ribonucleoprotein are the very important proteins. 
Now the two uh, the, the, the the viruses can be two types: street and nat fixed virus. See, when a street, the name is a street and nat is dangerous. No, it's the most dangerous because rabies is caused in this street virus only, not with the fixed. Why? Fixed virus is for making the vaccine. It is for making the vaccine that will be asked. Fixed is for vaccine. No problem. Street is the problem. Negri body is definitely positive because street virus. Remember, street rabies means street dog is biting you. You will get rabies. You will get negri bodies here. No, no. Incubation period, it goes, it, 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 it goes for months, you know, it is like weeks to months it will take. The short incubation period, if it is close to, close to where? To the uh, upper, to the upper, to, to the uh, brain. I mean, close to the brain means when it is upper part, if it, the dog bites on the arms or etc., then it will be more dangerous. Longer, if it is distant, away from the brain, if it is away from the brain, distant from the brain, then it is away. Okay, that's only the opposite. Fixed virus, and this is nothing, no problem. The vaccine, it is very fast in few days, only days to week. In days to week, incubation period, that means it's very good for making the vaccine. That, that's one thing you have to remember. No, 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 no. No, you know, transmission is usually by the dog bite. Dog bite. Non bite me, usually it's because of licking, uh, licking, or, you know, uh, uh, oral droplet contact like these things it can happen you know it, it, due to abrasion vibration in the mucus it can happen eyelids are off bite okay now furious rabies and we have furious and again the uh, the disease also we have furious and rabies furious rabies means it is the one which is causing real that means you have what aerophobia aero fear of breathing aerophobia and then we have hydrophobia even photophobia fear of fear, fear of drinking water for hydrophobia and of course, it's all because of encephalitis. You have a very bad encephalitis. That is the reason. Eh? Hydrophobia, aerophobia, photophobia, any phobia, you know, that's a furious. And eh? a phobia, furious. Few, few, four phobias. Dumb, you just, dumb, you just have not that problem. You just have placid paralysis. That's it. Placid paralysis. Remember one word, placid paralysis, where we see, we saw the Clostridium botulinum. And also in Fox, okay, B virus, we are going to talk about placid paralysis. Don't worry. We are coming there. It's easy. Hmm. Now, diagnosis, the two tips. You do antimortem or you do the postmortem. Okay, when you do the antimortem, when you do the antimortem, uh, well, yes, when you do the antimortem diagnosis, live. So, what is the test you do? You do this question was also asked. You do direct fluorescent, direct fluorescent, direct, direct fluorescent antibody test. Okay, direct fluorescent antibody test, DFA. This question was asked many times. DFA, direct fluorescent antibody test. Okay, direct fluorescent antibody test. It detects a nucleoprotein IG and it's a gold standard also. The best test, best test. Okay, you do. So what you do, you will take these samples from different parts. You will be taking samples from nape of the neck. Nape of the neck. Uh, sorry, that is for uh, postmortem. But um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Here also, if you want to check the thing, you'll from here you'll scrap and you'll take that and you'll do this fluorescent. You add the fluorescent uh, labeled antibody to detect this antigen. It's a gold standard. Okay, right. Now molecular, you can do PCR. Of course, it's more specific and sensitive, but it's not gold standard. Postmortem is patient died. So after patient died, we have to check the. Uh, uh, for which body? Negri. N-E-G-R-A. Negri, Negri, Negri. Okay, Negri is for Negri dog. Dogs, okay, rabbits. Most common, usually Negri body is in which part of the brain? Hippocampus, cerebellum, brainstem. Cerebellum, not cerebrum, cerebellum and brainstem. Option may, if they can, they can tell you, except so cerebrum is not that common. Okay, only this hippocampus, cerebellum and brain. hippocampus, you know, that is for dementia, Alzheimer's common side, memory side. So same way, it becomes a cerebral brain stuff. Stain also important. The stain in a cell. So whenever you're selling a rabbit dog, be careful. Whenever you uh, selling, someone is selling the cell means cell, selling the rabbit dog, be careful. Okay, seller stain. This question was asked. Asked in the, uh, I think, uh, you know, few, uh, just, I think one or two before FMG, may they ask this question. Okay. Negri bodies, you see this picture. This picture, you see just the brain and you see the stain, you know, where stains you can see inside. These are the Negri bodies. Okay. These are the Negri bodies. That's what this picture is given. They can give you this type of picture, neuron ka picture. And they say this dog by get history, easy rabies. And it's the best is direct fluorescent antibody test is the best test. Okay. So you'll know it. Good. Yeah. Now, uh, now. Okay, next. Now, categories. Now, vaccination ka dose and all you need to know. See, a type of expert, no risk, minimum, minor risk, major risk. 
no risk means it's just uh, the type of exposure is just you know licking the just licking the intact skin licking intact skin so no problem intact skin uh, minor risk is when there is abrasion after the dog bite there's abrasion but no bleeding no bleeding just bleeding but no abrasion major risk may any thing if there is a bleeding is positive then you put a smudging even if you see a spot that is major risk management nothing only cleaning with the soap and water that's it of a minor risk may after with the clean and everything you have to give what only immunoglobulin anti rabies immunoglobulin anti rabies immunoglobulin you are going to give okay anti rabies for major risk may you are going to give anti globulin uh, you go to immunoglobulin plus you go sorry for uh, i'm sorry i made a mistake for minor risk you go give only rabies vaccine that's enough nothing to do only rabies vaccine only major risk when there is bleeding you give immunoglobulin plus vaccine both are important very very important question okay very very important so vaccination days how do you do zero day third day seventh day 14th day don't i'm sorry 28th day and the other one will be around 90th day booster 90 day booster okay that's it this is the schedule and again it changes depends on vaccine not risk but i did you remember like this zero three zero day third day seven day 40 day 20 day 90 days okay that's it these are the vaccines now pick a no virus pick a no virus so there's this group pick no car the shortcut is p e e okay and then uh p ha, p Corona C C O we can remember R N okay Reno and then A okay this is the P Corona P shortcut is P Corona okay now how to uh, fill this okay very simple so P for first one is P so P is uh, uh, under P Corona comes your polio E for entero and this E for echo virus O for Coxsackie, Coxsackie virus, R for Reno virus, Reno not respiratory, Reno virus, A for hepatitis A virus, hepatitis A virus. So these sort of polio, you know, enterovirus and echo, Coxsackie. We're going to talk about all these things now in very quick manner. Polio virus, actually this one you must know, you can't skip without knowing this. What is it? Type 1 uh, is the most common cause of most common it's the most common virus that's most common virus. most common overall most common virus okay causing all the epidemic pandemic everything all these things and all it is by type one only epidemic type two is most antigenic it is the highly antigenic virus type three is the vaccine associated paralysis vaccine associated paralysis polio vaccine associated paralysis type three this question was asked many times which is causing this this one that you know okay transmission is of course how it goes through the peak overall route Tico oral route. Damages which one? Anterior horn. Muscular. No, so it definitely should be the anterior horn of the anterior of the spinal cord. That's something called initial bodies. Also, initial bodies, they don't have much. Okay, you remember also initial bodies, they say spinal cord. So it, it leads into what? It leads into placid paralysis. Okay, placid paralysis. Spreading, usually we think it's nerve, but not. Usually blood is the first route, then only neurons. Through the nerves, it spreads polio. Okay, inapparent infection is the most common. Most of the polio are 99 percent inapparent. Paralytic polio will happen only in one very less less than one percentage only. So overall, most common cause of mild is polio virus. If someone asks encephalitis, means the spinal cord. No, so spinal cord is most common is the polio virus only. Okay, that you to remember. Tabes dorsalis is also spinal cord. That is syphilis. Okay, tabes dorsalis. Now here, polio virus for myelitis. Okay, important. So vaccines, what is the vaccine you're going to? You have two vaccines, you know that one. That is your, I'm going to write it here, OPV and IPV. IPV. OPV, you know, OPV is live vaccine. OPV, live. This is killed. IPV is killed. So live, the name is Sabin. Sabin, strain. And killed is Sulk. Anyone is Sulk, they are killed. You know? Sulk means they're killed. Sulk, I say LK, Sulk, okay. That's it. This is your number. Live vaccine written. And then doses, you know, uh, you give it the birth and then it goes 6, 10, 14 week along the DPTs. Okay. That's it. Uh, oral. This is oral and this is OPV. This is oral and this one you'll give in an injection form. Right. Ah, no. No, 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 no. Enterovirus uh, is the most common cause of 
viral meningitis. When you talk about viral meningitis, the bacterial meningitis overall most common causes streptococcus pneumoniae, whether it is neonatal, it is E. coli, or it is uh, your uh, um, E. coli and then group uh, group B, that is agalactia. But here in viral, if you talk, it's enterovirus. Vi uh, viral meningitis is most common cause enterovirus. And 70 causes the hemorrhagic conjunctivitis. Hemorrhagic conjunctivitis, hemorrhagic and conjunctivitis. Okay. 71 is there. This causes the hand, foot, mouth disease. Hand, foot, mouth disease. Hand, foot. Okay. 20 is hepatitis A virus. 72 is entero. 72 is hepatitis A virus. So it comes under picorno and picorno hepatitis A virus comes in picorno in that especially 72. It comes under EV72. That you have to remember. No other option. Okay. Right. So this question. Somewhere they have asked this one. Yeah. The question is asked. Okay. Next. Coxsackie. Coxsackie virus A and B. In both the cases, both of them, they cause this aseptic meningitis. Aseptic meningitis, aseptic meningitis. Coxsackie virus A and B. We have A and B. A, B, both cause aseptic meningitis. Pharynx me, it causes the herp angina. Herp angina. You know this one very well. A is there. A, aseptic meningitis, herp angina. A is there, herp angina. Skin, in skin me, this causes the hand, foot, mouth. This is common. Hand, foot, mouth. Hand, foot, mouth. This is this one, hand, foot, mouth, all are affected at the same time. Okay, recently popular. And I, and I, uh, 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 it causes, of course, conjunctivitis. It causes, uh, uh, okay, I'll write it here. Conjunctivitis. Ah, so it causes the, it causes the placid paralysis, placid paralysis. Okay, because after A, B, if you go in A, B, C, D order, I have, then S will come, no? So A will go with the hep placid, B will go with this. So it means spastic, spastic paralysis for the B virus. B goes spastic paralysis. Okay, this hep engine, aseptic, everything is a question. Hand, foot, mouth, everything is a question, question, question. Okay. Pleura, man. this is something called pleurodynia. Severe pleuritic pain will be there. That is called <coughs> bone hall, B for B, bone hall disease. A B is bad, so devil's grip. This is also called as devil's grip. See, like same, if you remember, uh, this is something you've seen in tetanus also. Tetanus also, your spastic paralysis. We call, um, yeah, if you remember the face, devil's grin face, you know, uh, uh, very that rigid face, you know, grid, like with the face is very lock jaw, yeah, lock jaw. Same way here, you can see spastic paralysis in the uh, B virus. Coxsackie and Coxsackie B, may you especially B. May. Okay, pleurodyne has written. This question can be asked. Okay. Now, pillow. Pillow virus may you only two viruses that pillow. I would say pillow, bola ko mara. Mara hai. Huh? Bola, bola, bolo, some Bolo is a guy. Bolo is a guy. He killed him. That means bolo is Ebola virus. In pillow virus, only two Ebola virus and other one is the Marburg virus. Ebola and Marburg. So now, uh, uh, two variants. So Ebola virus, only two variants, Zairi and Reston. Zairi variant is usually the dangerous one. Zairi is always danger. Zairi is dangerous. Reston is resting, no? So just non-virulent. Non-virulent. You are resting, so non-virulent. Nothing to do. Shape already we told. This is a filamentous shape. Ebola is a filamentous shape. Expected question. This can come. And reservoir is usually Ebola. Uh, um, again, it is the, we know, the fruit bat. Like Nipah, this is also fruit bat. Then transmission fruit bat is there. And how it is transmitted? Transmitted to usually through the, again, contaminated uh, food water, droplets. Uh, secretion, sex secretion, say through sexual route, vertical, everything is possible. Okay. Clinical feature, same thing. You can have hemorrhagic fever, uh, hepatomegaly, hepatomegaly, hemorrhagic fever, brine, encephalitis, everything. Every Most of the symptoms are there. Diagnostic again, you go for PCR is the best. Uh, if this new thing came, INMA. They give that the, uh, the treatment drug name is. Inma, okay, Inma drug, Inma pura, Inma, uh, Inma zab, Inma zab, Inma zab comes, okay, Inma, remember Inma, okay, 
In must have some name. You can pharmacologists, I'm sure they would have told you this is a new drug for Ebola variant. Okay, in must have. Okay, that's now the last one of the virus. So we are going to finish the virus. You see, I told you it will be very, very easy and we'll finish it fast. So here, this is the, the type of virus. This is again, it is a RNA virus only, nothing special. The same single cell RNA virus. Shape, we told it over peplomer, petal shaped, no? petal shaped, petal shaped, or club shaped peplomers. Not going to talk again. The reservoir again, it's the bat, bat, bat. And then Structures, you have all this gene. Yes, S, E. You know, the S for it is the surface protein. M, E for the, uh, sorry, S is basically, I'm sorry, spike. It is a spike. E for the envelope, envelope. M for, M for is a membrane protein, membrane protein. N for this uh, nucleo protein. ORM is just a non structural protein. It's a non structural protein there. Okay, that's it. So, uh, transmission and all, you know, already don't have to say, usually transmission to the droplet or airborne droplet or airborne target is usually this question can be asked acu angiotensin convertase type 2 type 2 receptors in the respiratory system the receptor this is question can be asked okay so diagnosis the best is the rt pcr of course the best is rt pcr now this is the bestest and you do you do two swaps what are the two swaps in nasopharyngeal and oropharyngeal nasopharyngeal and oropharyngeal two swaps you should take Sample transport in which one? Viral transport media. Viral transport media. VTM you call viral transport media. They are stored in 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Direct test me, you do true NAT. Don't forget, not only we have true NAT, CB NAT also. Cartilage based. This is uh, the chip based. Okay, these things are also apart from RTPCR, important diagnosis. And vaccines, and all, I'm not going to talk really. That is, you know, that is co vaccine, COVID shield. Covishield, Sputnik, AstraZeneca, Coco vaccine. Okay. All this. There are so many vaccines thing, but this, this is a basic vaccine zero. But okay, that's it. So we're done with this thing. So now we're going to start mycology in few seconds. Okay. In few seconds, we're going to start the. Um, so now mycology. Mycology is another very, very easy topic. Now you will see how easy it is and you're going to score very good in mycology. So before going to that, some basic things and all. Basic things means you can have questions from here also. So when you talk about the fungi, the cell membrane is very difficult because cell membrane has something called, excuse me, ergosterol. That is the cholesterol. Like your mycoplasma. If you remember, mycoplasma has a cholesterol in the cell. Same way, here also, you have ergosterol. Cell wall has something called chitin. Chitin, chitin. Okay, these things. Now, antifungal action, we, of course, this is a parma question, but then basic things such so that it will be easy even to go there. So, some question, the question was asked. Amphotericin, you know, this is the, you know, one of the strong medicines we have. Amphotericin, how, what is the work? Po is there, so it means it forms the pores on the cell membrane. Okay, amphotericin, if you see, it makes the pores on the cell wall. It, it makes some pores and then it goes inside it and act. Azoles or PCO, azole, all the azoles, they inhibit the cholesterol synthesis. That's the ergosterol or cholesterol synthesis, you know, synthesis inhibition. So, fluconazole, you know, it is used for candida. Atroconazole, uh, atroconazole used in uh, many places, um, particularly, uh, will come there. But posaconazole, example, posaconazole used for the all the mucor disease, mucor mycosis, mucor mycosis, you can use. Yeah, I draw see aspergillus, many things, many places you're going to use. I'm just giving one example. This thing you can use in uh, so many places. Now, uh, ketoconazole is used as a systemic use, it's one of the gift, you know, systemic use for many infections. Ketoconazole, but then again, the side effect is gynecomastia, you know, the term gynecomastia. And one more thing is graciofulvin. Graciofulvin is written here. Graciofulvin is something this was recently asked. They are the mitotic inhibitors. This is microtubule. No? These are these are things of microtubules. They are microtubule inhibitors. They inhibit the microtubule formation. That's it. Okay. And there's flu cytosine. Flu cytosine. The name cytosine means it's, a, it's inside cell something. So it inhibits the DNA, the genetic material. Okay. It, it, it inhibits this thing. That's it. These are the few things, basic things. Now we go to the main thing. We'll go to the classification. They always say the exam. Uh, they give a picture from here. So this is very important. So classification means there are two, there are actually, when you divide, classify the fungi based on the morphological feature, there are, uh, first thing is mold, then there is yeast, and there is yeast-like, yeast-like, and then there is dimorphic fungi. Dimorphic fungi we are going to talk a bit later. So how to know? Mold means, see, usually the fungi, what happened? Fungi 
at uh, normally when it is a room temperature no room temperature means let's say 22 when just 22 degrees celsius to 25 degree it is a mold it forms a mold like this this will be the mold in mold what you see you will see the hypate you will see this hypase you can see you know mold means you will see hypate same in infection also you do wet mode you can see hypate yeast is something like a paste yeast is like a paste you know so the pure yeast example so mold is many example aspergillus mucor etc etc yeast it is on the classic example cryptococcus cryptococcus and you know? cryptococcus you can see yeast there's a budding yeast cell your typical budding yeast cells will be there that's it like this only budding yeast cells that's pure yeast yeast like me you'll see budding yeast cell plus you'll see pseudo hyphae pseudo hyphae means it's not a real hyphae like this you see all the pseudo hyphae so who is the pseudo people here two people one is candida people another one is here mala mala sisia purpur mala this girl mala mala sisia purpur which causes pityasis vesicular we'll talk about it they are the pseudo hyphae people so they're yeast like they're not true people yeast like okay it's true dimorphic fungi will come later okay now the uh dimorphic fungi so we talk about dimorphic fungi we're going to talk later but if you now we can go it's nothing wrong it is the shortcut is heat blast cock heat blast cock Paracoque, all the tough things, you know, dimorphic means, see, they have both the yeast form and the mold form. They can change, okay? They can, depending upon the temperature, they can go between yeast and mold, paracoque. And then whatever, then we have a spot, hit plus cock, paracoque, spot, and pen. Everything is something like killing, killing only. You know? Dimorphic itself is a dangerous it's a systemic fungi, you know? So what is the hit for? Hit for histoplasmosis. Histoplasmosis, which is the only epidemic, endemic in India, right? Uh, among dimorphic is opposite blast for blastomycosis you know that blastomyces blastomyces blastomycosis okay cock for cochidiosis cochidiosis paracoco paracochidiosis para coccidiosis coccidiosis paracoccidiosis okay spot for sporothric shankai we're going to talk everything now penicillium all you definitely will have one question from it we'll talk about that before that we have sexual spore asexual spore when you talk about sexual spore you see these two people these two special people one is the ice spore right ascospore ascospore what happened of course you're going to have sex with the uh basidio spore babidiol no basidio spore babidiol basidio spore they all deuteromycids deuteromycids babidiol and uh, ash aishwarya Bobidiol, BDO, yeah, Bobidiol, Deuteromyces, that is fungi imperfecti. We also call it as fungi imperfecti. And one more thing is that what they make babies, zygospore. Right? Zygospore. They make babies, zygospore. Very simple. Asexual spore is ABC. A for Arthur is asexual, very boring asexual. B, blasto, you know, he blasts him. If you don't have sex, of course, you will blast asexual. And C for chlamydia. Chlamydia spore is seen in Candida. Chlamydia, also no spore. They are no sexual, asexual spores. Okay. So uh, you remember um, Aishwarya with Bobby Dio, Aishwarya and Bobby Dayol, they make babies after sex, they make zygote, finished zygospore. That is enough for you. This is enough. Okay. Very, very simple. And then you guys are saying micros difficult, micros difficult. How it's possible? It's so easy subject. Now, identification of fungi, you do different type of technique. One is this is, you know, already many times repeated negative stain. Negative stain, you know, it's an Indian ink. Here is Indian ink, but also negrosin, also same only negrosin. So what you can see here, you can see the background. That is the capsule, capsule stain. So you know, only capsulated fungi. Here is your cryptococcus, cryptococcus. So to different identify the fungi, one is you can use a negative stain, especially for capsule one. Other one is the most commonly used is L LPCB. LPCB means lactophenol cotton blue. You can have questions from the lactophenol cotton blue. Also, another stain. If you use a lactophenol cotton blue, if you use a lactophenol cotton blue, you will get uh, this like this blue color. This blue color ka, uh, fungal elements can be seen in this blue color. Okay. Now, next one. This staining one, this is a, <coughs> excuse me. Hmm. This is the fluorescent stain. Flu what is this one? Fluorescent. You know, we repeatedly were talking about it. That is the calcofluor, calcofluor white. Calcofloor white. It is the calcofloor white stain. So you can see all the shining ones. The shining ones that is the calcofloor white. You can see that very nicely, right? Calcofloor white. Now this one, you see, there's a, a black color. No, so sir, GMS, Gomori methinamine silver. Any silver, it's black color. So this is Gomori methinamine silver. Like your Fontana, no? Fontana levarity in syphilis. Same way, the Gomori methinamine silver stain. Gomori methinamine silver, black color you see, that is. Gomori, black Gomori, you know, black Gomori. Remember Gomori, Gomari, she's black, black color. Okay. This is per acid chef. 
hmm? periodic acid gem. Pass we call. Pass me, it will be pink color. Pink color is present. So recent one question came. That's what I'm stressing for the colors and all. Okay. Fluorescent calcophore can come. Fluorescent me, microscope. Blue color, lactophenol, cotton blue can come. These are the things. Okay, these are basic six stains. Okay. Now, other test. Now the culture media one question is frequently asked. Which is the media we're using? Yes, DA. That is sabro dextrose agar. Na? Sabro dextrose agar. Sabro dextrose agar. Uh, because dextrose they go like this. You will get a quality like this. You know, paste the quality. So what happened? They asked the pH of this STM media. The pH is basically S is like 5. No. S is looking like this. So 5.5 or 5.6. pH is 5.5. This was a question asked. Okay. Beta 3 glucone is positive for all fungi. Beta 3 glucone is it's a type of LSR test. We do it for all fungi except, you know, where there is no beta. There is no beta 3. BMC. Bangalore Medical College or Bihar Medical College. Me, there is no beta 3. Except so B, what is B for B for blastomyces? Uh, M for mucor, C for cryptococcus. These are the three organisms where it is not there. We don't have beta 3 glucose. This question will be asked. Okay, except all fungi. Galactoman is classic for aspergillus. We use for candida also, but it's typically classic for aspergillus. Galactoman. Okay, manner. Aspergillus. Okay, fine. Now the superficial infection. When you talk about the superficial infection, we are always talking about the tenia only. Okay. Uh, tenia infection. Tenia or petriasis vesicular. Petriasis vesicular. First infection. When you talk super first, is, this question is definitely asked. So the causative agent organism name is Mala. This girl is Mala. This girl, see? Mala, she's eating. Mala, she's here. Kurpur. Mala, remember, Mala has petriasis vesicular. So you, what? What is this rash called? You have this hypopigmented itching, hypopigmented pruritic rash, pruritic rash. This is the question. Exact word will come in your case history like this, hypopigmented pruritic rash. So after that rash, you're going to put in a KOH and you're going to mount and see. When you do KOH or you can do LPCB, you see LPCB, you do LPCB. So what are the things you will see? You see this appearance like round and this thing. This is called as spaghetti meatball, spaghetti meatball or it is called banana grapes. Banana grapes. Very important question. Definitely you will have this picture on the last. So Mala, this is our Mala, beautiful Mala. She eats spaghetti and meatball and also she eats what? Banana grapes. But what is this? Sir? This is something in SDA media, you have to add olive oil. SDA, she eats the egg with olive oil. Remember like that. Mala eats egg with olive oil. Then what happened? You will get a fried egg colony. Like our Diana, Diana mycoplasma. Mycoplasma, fried egg colony. Fried egg colonies. Okay, Diana, because of Dine's method. Dine's method, I told. So here you do ST with olive oil, fried egg colony. That's it. This much only. This question will not come out of this. Hypopigmented protein crash, you make an LPCB or a wet mount, whatever, and check for spaghetti meat for banana grape, you get this appearance. That's it. Now, Tinea nigra. Tinea nigra and all, these are some uh, things I don't remember all these things. are just basic, basic only. Okay, so uh, this is caused by exo. Exo piala. Uh, exophiala uh, nigra, no, uh, exophiala fortier, fortier, okay, or there's some verniki also, verniki, verniki, same, same for black petro also, it is same, exophiala fortier, okay, anything black fortier, remember like black is fortier, here also, tinea nigra means something black, no, so vernike, vernike venki is black, black venki, black hot venki, okay, petra is basically the lesions of hair follicle, Hair follicle, that's it, okay. Hair follicle and exophiala forte. That's it. This is they don't ask that much. So I'm, I'll skip this topic. It's not that important. That important topic is here already. Very, very important topic now. Here is we are here now already. So tinea dermatitis is the second superficial infection. Apart from the first pitus vesicular, now we have tinea ringworm infections or dermatophytes. Dermatophyte infection we usually cause by three things: trichophyton, epidermophyton, and microsporon. Trichophyton. The name is about tri. So it means it affects what? What? It affects the nail, uh, first skin, of course, skin. Skin, nail, hair, all the three. Three. Okay, skin, hair, nail. Epidermophyton, epidermophyton, it ends with N. So epidermis skin. So skin plus nail. N for nail. N for nail. Okay, nail. Microsporon, microspore. No, so everywhere skin is there. It is causing skin plus. Micro is like hair, no, so hair. 
skin plus hair microsporum. This question will be asked. Anything they can ask. Okay, remember. Okay, very important. Trichosporin, all the three. Epidermal fitness, skin and nail, N for nail, nail. Uh, and uh, 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 this one, microsporin, you can uh, skin with the hair, micro hair, no? like this, remember. So what about this microconidias? This microconidias, when we talk about the microconidias, uh, microconidias, trichophyton, yes, there are many, 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 many microconidias will be there. But in epidermophyton, absent or few, few or absent, though no, few, few or that. Micro, in micro, there will not be micro, remember like that. In micro, there is no micro, like that, okay? So very few. But macroconidia is important. Macroconidia, the shape is important. That is the question every year they are asking repeatedly, expected question. So macroconidia, how it will be try? I would say always try to write with pencil first, pencil first, okay? So look at this, this appears. These are all called pencil shape. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is a pencil shaped macroconidia. <coughs> then epi. Epi or ebi in South India, always these guys, ebi, gibi, you know, they are the big, big shots. They usually have what club? They have club with them, you know, very nice pubs, clubs. So club shaped. Epidermophyton club shaped. Epi, epi is club shaped. Definite question. As sure, last year club shaped came. This year you expect pencil shaped or you expect this microsporon? Microsporon, micro, you know, whenever you read micro, your head will spin. No, it will spin. Definitely it will spin. <coughs> Many people say the same thing. So, Many people say the same thing. They know what they say. Whenever I read micro, my head is spinning. So it is spindle shaped. Spindle. Okay. Very, very simple. Very easy. So you got it. Okay. So this is spindle shape. See spindle shape. This is club shape. This is pencil shape. So expect one definite question. That's what I put this box separately. Okay. Yes. Now, let's go to the different individual. Tinea capitis. Tinea capitis is, you know, that is basically the, see, we also call it as seborrheic. This tinea infection affects the head. Anna? If it affects the head or skull, if it affects the head or skull, it's seborrheic dermatitis. You also call it seborrheic dermatitis or dandruff, everything. Anna? Dandruff, you can say. Okay, fine. Then in tinea capitis, a few complications. It could be like this, favus, like this. Or this is kirion. This could be like this kirion. This is called kirion. This picture will come in exact. Please remember. Favus, everything white, white is favus. This is caused by which you know that. It is caused by the trichophyton. Who is this? Sonale pentre. So, Sean Sonleni. Okay, trichophyton, Sonleni. Okay, Sonale pentre. Remember, Sonale. I think a little bit spelling mistake is there. It doesn't matter, but it's, it sounds same. Sonleni. Okay, Sonleni. Okay, uh, trichophyton, Sonleni, favus. Kirion, is this Kirion? You know who is this? Who is this? Our our Viru boy, you know Viru Viru. So and Viru is always crazy, mental. No, he's a little bit mental. So this is Kirion. Uh, uh, it's caused by uh, one is the. Uh, I'll, I'm going to write it here. One second, just write it. Huh. So it is called be trichophyton mentographe. Also. Verucosum, okay, that's it, okay. Kirion, Kirion, Kirion is caused by, caused by the trichopetal mentographics or vericosum. These two things are very, very important. At least you should remember mental viru. That's what, you know, viru is helping us many places, okay. So these are the two things. Mentographics and vericosum are the causative agent of Kirion, Kirion on the head, like this boggy swelling, this boggy swelling, who has our viru has, okay, that's it. That's what I'm writing viru. So mentographics and vericosum, very easy. And tinea barbe, tinea barbe causes the barber's itch. It causes the barbers itch. Uh, barbers. Ungu means you know it's in the fingers. So usually it's in the finger. Question, question. Barbe, barbers itch. Tinea ungu. Tinea pedis means in the in the leg part. You see this one, no? like this, you'll get this in, okay? In the uh, in the uh, legs, between the legs, fingers, right? Yeah, okay. Now, tinea cruis is called jogs itch. You know? This is called jogs itch. Because of underwear thing, inner part of the thigh, the picture can come inner thigh, inner thigh region. So these are all caused by the dermatophytes. So the, all these tinnias are caused by dermatophytes. So here two things: Fagus Krishna Shonleni, and for Kirion Krishna Mentographics and the uh, Vericus. Okay, right. That's it. Ha. Now, next one is. Ah, 
Now subcutaneous hemorrhage. Subcutaneous hemorrhage, the first one is mycetoma. Mycetoma is basically this for moderate feet. See, usually in mycetoma, the three things are uh, positive. What is the, you will have a swelling, painful swelling, plus there will be a sinus tract. There will be, the sinus discharge will be there, sinus discharge. And then there, there will be granules. There will be a lot of granules. This is the classic triad in any mycetoma. So we have active actinomycetoma, you must know. Actinomycetoma is a bacteria cause. A for apple, A for B for boiled. After A comes B. E for E, after E comes F. So you mycetoma is caused by fungi. Bacteria, we already know, which is caused by, you know, actinomyces. We already spoke about it. Actinomyces, nocardia, all these organisms, they cause this one. Okay, nocardia. Fungi is important for us. Okay, what are the fungi are important here? Which are the fungi that is usually causing this? So, which are the uh, fungi that is causing this uh, thing? Now, we are going to talk in a while now. Abby. So, okay. Fungi, usually, uh, usually see Madurella species, M-A-D-O-R-E-L-A. Madurella species, fungi, lot of all this Madurella uh, fungi, they cause the use mycetoma. Here, you have multiple sinuses. You have multiple sinus discharge side. You know, multiple sinus. Here, usually few. Very one or two. Few sinus discharge only. Few sinus discharge. Okay, and the discharge is usually here it is white in color. It's usually white, but here it is black color. It is black color, except example, it's cream color in case of acrimonium. You know, acrimonium, acrimonium uh, fungus, it is cream color. Otherwise, it's usually black. Here it's always white. And then few red color in pellet curry, actinomyces pellet curry, that's okay, fine. So it's usually multiple here, few cells in black in color. That's it, that's important. This. So here treatment is always antibiotics you give, antibiotics you have to do for bacteria. So here the treatment is always surgery. You have to do surgery plus antifungal can be given, but surgery is mandatory. Surgery is always required. Okay, that's it. So this is other thing. You, this is the basic thing for mycetoma. So mycetoma comes at the subcutaneous because in subcutaneous infection, the shortcut to remove, see in superficial, we have only tinea or the dermatophytes, tinea versicolor and the, the petra is not that important. Versicolor. Here in subcutaneous, you have MR, MR. Uh, MR, you have to do MRCS. You have to do MRCS. So M for this mycetoma, mycetoma. R for rhinosporidiosis. Rhinosporid. We're going to talk everything now. C for chromo, chromoplastomycosis. S for sporothrix. Why I'm talking about this? Because you have question on this. Which of the following cause subcutaneous infection? So you should remember mycetoma, rhinosporidiosis, chromoplastomycosis, and sporothrix. Shankai. Okay, we, we are talking about each one. We finished mycetoma. Now so sporothrix. sporothrix is the examiner's hot topic. Because they, most of the examiners, they know only this disease in fungus. Because rest other things, they forget, they don't remember, no? So, okay. So now, what are things you should be knowing here? First of all, it's a sporothrix or rose gardener. This so look at this rose gardener, no? rose gardener. So what he's doing, a rose gardener. Uh, he, he was playing with the rose, you know, the rose thorn pricks him. Rose thorn pricks, pricks him, right? So when he pricks, what happened? He got this row of ulcers. You call this row of ulcer. He got row of ulcer in his hand or in the leg, wherever. Okay, along the lymphatic system, along the lymphatic row of ulcer, lymphatic. This social question, row of ulcer. Exact word will come. Roast on prick, and which is the which area he is from? Himalayan. He is usually from the Himalayan region. Himalayan, okay, Himalayan region, okay, Himalayan side, sub Himalaya, sub uh, usually called as Himalayan or Himachal, wherever those places. Then what happened? He has very good habits. See, he has one bad habit. He he, uh, he smokes cigar. He smokes cigar, okay. So cigar bundle appearance number one, and second one he has a splendor bike. Splendor bike also, okay. So it is splendor hopley phenomena. Splendor hopley phenomena is also seen in actinomyces. But anyway, now you remember splendor hopley phenomena. S for S, if you forgot also sporothrix, splendor hopley phenomena, just star like this up here. That is only nothing much, okay. I think. Okay, next one. What he does now, yeah, and then he uh, in night time, he his garden is full of rose. This is like you know, rose shaped conidia. He rose garden, so rose conidia, rose flower. Flower type conidia, okay. Flower or rose like conidias. And another one, you know, he has very important thing asteroid. At night time, he likes to see stars. So, asteroid body is a question asked. 
so night time helps us. so asteroid splendor by cigar cigar also seen in leprosy people don't forget they eat gobi and cigar here only cigar bundle is that also is not wrong if you say this is a gobi also but typically we call cigar bundle so our gardener likes to smoke he likes to watch the star asteroid he loves rose and of course he has a splendor by bus garden species now the renos producers and talk about the renos producers now this is caused by renos producers seaberry Seaberry, right? Renus produce seaberry. So you see here what you have. First of all, the nose is stuff says strawberry nose. Number one. Number two, look at this. When you stain, when you take the smear, you go. And of course, before that, this is usually common where usually in the freshwater ponds, South India, especially in the ponds in South India, Tamil Nadu, mainly the words out the Tamil Nadu they give, you think about Renus produce South India. Okay. So, a strawberry nose, ponds, so you see the spherules, you see this typical spherules with the spores inside, sporangia spore, okay, that's it. That's it, okay, this is uh, so Renos produce, seaberry, strawberry nose, question will be asked. Of course, strawberry vagina, you know, trichomonas vagina, so we are going to talk about it in a while, and strawberry tongue uh, in the scarlet fever, there are many strawberries are there, and you woody nose, we already spoke in uh, bacteria only, woody nose, you know, uh, caused by the reno. Sclerometers, Klebsiella rhinosclerometosis, you know that one, and then uh, Ruminos for uh, at, uh, Klebsiella atropica. Yeah. Okay, those things. Oziana, Oziana, because atropic rhinitis. Now, next is a chromoblast. So, chromoblast is very important. Chromoblast is the only thing they will give you is it looks, it is not a dimorphic fungi. First of all, remember, okay, it's not a dimorphic. Second one, here the word would be farmers. They give the farmers, and see, whenever farmer, the word, the costume agents are far, 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 no. So, it is like Fiolophora, Fiolophora, okay, fa, and Fonsesia, 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 and Cladophiolophora, any Fiolophora, Cladophiolophora, Fonsesia, these are the common, all fa, 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 it means farmer, farmer, fa, fa, it goes like that, that's another easy way to remember. Apart from that, you see this lesion, if you see this, this is very typical ulcerative uh, lesion, mm -hmm. this, uh, uh, this is like a very, Verucosa, right? Epidermo, 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 epidermolytic verucosa, like what like lesion. You call it as like the what like lesion. What like lesion. When you have lesion like this, what like lesion, epidermolytic verucosa, okay? Epidermolytic verucosa, like this, along this thing. And when you make a smear and you check for this special body, that is important. That is important. So this picture will be given in exam or they will say epidermolytic varicosa, dysplasia, epidermolytic dysplasia, anything can come. So basically it is like a wart-like lesion, epidermolytic dysplasia or epidermolytic varicosa, wart-like lesion. Here, if you see this appearance, what is this? Copper penny, you call it as copper penny appearance or you call it as the medlar body or mureform. Mureform cells okay copper penny medullar bodies more form cells the also you call it as sclerotic bodies sclerotic bodies see so many names are there and definitely expected question exactly like this looks like a coin so it's a copper point medullar body or sclerotic body more form not asteroid body asteroid is star only gardener is seeing the star but here it is a copper penny medullar and this thing this type of comes it's a chromoblastomycosis you know it very well okay now, uh, next, histoplasma. Now we go to dimorphic fungi. So now dimorphic is a very, very interesting and definitely expected question. So first dimorphic histoplasmosis. Then talk about histoplasmosis, the other names. First of all, you see, what is this caveman? In the cave, um, he is, this guy is going in the cave. He's going with this darling where in Ohio, in Ohio, especially Mississippi. Mississippi. Why? This is called caveman's disease. Caveman's, this is the only endemic in India, only endemic disease in India. Okay, this is the only, among dimorphic, this is the only endemic in India. Remember, it's a darling disease, darling disease, it's called caveman disease, darling disease, Ohio, Ohio, Miss Ohio Valley, Ohio Valley disease, Mississippi, because it's usually seen in the Mississippi. These are the other names. You can have a question from the caveman's darling. Okay. Mr. Caveman was hitting his darling. Hit, no? He was hitting his, the caveman was hitting his darling. Unfortunately, he ended with TB. TB means disease also is like TB. And the conidias, you see, 
This is also TB, tuberculate, tuberculate conidia. When the word tuberculate TB comes, it is histoplasma, tuberculate conidia. Symptoms are also like TB, it affects the lung. So because all the dimorphic fungi, the main thing is lung only. So it can be systemic, but usually it affects the lung and then spreads here and there, usually lung. Okay. Then you have small, tiny, tiny budding yeast cells, but that is what? Not broad based. It is uh, narrow based, narrow Narrow place, but it means like this, like this, and then like this. Okay, narrow base, not wide base. This is for histoplasmosis, number one, for histoplasmosis. Now, number two, number two, blastomycosis. Blastomycosis, uh, you know, who, who likes a blast? Gilchrist. Gilchrist, what happened? He's having a, uh, after cricket match winning, he's in Chicago. He's going to have a blast. After winning his cricket match, Gilchrist is going to Chicago and having a blast. That's it. Okay, blast. So blast, ka, what do you know? It's B is very similar to 8. No? 8 like this. So figure of 8. So broad based. The word broad based. Budding yeast cell. When the word comes, <coughs> broad based budding yeast cell. This one. Then that is your blastomycosis. Very simple. Okay. Nine. Next. Ha. Now, cochidiomycosis. When we talk about the cochidiomycosis, this is the cock. You see, this is the cock. Beautiful cock. It is sitting on the barrel. Cock sitting on the barrel. And what it is eating? It's eating the spherules. It is eating, it is eating on the see this is spherule. Okay. So now this is the thing. Why it's a barrel? Because first of all, cochidiomycosis, one thing. Okay, that's fine. Let's remember. The, uh, the, you know, where does the cock live? It lives in the valley. Cocks lives in the valley. So, what is called desert? desert. You should lives in the desert valley. In a desert valley. So, you call it as desert valley rheumatism. You call it as desert valley rheumatism. In cochidiomycosis, desert valley rheumatism. So, cock is, if you forget also, any word desert valley comes, please remember desert means cocks lives in the desert. And they live on the barrel. Why is a barrel? Because this is called barrel-shaped conidia, barrel-shaped arthrospores, arthrospores, arthrospore. You know the cock, you know the cocker name, Arthur. Arthur, you know, it's an asexual spore. We call Arthur. Arthur's cock. The cock name is Arthur. And Arthur cock is on the barrel, sitting on the barrel. So barrel-shaped arthrospore. Okay, right. And then what you see? Same. You see SPH spherules. Spherules with spores. So cock is eating this one. Cock is coming and it's eating this spherule, this round color, and it's eating all the spores inside it. Okay, that's it. Remember like that. Okay. Now the paracochidiosis. We we'll talk about the paracochidiosis. It is just cock. You will have a cock, cochidiomycosis. Para means many. So on the side also, you will have a lot of things like this. No, like this. That's what paracochidiosis, otherwise called what appearance? Cartwheel. Just like your rotavirus here, this is also cartwheel appearance, cartwheel or pilot wheel, sheep, uh, ship wheel, ship wheel, any wheel, wheel, wheel. Okay, anything, cartwheel, pilot wheel, ship wheel, pioneer, anything comes, any wheel comes. That is your paracock. Also, if it is only on two places, you call this what? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Budding yeast cell, Mickey Mouse budding yeast cells. Okay, these will be the question, question, question. Don't forget. Very, very important. Okay, cartwheel or Mickey Mouse basically. Or every disease, but I'm same. Only based on this picture and this thing, they'll ask you a question. Definite question. Dimorphic is always one question. You will have it. Okay. With albumicosis, you know this will be like uh, for South Indian friends, they'll be so happy. Why? Because Thalai, this is how Thalai Ajit, you know, is a superstar. So, so Thalai always Thala is having a pen you know Thala is very good in writing so he always has a pen okay he has a pen and of course he has a paint brush don't forget he has a paint brush okay he has a paint brush also he has a broomstick he also you know broom for oh, oh, just for fun you know broomstick so what happened so Thala is having all these things that means why see this is a broomstick or paint brush same paint brush or broomstick up in this is a question okay well, who is having paintbrush broomstick? Thal Thaleromyces or pencil noses? Because pencil noses nowadays called thaleromyces only. So pencil, you not have an option, pencil noses, so don't confuse. Pen, who likes pen? Thala likes. So thaleromyces. So okay. Then what happened? Suddenly one day this one came. This uh, bamboo, 
this bamboo rat came inside his house. So of course you'll get angry, no? So what he did, our tale, he took this bread, broomstick, and he gave a patar on its back. If this is the rat, I say back. So here what happened? It become a red color pigment. It got a red color pigment. That means even even this red color back also. And Thales movie also red movie. If you remember Thales, one of the good movie, flop movie, doesn't matter. Okay, red, red one. That is also become red color pigment. So if you see this red color pigment, which one? That is when asked. Question is asked. Definitely asked. Okay. So red, red ink pen, red ink pen, or red color on the back of the bamboo mm, bat, whatever you want to remember. All tale tale only, taleromyces, very, very simple. And a broomstick appearance, even LPC, broomstick appearance. If you see, see, it's like a broomstick or paintbrush. So this type of question, expected, sure shot, 100% expected questions, these pictures are not. So you will get question. Okay, thalam is finished, so finished. Now we are coming to operation, the final part of the mycology. So easy, you see. Candidiasis is among no opportunistic infection. That means whenever, whenever the immunity goes down, when HIV or any immunity goes down, then it causes. Candidiasis, you know. First of all, these are the pictures. It is called, in this picture, if they give it, it's oral thrush. Oral leukoplakia is your, you know that, that is your Epstein-Barr virus. Oral thrush is your candida, oral thrush. This is vulvovaginal candidiasis. Vulvovaginal candidiasis. So, you know, again, uh, this causes one of the candidial uh, vaginal discharge. We told it's a curdy white, na? cheesy or curdy white. Cheesy or curdy white. The exact word will come, curdy white discharge. And then here, what happened? The pH value... <coughs> The pH is usually acidic, so less than 4.5, okay, less than 4, acidic pH, curdy white discharge. And then another thing is that, uh, 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 yeah, this, this, these are the two important points, cheesy and curdy white discharge, you should remember, okay, right. Now, yeast, you, it usually grows like a yeast like this. You put in a chrome agar, the special, to differentiate the species, you to put in a chrome agar, okay. Then there's one thing called uh, Reynolds, Reynolds, Brown, bronze phenomena reynolds brown phenomena reynolds brown phenomena is nothing but very simple you have to put this uh, cultured media into a plasma plasma and leave it for a few hours and check there is something called germ tube germ tube okay germ tube so this one is positive so when you talk about germ tube if that is positive then that is typical for candida albicans family there are so many species albicans uh, uh, cruze and then uh, auris, so many things, parapsilosis, etc. So if germ tube positive, that is albicans, candida albicans. But anyway, they will ask you, Reynolds bone phenomena is seen in which fungus? Candida. Candida is Reynolds bone, okay? Reynolds goes candida infection, okay? Reynolds got candida infection from his wife. Okay, now. Candida is one of the operating infection. Treatment of candidates is, you know, fluconosal. I'm not going to talk those things and all. Fluconosal, we already spoke about it. Cryptococcus neoformis, you know, in HIV patients, is the most common cause of meningitis. That, too, you know very, very well, meningitis. So, you see, this is a capsule. First of all, it's the only capsulated. We already spoke about it, capsulated fungi. So, India included negative stain. Other one is a bird seed agar. You're going to do the bird seed agar. See, cryptococcus, the primary infection is, always remember, the primary infection of cryptococcus is lung only. Okay, but in immunocompromised, it can spread, it can go to the brain and cause meningitis. Ideally, it is the lungs only, cryptococcus. Okay, in bird seed agar, you can see this brown or black color colony. So, no, brown color, black color colony, you can see bird seed agar. And then, um, and these are, you can do the uh, music armin, music music. Music armin, music armin stains you can do to check the special budding yeast cells or not, and you can find it. Okay, so this is a round instead of over, this is a round budding cells with a capsule present. Okay, bird seed other. Okay, that's it. So, so, so ah, most important thing is what how the crypto is coming to the PGN. PGN, and one more thing I will tell you PGN droplets. Okay, PGN droplet inhalation, then it goes to the lung, it affects the lung, and from lung it spread and goes to the mentor. So, PGN droplet is very, very important. Same way, bat is for histoplasmosis also. Bat is for histoplasmosis. Bat is his important role. And for parrot, you already know cetacosis. Parrot, you know, chlamydia, cetacosis. We already spoke in the bacteria class. The cetacosis. Okay, parrot is better cetacosis. Okay, so all are question, question, question. Parrot. Now, uh, no, no, no. Now, see, pneumocystis gerovici. Pneumocystis, the name is pneumocystis gerovici. This is also, again, you know that in HIV patient, it's very, very common. It causes pneumonia, pneumonia. Like a TB this going to be, but only thing is that when your CD4 cell should be less than 200, and then only it happens. Here, what you did, you do this uh, silver stain. When you do this special silver stain, what happened? You see the cyst will be black color. 
it is uh, pneumus is somewhat it's like a parasite only it, it, for many reasons it's like a parasite anthropocyte will be green color so the cyst is like called look at this ball it looks like a ping pong ball ping pong p for pneumocystis so ping pong ping pong ball appearance so this also can be questioned they like examiners love fancy words so they can give you questions like this only excuse me okay pneumocystis gerovici or pneumocystis carni they are same word okay pneumocystis carni i want to oh. ping pong ball appearance okay finished Next, aspergillus. Almost we're finishing the mycology. One, two more topics. Aspergillus, you know, aspergillus causes systemic infection, operant infection. Aspergillus, the first important thing is that this structure, when you do aspergillus and check, what do you see? A for acute angled septate type A, AS, you know? septate. This you should remember. Acute and septate. See, see everywhere here it is acute and septate. It's like this, 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 okay? And there's always septa. Instead, you have a septa, okay? That's what acute. So either this one or this one, both are aspergillus only you see acute angle acute angle like this you see acute angle separate IP, acute angle separate IP. okay right so here we have different type um, in uh, if you talk about and see the most, the most important thing aspergillus see aspergillus niger aspergillus fagus aspergillus fumigatus niger is the black one black one this usually causes the ear infection so a lot of ear infection it causes Fogus, lot of skin infection, skin infection. Fumigatus affects the lung infection. In lung, it causes many diseases. If you remember any um, uh, aspergillosis related infection. One is this one. You see, this is aspergillus, aspergilloma, aspergilloma, right? So it causes a lot of uh, allergic bronchitis, allergic aspergillus, bronchiolitis, etc., etc. Many things it causes, but remember aspergilloma. So, fumigate is usually lungs and cause all these infections, so many infections it can cause, okay? So, this thing. And one test we always know is galactomannan. Galactomannan is a standard test for the aspergillus, okay? Remember, that is also an important question, right? Excuse. Mucormycosis, zygomycosis. Mucozygo, here the thing is that you remember, look at this. Here there is, it is, uh, it is, it is, uh, this is, this is a, at a right angle, mucormycosis, wide angle, you call this wide, there it is acute angle, here it is wide angle, you see the angles are very, very wide and non-septate, just opposite to aspergillus mucor, okay, wide angle, non so you will have this picture, definitely you will have this picture, this is mucormycosis, it is one of the invasive fungal uh, infections. So first of all, how you classify? Usually three things. There are many, but usually you can do rhizocus, mucor, apsidia, apsidia. Now rhizocus, mucor, apsidia. Rhizocus may are for roots are present. You see the roots are present here. Mucor may no roots, no rhizoid roots or nothing but rhizoids. You call rhizoids are not there. No rhizoids in case of mucor. And apsidia, it is the roots are in between. You see, it's in between. Okay, in intermediate. Hmm. Now, the, it's, it's, it's usually invasive. It, usually, it causes, zygomycosis causes the orbitocerebral infections. Orbitocerebral, that means if the infection starts, that's what's called black fungus also, black mold. If the infection causes it very invasive and it can go and affect the brain also, so dangerous. No? So that's what zygomycosis mucormycosis are very fast spreading, very, very fast spreading. So like this, no, these things. So it can invade and go to the brain also. That's what it's very, very dangerous one. Okay, orbital oxygen. So that's it. So you will be taking a sample and checking for this one. You go to under treatment, you can give postconazole, postconazole, systemic amphotericin B, etc. etc. You can give. Okay, for zygomycosis. That's it. Submucorosis. So we finished. We finished with the mycology. Very, very simple. You see, only this much. If you know the picture and whatever I think there, there will not be any single question out of what I told. It will be from that only. You can be confident and revise it. Okay. Now. That is for revision. You must know all these things, what I told you. Now, let's go to the last topic, parasitology. Even more fun. Uh, in fact, I should have told parasitology earlier, but it doesn't matter. You know, you guys, you will, you will, you will know now why it's so important. This is all you all, everything you always studied, only it's revision with me. So, parasitology, the first topic is about protozoa, protozoa. You know, whenever protozoa, you're talking about the cyst and you're talking about the trophozoite, right? Trophozoite, not about adult worm and all. You have a cyst or trophozoite, that's it. So, first organism is Entamoeba histolytica. Entamoeba histolytica, see, it's first of all, the infective form, which is infective form, cyst. Cyst may, you see, this is the cyst, now you have four. So, this is, which is the infective form? First question, which is the infective form? Quadrinucleate, quadri 
nucleate cyst. Cyst can be bi binucleate, mono, etc. But but quadrinucleus are right word. This question was asked in infective form. Clinical feature, in the of clinical feature, of course, it causes the what amoebic dysentery. Amoebic dysentery, amoebic dysentery. You know that shigella bacillary dysentery is caused by shigella, very dangerous one, bloody dysentery. Here, bloody only, but it's amoebic dysentery. Ulcer type, how the ulcer looks here? Flask shape. Look at this picture. It looks like a flask. So, flask shape. Question, question, question. Everything is a question. So, it's a, we are revising, revising. Come, okay. So, enter your you have to remember it's an amoeba, an amoeba complication. When we talk about the complication, only the most, it's the most common word. Usually, it's spread everywhere. Most common is liver. So, it causes liver abscess. Liver, amoebic, amoebic liver abscess, amoebic abscess. So, how it will look? It will look like a anchovy sauce, anchovy, anchovy sauce appearance. Anchovy sauce was a question in my exam. In my MC, in FMG, I think in my PG or FMG, I don't know, it came. Anchovy, anchovy sauce appearance, okay? You get it. And you do a wet mud. We do a wet mud, you will be seeing this tropozoid. This is tropozoid and this is the cyst. Cyst will be like this, quadrinucleate cyst, you can see. One second, change the color. You will see this uh, for, you know, quadrinucleate cyst. Otherwise, you'll see the tropos. In tropocyte, you will see this is a tropos, right? Amoebic form. So you see what? You see the RBCs. You see RBC inside tropocyte. That is called erythropagocytosis. 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 Okay. And the nucleus is like this. This nucleus is called cram uh, cariosomna with uh, properly carved will appearance, etc. But doesn't matter. RBC inside tropocyte should be there. That is a characteristic feature. This is tool bed mode. Okay, that's it. This much. Treatment, you know, always the shortcut is get out of the metro train. When the metro train is coming, please get out. Get out of the metro train. Na? Metro. Metro. Okay. So, G for Jadia, E for Entamibus Radica. So, treatment is metro nidazole. Metro nidazole. Okay. Finished. Very simple. Of course, paramomycin also. They're reducing, they're always reducing paramomycin also. Paramomycin. Paramomycin. But remember, this is uh, metro nidazole is sufficient. Okay. Now, next. Jadia lambda, Jadia lambda. I always say only one thing. This is Gia. This Gia. This guy, what is it? It is tennis racket. You see, tennis racket say he is beating the Gia thing. So, what happened? Gia girjata. It will fall down. Gia was fall down. Okay, everything is here now. Tennis racket say whenever somebody is giving me, I whenever see Gia in my garden, I smash it. The Gia will fall down. Then my mother, I don't want my mom to cook it, right? I hate it. That's like that. Okay. So what is the shape? This is a racket. Tennis racket. That is a question. Tennis racket also seen in back. Clostridium tertium. T-E-R. Okay. Terminal spore. Okay. So tennis racket appearance. This was the tennis racket appearance. You can see here. So you can see here two nucleus and then four pairs of tennis racket appearance with how many? You have eight flagella. Means four pairs of flagella. Four pairs of Flagella. Okay, four pairs of flagella. Right. Now, motility, I told falling leaf, falling down motility. Falling leaf or falling down motility. Okay, Gia Gajata, falling down motility. That is also a question. Falling leaf, I will write. Okay, falling motility, falling down or falling leaf. Infective form, I already told you, this cyst. GRD also cyst. There also cyst only. This is the cyst. This is the uh, cyst. This is cyst. Uh, sorry, this is the GRD itself. The cyst is here. The cyst will be like this small one. It will be like this. Oval shaped, okay, cyst. Clinical feature, it causes what? Giardia special. So, this is Giardia. If you eat Giardia, what you get? You get fatty diarrhea. Fatty diarrhea. Fatty diarrhea means what it is called? Steatoria. Steatoria. Steatoria means how it, it's a foul smelling, very foul smelling. So, Gia smell, you, if you want, just smell the Gia, this vegetable, it's very foul smelling and also it causes fatty liver remember like that fatty diarrhea not liver fatty diarrhea that's called steatoria okay this is also a very important one and this is a special test for special test this this is called as entero test entero always called as what string test string test string test what you do in string test uh, string test what do you do you uh, with the string you have the special capsule you know adhesive capsule you attach and leave it till where duodenum Diodinum. Remember, that's also very important. Diodinum. Okay, till diodinum. Because GRDA means there is G, na? GRDA. GRDA. D is there. GRDA. So, diodinum. Diodinum. Okay. So, you put it to diodinum, leave it for some time and take it out and make a wet mode and see. You will check this thing. Okay. So, all are important. Steatoria, fatty, foul smelling, falling. If every word is gold here. Okay. You have to know. This picture might be given also. Like, it looks like a monkey face. You know, they say monkey face. There's two nucleus. 
and with four pairs of flagella going like this, that is Jalia. Okay, or if they give you the cyst, if the cyst will be like this, see the cyst will be like this, round, and then this exostyle and four nucleus will be there. Not uh, round, it will be oval shape. Okay, that's also. Okay, that's it. So this is the thing. And treatment for I told you get out of the way. So this is a this stool wet mode. So treatment here also it is metronidazole. Metro need azole. Metro need azole. Metro metro train is coming. Get out of the way. Jadi and this thing. Okay, right now balantidium coli. Balantidium coli. Oh my god, this is very very funny one. Look at this. This is a balu. Bala, I make it balu. Balu, see what he's doing. Balu is dancing, rotating. He's rotating and dancing, rotating and dancing. And Balu has full of hair, hair or cilia. Let's say cilia are on his hair. Okay. So, what is the special feature? First of all, this is the biggest one. This is the biggest protozoa. Biggest protozoa. Okay. Protozoa. Largest or biggest protozoa we have. And then the side uh, special structure is ciliated. You see cilia. You see around the body, you see a lot of cilia. Okay, this is the only ciliated, ciliated protozoa. Remember that, that is the important protozoa. That's the question, ciliated protozoa. Motility, I have just told you, they are dancing. See, the ballus are dancing. What dance? Rotatory motility, rotatory motility, rotatory motility. Question, question, question. Location, again, uh, it's a uh, bala, no? So bigger one, so it's a bigger one. So it's a large intestine. So it will be in the large intestine. Larger colon, large intestine. Okay, understand. Clinical future, same like your again. They are here also it causes um, uh, uh, dysentery, like amoebic dysentery. It also causes amoebic dysentery. Amoebic dysentery. Okay. But in wet mode, what you see, you will see two things. You will see cyst and trophozoite. Both are having both both cysts. I'm writing right here. Cyst and trophozoite. Cyst and trophozoite. So, both are having two, two nucleuses. Surprisingly, they both are having two nucleuses. One is small nucleus and one is large nucleus. Same, small nucleus and large nucleus. The two, nu two nucleus they have. Okay, nucleus. That's it. This is the question. One is small. The large one is like dumbbell shaped. The large one is dumbbell. Dumbbell shaped. Okay. Or it's sometimes they call it kidney. Actually, better than dumbbell, you say kidney bean. Because in book, most it's mentioned kidney bean only. Okay. Kidney bean shaped, kidney bean shaped. So two nucleus, bala, no, so everything is big, 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 uh, by, you know, big, by, everything is by, you know, double, double. So two nucleus, in that one is like a bean, kidney bean, bean, you know, bean shaped, okay, bean, all B, B, B will come. Okay, that's it. So this is maturity. Very, very simple, right? You got it. Now next. And then the, uh, this one. Huh. Now the cryptocycloiso, what is the other name for this parasite? Called acid fast parasite. Acid fast parasite number one. Number two, these are the most common cause of diarrhea in which patient? HIV patient. In HIV patient, all these three. Cryptocycloiso, 100% expected question from here will surely come and it's very, very easy. I'll tell you how to remember. Cryptocycloiso. So now how to remember? Uh, Anita Ambani also is coming here once again. So now I'm going to tell you how to remember. So, crypto cyclo iso. Crypto, you see, crypto is the small one. See, first of all, who's like a shape? See, you know, C is there, no? C, you can make it round, no? It will become round. So, round shape, you know, round, round shape. Cyclospore also round. So, C, this also you can make it round, cyclo, round. I saw I is there. So, I, if you told her tilt, it will become like this. Oval, no? So it become oval shape. Oval shape. Okay. These two CC or see isospora nowadays called cysto isospora. So don't confuse. If in exam, if you they've given cysto isospora, you don't think it as cyclospora. This is different. Cyclo isospora is cysto isospora. This is cyclospora separate, cysto isospora separate. So oval shape, right? Oval shape with you can see two uh, inside you can see two oocysts. Two oocysts we see two oocysts to cycle. Okay, that is first one for the shape. Round shape. This is round. Size is important. Size, if you can do it, this is four to six. This is four to six micrometer. This would be the next one. The cyclospora is eight to twelve, and this one will be twenty-four to thirty-six. Thirty-six meter. Okay, this much size. Okay, mm, mm. So you see, mm. So all are mm. Okay, right. Okay, four to six, eight to twelve, and twenty-four to six. This question was asked. Size is important. Acid first, everything is acid first, definitely. But cyclo can be plus minus, but still all are positive. Fine. Autofluorescence. What about the autofluorescence? Autofluorescence. These Sporospora brothers, uh, Nita Ambani, I'll come. Crypto, 
No, no autofluorescence. But in cyclo and cyclo, two sporas will sign. Spora, 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 they have fluorescence. Remember, spora, spora, two spora will sign. They can sign autofluorescence present. Question was there. <coughs> crypto means it's a, the only thing you remember is cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency means you remember Nita Ambani. So the treatment of choice is netoxonide. Net oxonide net oxonide okay net oxonide okay net oxonide net oxonide okay net oxonide this will be asked okay now cyclospora isosplora you have you go with cotrimox also cotrimox 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 okay that is important so that's what so uh, nita is a bit unique nita net oxonide she has a cryptocurrency but unfortunately she doesn't have fluorescence without uh, natural process not there you know she has to put makeup for fluorescence Art which naturally she doesn't get, she doesn't get okay and everything is so this tiniest one will be cryptosporidium this will be cyclospora this oval one is cryptosporidium yeah, definitely will have one question don't make mistake size is very important four to six eight to twelve twenty four to thirty six the isospora was recently asked in the INICT exam so be careful with that okay right next is nagularia fowleria nagularia fowleria why nagularia fowleria yeah, see first thing you should know very before going anything no just make everything simple this this is this guy is Nigel right Nigel Nigel's favorite, you know who? Tammy. Okay. Uh, huh. Pammy. He likes Pammy so much. Okay. What does this mean? This is basically Pammy. Pammy, this girl, no? Pammy. She called Pammy. Pammy is basically primary amoebic Meningo and encephalitis. Primary exact word is primary amoebic meningo encephalitis. So Nigel likes spammy. Nigel, Nigleria, Nigel likes spammy. Okay. Don't don't consider Nagler's reaction. Nagler's reaction will go to your closed stadium. Who is Mr. Perfect? Perfringes. I told him. Na, 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 I mean, Naga. Naga Arjun Nagla. This is another Nagal. Nagleria Fowleria. Who likes Pami so much. He loves Pami. This girl Pami. For primary benefit. Okay. This for the clue only. Nothing else. Okay. Now, causes. Causes this Nagleria Fowleria. What is causes? This causes this disease. The spread. How to spread? Usually spread through the. See, through the palate. No. Through the nasal. Through the, na, uh, through the na, nasal. No, nerves in the nasal in the nasal nerve from here through nerves it goes to the brain. Risk factors usually risk factors usually who is who is in the higher risk factor is swimming. Swimming pool usually it comes in the swimming pool only, right? Swimming pool it will come. So diagnosis may you do this one and you will see this. You see you can have like this at, uh, the cyst or trophocyte would be like this. On one hand you have lot of this trophocyte with the hairy appendages like this, like this. That's a tro tro amoeba. That's basically amoeba. So these are pre-living amoeba. You, you, you call all these things as pre-living amoebas. Neglaria and Akantamioba and all. Okay. Next is Akantamioba. Okay. So swimming pool is a risk factor. Nasal nerve. A primary amoeba encephalitis usually end through the, the, the palate, no palate, then, then uh, CNS through the nerve. It goes above and then causes the infection. So the main is disease they'll ask you. Primary amoeba encephalitis. Okay. Now next. Next would be your next one is Akantamia. Akon. No, no, Akon. Akon, we don't know the truth, but many people say he is gay. They say he is gay. Okay. And because he's a gay, of course, he will like to wear what contact lens. Definitely, he loves to wear contact lenses. You know, you know that one. And of course, he likes to have some spikes. Always he likes to have spikes. No, he likes to have spikes. In fact, Akon kind of the name is a spikes only. Okay. So we'll talk about each thing now. Let's say two causes. Uh, so, first of all, what it causes? One, it is granulomatous granulomatous amoebic granulomatous amoebic encephalitis both are, see both are getting encephalitis but the word you see there is primary meningo encephalitis here it is granulomatous amoebic encephalitis that's what I say gay G-A-E okay so icon is gay another one is keratitis contact lens so keratitis Keratitis, okay, because of contact lens, you get keratitis. There is quite the same. So one is the swimming, one is due to swimming, and another one is due to keratitis because of your contact lens. So and he wears contact lens, icon wears contact lens. So this is the one, keratitis. Okay. Now diagnosis, of course, trophocyte and this trophocyte means what you see? You see the spikes. You see a lot of spikes. Okay, that's it. That's important. So these are pre-living amoeba. Uh, now cyst car cyst may uh, yeah, one more thing. He's already becoming fatty, you no, know? he's getting double chin. So, I mean to say, you have a outer 
you know, like this. Uh, uh, this is called like broken. No, you call this a broken. Broken wall, broken outer wall will be there. You know, they just sort of disturbed. You know, if the picture, if you get a picture like this and you know it's just like this broken, then that is that is the one only. Okay, cultural media, you use the non-nutrient agar, non-nutrient agar with E. coli, with E. coli, you know, because uh, parasite eats bacteria. So use a non-nutrient agar with E. coli, you can use. Okay, that's it. Okay, that is also another important point. Okay. So, uh, yes, that's it. So, these are things. So, spikes will be there. The outermost wall is disrupted and you have a lot of spikes. You see, there's a lot of spikes here. And then you do what? Uh, granulomatous keratitis. That's it. Contact lens failure. So, very important question. Easily you can get and definitely you can get one question. And one more back, one more fungi, which is not Balu Muthaya also comes into this category. Balu Muthaya also comes in the free living. Balu is also Bala Muthaya, not Balantidium Koli, Balu Muthaya. Okay. Oh. Okay, now trichomonas vaginalis. So trichomonas vaginalis means trisha. Trichomonas means so I go with trisha. Trisha, everybody knows trish, trisha. Mm. So look at her beautiful trisha. What she's saying, first of all, look at the eyelash. Who doesn't like her eyelash? No, she has such a beautiful eyelash. Second one, look what she's wearing. She's wearing full of diamond. Very rich girl, no? Eyelash diamond. And she's still, this is a single Trisha. I always say she's a single. Okay, she's a single, still single, always happily single. Look at this. She loves strawberry. And she loves green veggies also. Wow. Nothing surprising. Okay, she's healthy. Strawberry and green veggies. Okay, sir, what is this? No link at all. Yes, no link will come. Stages. So what happened? Yeah, I'm going to this here. Ah. <laughs> You have only trophocyte. This, why is it single? Because there is no cyst. No cyst. That's the question. There is no cyst for Trisha. She is always single. That means only trophocyte. You will see only trophocyte. That trophocyte also, this one, you see only single nucleus. That's also single. She is single and her nucleus is also single. Single nucleus. That question will be asked. And you see in the front, there are some pair of nucleus and posterior there's only one nucleus that is that is also flagella posteriorly flagella she's stylish no so her hair is like see in front part there are so many flags there are three pairs you can see three pairs of flagella in the front and the back side you see just only one flagella just single flagella so stylish so stylish flagella okay that's right motility see she's a t for t so t for twitching or Trisha always she twitches her eyes. Whenever she is someone, she twitches like this. This, this she does. Okay. Twitching motility. That is also a question. Okay. Twitching. <coughs> Clinical feature. Trichomonas vagina is also cause of vaginitis, vaginal discharge. So whatever vagina, strawberry vagina. Clinical feature, your strawberry vagina will be seen. Plus, one more thing. Why put green? Because you have greenish discharge. We'll have greenish discharge here. The discharge is very greenish. That's it. That's that's the only part I want you to remember. Okay. Greenish discharge. Profuse greenish discharge, you can say. Okay. That's it. So these are the few important things. Now, culture. Why put this eyelash and diamond? The culture media name is lash, cysteine, and diamonds media. Diamonds media. Culture media. If they ask lash and cysteine, who will who has a beautiful eyelash? Trisha, trichomonas vaginalis. Diamond, trichomonas vaginalis. Very easy. Treatment of partner, treatment and the partner, both should be treated, right? For this case, only in trichomonas vaginalis and all STDs, you have to treat the partner. Which one? Get out of the way. So, metronidazole. G-E-T. T for metronidazole. So, metronidazole. Metronidazole. Okay? Very good. That's it. Very, very simple. There's metronidazole. See, you can easily score one. Everything is about single Trisha and everything she loves, strawberry, green veggies. So, all motility gets there. Everything came now. Now, you're not making any mistake. Now, we go to the other topics. Now, the serious topics, which looks to be serious, but it's not serious. It's very, very easy. Hemoplegic. That means the protozoa which likes the blood. So, Leishmania donavani, which disease it causes. You know, the disease name is Kalaza. Otherwise, also called visceral leishmaniosis. Visceral, everything is important. Visceral leishmaniosis. Kalaza. Otherwise, one more name is called black sickness, not death. 
ब्लैक डिजीज है ना जिसको ब्लैक डिजीज ब्लैक सिकनेस और ब्लैक डिजीज ब्लैक डेथ इज प्लेग ओके ब्लैक डिजीज सो दिस ऑल आर इंपॉर्टेंट दिस ऑल आर कॉस्ट बाय डोना वानी डोना वानी सो क्लिनिकल फीचर यू कैन सी दिस चाइल्ड हियर हेपेटो स्प्लेनो मेगाली हेपेटो स्प्लेनो मेगाली प्लस फीवर एंड द रैश आल्सो दे गेट सम ब्लैक डिसकलरेशन एंड स्किन डिसकलर ब्राउन डिसकलरेशन ऑफ द स्किन ब्राउन डिसकलरेशन of the skin okay so these are the features vector that would be a question this one sand and you know, a sand fly sand fly colors are sand fly that is like a no way forget it you have to remember now all these things the samples what is a sample of course you will take the sample from the bone marrow or liver you take the biopsy you know you take the biopsy and then you stain with what gimsa gimsa stain Jimsa stains are basically Romanovsky, Romanovsky stain. They, uh, because under Romanovsky stain only, you will have Jimsa, you will have field, you have right stain, right stain, Jimsa, field, all, all, and uh, Jasmine Ching, Bhattacharya. All these things are coming under the Romanovsky stain. Okay, they can ask. So infective stage here, it is the, this one, what you call promastigot. Promastigot, not interested. Promastigot, but diagnostic is very very important. They'll give you this picture. That is diagnostic is called a mastigot, a mastigot, a mastigot. So a mastigot is basically also called as early bodies. This will be a question. Which is the diagnosis for colors or a mastigot? It is like this. It will be like this. You know, a nucleus with the filament. Like this. Something they call dia like appearance. So it is like a nuclear filament. And one hanging like this. This one. That is only. This is the amastigot form. Okay, inside the macrophages. So now, what is this disease? What is this picture? What is the next picture? This picture. This is actually post kala as a cutaneous leishmaniasis. Post kala as a uh, cutaneous. Uh, post kala as a cutaneous leishmaniasis. Okay, that's it. So because it's after treatment, you know, they get this type of rashes. It's usually treatable, but yeah, this thing. Okay. So these all are questions. So sand play will be a question. Hepatitis pneumonia. All are for. Donovani, not the donovanosis. Donovanosis is caused by Klebsiella granulomatosis. Uh, Donan he gives to granny what safety pin is a good guy, and he is a very good guy. So there, that is uh, uh, we we spoke about that uh, in the, uh, the uh, it's caused by Klebsiella granulomatosis, right? Okay, lymph node is painful. Pseudo go go there. Yes, sorry. Now now we are going to talk about the next one. culture let me talk about the culture triple n media always it's a triple n media okay fully noted napier's rda test yes napier all this is this or antimony test you call antimony <coughs> chopra's test also chopra's antimony test you call chopra test na priyanka chopra remember like priyanka chopra you can then remember and then rapid test may you you have uh, this rk39 rk39 antigen test you know rk39 uh, this also okay they can ask you rapid test okay? and hypersensitivity test call you will have this test called montenegro 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 test okay this is also type of hypersensitivity test you're checking for the allergy okay that's it hypersensitivity test that's it montenegro test is for hypersensitivity test uh, RK39 antibody, antimonial Chopra test, alleate. I mean, you put an alleate with the antibody, you check that the coagulum is formed, that only triple N media. Everything, the words are very, very different. Napier, Napier is, Kala means black, no, Napier is black, antimony Chopra is black, RK, Ranveer Kapoor, not black, but you have to remember Monty Negro. Negro is already Kala, the Kala, you know that. Okay, right. Now, let's make a drop here. Ah, now, uh, Tropica, this is very important. See, the name is even Tropica, so this is, this is, this is causing cutaneous leishmaniasis. It's calling the cutaneous leishmaniasis. Other name is called Delhi boil, Delhi or Baghdad, Delhi or Baghdad or Oriental. Uh, this is boil, you know? Delhi boil, Baghdad boil, or Oriental sore, they call Oriental tropical sore. So, okay, so in this are tropical country, so you get this thing. Remember, like that, this is a cutaneous, pure cutaneous. That is a word come. Cutaneous leishmaniasis is caused by the word will come. 100% expected question. I got it many times. Brazilianasis is even asked more times. This is causing mucocutaneous. Remember, muco, both skin and cutaneous affected. That's only Brazilianasis will come. This question also was asked. Okay, this is asked. 
So uh, in the other name for this is called espongia, espongia, espongia. See how many espongia? Ectima gangrenosum is your ectocapur pseudomonas. Uh, and uh, uh, your uh, erythema migrans. Erythema migrans, you see it in the, which one? You know, Lyme's disease, erythema migrans. Erythema marginatum, rheumatic fever. So, so many things are there, you know. So, be careful. Erythema, streptococcus pyogen, uh, streptococcus pyogen, yes. Okay, right. So, mucocutaneous leishmaniasis, cospel leishmaniasis, the other name is espondia. Brazil people speak espondia. Okay, right, that's your part. Three one units of sodium stiboglucanate. Stiboglucanate. Ampotericin B, Ampotericin B. So, so many things are treatment. Stiboglucanate. These are used in pharma, but still I'm saying so. Sodium stiboglucanate is constantly used and Ampotericin B drugs. Okay, that's it. That's for the uh, Lishmania. What about trypano, What about this one? Trypano, so trypanosoma. Trypanosoma. See, trypanosoma, the, the diagnostic form is called trypanocyte. Trypanocyte. Okay. That's important. Trypanocyte. The name is a trypanosoma, trypanocyte. So we have two things. Trypanosoma cruzi, trypanosoma brucey. So what I have to remember here, sir? You have to remember only Tom Cruise. Okay. This is Tom Cruise. First of all, everything is big, big, big. We are talking about it now. Everything becomes big. He's a big muscular, everything big. Second one, he loves kissing. He loves kiss, 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 kiss. He loves kiss. Okay. Third one, he has this romantic, you know, he always romantic. So he does do all these romantic signatures. Okay. Third one, he's rich, so he has which car? Ben's car. So, and also, where from? He's from America. He's from America. Where? Which place? America? Vegas. Las Vegas. You know, Las Vegas. He lives in Las Vegas. Okay, now we'll go there. This is Bruce Lee, another Bruce Lee. There we have one more Bru Same Bruce Lee, different story. That Bruce Lee is for the Brucella. This Bruce Lee, Trepanism of Bruce Lee, he goes to Africa. I mean, he has one separate life. Whenever he goes to Africa to meet his another girlfriend for Glossina. Okay. He, uh, he usually goes to meet her uh, girlfriend, Glossina. Okay, so he likes her so much. But what happened? He goes to Africa only in winter time. In winter time, he, he goes to meet his girlfriend, Glossina. Okay, remember like that. Okay, that's me. This is much only remember. Okay, now, this is, this is remember, this is a winter bottom sign. Now, we're going to disease. So, this is, okay. Uh, now, I'm sorry, where it is? Okay, okay, I, I didn't put a separate thing. Okay, I'm going to say it here only. Okay, it's, it's very, very easy. So, everything is big because... In the trypanosoma cruzi disease, you the disease name first of all, it is first of all the disease name is called. I wrote big because this is I'm going to write red pen. Ah, so the disease is Chagas. Chagas disease from Vegas, so it is Chagas disease. In Chagas disease, everything becomes big. Which will go becomes you have eso phagomegaly, eso phagomegaly, colonomegaly. Colons become very big, megaly, okay, and myocarditis, myocarditis. The heart also becomes cardiomegaly, cardiomegaly, okay. All becomes big, big, big. That's what I put in this picture. Everything becomes big, big, big. Kiss because it's a kissing bug. This is the bug name is called kissing or redovid. He's always ready to kiss. Redovid bug, kissing bug or redovid bug, okay. This is the one, the kissing bug or redovid bug. Romantic because this is called Romana sign, Romana sign. So romantic, the word romantic comes. You have to remember what Tom Cruise, Trypanosoma cruzi, romantic sign, Romana sign. Okay, this is the Romana sign. There's something called Chagoma also. At the site of bite, you'll have Chagoma. Chagas, Chagoma. It means Chagas means Vegas. Vegas means Tom Cruise. Treatment of choice is benzenidazole. Benzenidazole. That's it. That's what I put in this picture. Okay, so benzenidazole, Romana sign, a kissing bug or redweed by Tom Cruise. Everything is big. That means he has cardiomegaly. He has esophagomegaly. He has the colonomegaly. Everything becomes big, big, big. Not hepatomegaly. Don't forget. Okay. Option with you will have hepatomegaly, spinomegaly. No. You will have only esophagomegaly, <coughs> myohartmegaly, and then colonomegaly. That's it. Okay. Now, uh, here Bruce Lee talked to Bruce Lee. Ah, yes. The main disease I forgot. So, this why I say is America because the disease is causing is American sleeping sickness. American sleeping sickness. American sleeping sickness, that is the Chagas disease. Here it is the Bruce Lee goes to Africa. So that means he goes African sleeping sickness. He has African sleeping sickness. And then this is this is the Glossina. This fly name is Glossina. Glossina, the cost of it is that's why I told girlfriend Glossina. He goes to meet his girlfriend Glossina. This is the reason I told. Okay. Now, this is why it's a winter because the sign that there is a lymph node swelling. This is called winter bottom sign. This is called winter. Bottom sign, winter bottom sign. Okay, winter bottom sign, winter bottom sign. Okay, that's it, Bruce Lee. Very good. 
now now no 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 next is plasmodium plasmodium if you see the species there are you know commonly five species are there now plasmodium falciparum the most dangerous one falciparum most common one also then followed by that is a plasmodium by wax which is also most common then plasmodium ovale ovale then plasmodium malariae 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 and then plasmodium novalisi novalisi the latest one which is in kerala not that much popular but these are other these two are the most common one the most common one in india you know that one the infective stage the two things for human for human and for mosquito both this question can be asked for human mosquito that means for human which which thing will go inside when the mosquito do you know the mosquito that is which mosquito we're talking here we're talking about the anopheles anopheles female anopheles mosquito not the male one female one right female anopheles mosquito you know that one. human the infectious is sporozoids 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 so remember human you you kill the human with a sporozoid right see the, the again one more thing human is the intermediate host intermediate host here mosquito is the definite host remember this is the definite host this is one of the exception where man is intermediate not definite host there are a few more things also even in toxoplasma and in uh, echinococcus man is intermediate host we'll talk about it but now my definite host so the infant is sporozoid for mosquito the infective stage is gametocyte gametocyte that remember okay gametocyte the gametocyte is the infective stage of mosquito this question can be asked we need to focus it don't forget malaria you kill the human with spears sporospear okay kill it so life cycle there are only two life cycles first of all life cycle in the liver other one is the life cycle sorry this is tricked out ah uh, life cycle in the liver other one is in the rbcs life cycle in the liver and the rbcs same way this is this all cycle and i'm not going so deeper and all there that is everywhere you go the trophozoite goes when the trophozoite goes inside you know it will develop into the trophozoite early late trophozoite then schizont 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 okay schizont and then uh, they release this merozoite merozoite they enter into the rbc now rbc will be the main thing now rbc main they will develop into early trophozoite then late trophozoite then would be the schizont stage then after schizont comes your gametocyte okay so these all are and gametocyte then again rbc breaks then fever starts same way okay now there are different names for the dots okay before uh, yes the dots ka how to remember the names i will tell each thing now first of all i write the name for uh, plasmodium falciparum what you call and for plasmodium vivax what you call and for plasmodium ovale and for plasmodium malariae for falciparum it's a dangerous you know who is danger overall you know in a world now the most dangerous guy is our mau so mau is chinese no they are dangerous moir dots moir dots or moir dots this is the pigments formed in rbc you are talking so moir dots means falciparum the most dangerous one is chinese mau chinese mau moir dots Vivax is Vivek. Vivek's girlfriend, you know, Shafna. Shafna's dot. Shafna's dot. And also, don't forget when there's a Duffy antigen, he saves. Duffy antigen saves. Duffy antigen is Duffy not saves. Duffy antigen is there means infection goes up. So that's what Vivek. Vivek. Vivax. Vivek is a dangerous fellow. He has two girlfriends, Shafna and Duffy. Okay. Now Ovale. Ovale is a James dot because this guy, any any friend of James, you see their head. No, it is like oval shape. It's oval shaped head. So James dot. And what about malaria? Malaria is malaria. So malaria is <coughs> shortcut is Z man. Z man. M for M. M for malaria. Z man's dot. Okay. So any of the question can come from this also. Easy. Okay. Relapse is very common. What is what is actually relapse and recurrences? First of all, relapse is common. You know. Can you tell me even without seeing this thing? Relapse is very common. Which one? It is common in the Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium ovale. Why? Because of which one? Hypnozoid. Hip, hypnozoid. Hypnozoid is another dormant form which remains inside the liver for years and years. And then suddenly it comes out. Okay. Hypnozoid. Some of the trophozoid becomes hypnozoid and they live inside. So for that, that is your treatment. Kill you give what? Prima queen you give. I'm not going to tell all those things. Not here. The treatment you're going to give is a prima queen. Prima queen. Okay. Recrudescence is common in the Plasmodium falciparum. falciparum. That means what happened? Treatment failure. It's because of treatment failure, the uh, recrudescence happens and becomes very severe. Treatment failure. Okay. So recrudescence is for falciparum. Relapse is for uh, uh, for your vivax and ovale. See, I'm not uh, I'm, I'm going in a hurry because this is a revision. Revision means you have to go like this only. Okay. Immunity. Uh, 
Yes, here usually uh, when you talk about the immunity here, you may see immunity protein for some time, not so much immunity is there. So you, anyway, immunoglobin goes high, but there's not that much immunity you can usually get. So relapse and recurrence, don't forget. Relapse and recurrence is very, very important. Okay, now complication. When we talk about the complications, the complication, the main complication will be for plasmodium falciparum only. Most Mao, the Chinese Mao is the most dangerous one. So what are the complications? You can have black water fever. The kidneys affect that. You know, the hemoglobin urea can happen. So, you know, black water fever, cerebral malaria. You can have cerebral malaria also caused by plasmodium falciper. Very, very important question. And other one is you have algid malaria. Algid malaria is basically shock. You have a malaria which is very shock. Now the diagnosis. The diagnostic part, you have so many things. So this, recently this question came. You're going to make, of course, you're going to take the blood sample. In blood sample, you're going to take two smear. What are the two smear you're going to make? Thin and thick smear. This question was asked. Thin smear and thick smear. Thin smear and thick smear. When you talk about the thin smear, you know that. Thin means you can easily identify the species. You can say whether it's falciparum. So speciation. Speciation. Speciation means you can say whether it is plasmodium falciparum or plasmodium vivax or ovale, etc. Et for speciation, thin smear. Thick smear will be very thick. It will be dot and thick. This is only for counting the parasite. So quantification. Quantification. Quantification will be for the thick smear. I'm not going to details and all. That much not needed. Only, you know, thin means for seeing the species clearly. If the smear is thick, then you only count quantification. That question was asked in your INICT. Stains, you already know. Romanowski. Romanowski means Jimsa. Jimsa, I already told Jimsa, Field, Jasmine Singh Bhattacharya, and Bright Strain. Okay. Fluorescent, we have fluorescent is frequently asked question. Which is fluorescent? We have been repeating it many times. Abhita, acridin, acridin, acridin orange. To see the fluorescent microscope, but so that is called as kava mota. Kava mota, kava mota. Motu got malaria. Motu got malaria. Kava mota technique. Okay, kava mota technique. Acridin orange, acridin orange. The buffy coat is nothing but you know the in a capillary tube you fill the blood and then with this acridin orange you're putting fluorescent it will shine. That's that's a buffy coat. Just remember for TP you're doing buffy. Rapid test may you're doing car test. Car test means you have two proteins. HRP2 protein, HRP2 protein, and the other one is LDH and aldolase. LDH and aldolase. HRP2 is very specific for falciparium, plasmodium, falciparum only, only for them. This is for all plasmodium, all plasmodium. So not specific. LDH is not specific, but HRP2 is very specific. Plasmodium, falciparum. Very simple, easy, definitely. For me, I'm already, I, I can see that one question is asked here for your uh, FMG exam, for sure, or need, who would prefer need. I can already see one question is already here. I don't know why. I feel like that. Okay. So please be careful, guys. Don't want to miss anything. And now the examiners can go a little bit deeper and can ask you, give the picture. Definitely pictures are expected. And you must know for a malaria, so India makes common, so they will ask you. RBC, see only two things we're going to talk mainly for plasmodium, uh, plasmodium vivax and for plasmodium falciparum because these are the one most common in India. And so the, the picture question also will come from this only. RBC in vivax, see Vivek, no? Vivek size goes big, is very big, you know? So yes, size increases. RBC size is increased. Here, no, it is normal. The RBC size increase means it affects the young RBC. That's it. Nothing. It's not size increase. It's the young RBC. So Vivek is young and he has two girlfriends that you already know. Sharpness, sharpness dot and Duffy. Duffy is positive means Vivek is positive. Two girlfriends, Vivek. But only thing is that you have what in, inside the RBC, you will be have only single. He says he is single. Single ring form. Usually you have only single ring form. In falciparum, because it's a dangerous one. No? Falciparum is a dangerous one. I should change the penning. So, so you have multiple ring. You have multiple ring. Falciparum is a Mao, multiple ring. As we told, it is a Chinese guy, Mao, so dangerous. Moir start. No, Moir. Mao is a Chinese guy. So Chinese means dangerous. Falciparum is dangerous. So multiple ring. Here only single ring. Acoli forms are absent, not in Vivax, but you can see here. Acoli or headphones are common in the Chinese people. You know all the headphones are made from Chinese people. Wow, falciparum. So again, I'm going there. So you see multiple rings and this acole form. Acole is in the edge. edge. You know, there is this tropos, the early troposite. Okay, that's acole. And uh, uh, one more thing. Gametocyte for Vivax, it's round only. Round like this. And you can see gametocyte like this. Round. It's a round shape. But you know Chinese mao, what they eat? They like banana. Banana or crescent shaped, banana or crescent shaped, what? Gametocyte. 
that would be a question you will get exactly picture like this banana crescent shape pulex banana crescent is chinese people so it's a plasmodium falciparum plasmodium falciparum because i am saying chinese because of moir dots only mao is a dangerous guy plasmodium falciparum also dangerous both are same same only na so that's what i'm putting mao here okay mao dot so multiple ring plasmodium crescent okay, gametes so simple remember there is no 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 late there is no late trophozoid and cygeant. There is no late trophozoid and cygeant in Plasmodium falciparum. Why? This question was asked in recent INICT. Because these things, they adhere to the, they adhere to where they attach to the capillaries. They adhere to the capillaries of the vessels. They adhere to the capillary of the vessels. So usually you can't find them. Okay, you can't find them. Sorry. Uh, you can't find them in the blood. So that's what you, there is no laboratory cygeant in the peripheral blood smear of falciparum. Okay, here you can see everywhere in trophozoite, of course, you can see normally you can see this all the early and like both are positive. Okay, here only you don't see early and this you don't see. Fine. So these pictures can come. And this is a band. One, one more thing is a band shaped, you can say band shaped trophozoite. Band shaped trophozoite is seen in which one? Uh, it, that is, will be anything band who will go to plasmodium malariae. This is just one thing about plasmodium malaria. There's a band shape. They might ask, that's what, you know, people are crazy, so they can ask. Okay, that's it, right. Now, oh, that's finished. Then the treatment, I'm not doing chloroquine, uh, usually vivax scale chloroquine, but if it is for falciparum, you'll be thinking about ACT therapy or quinine. Quinine for pregnant ladies, may quinine. Act therapy, aptisunate combination therapy, you'll be thinking for the falciparum. That's it, okay. That and all in pharmacology, you'll read. I'm not going to waste time here because we are in micro part here. Babies are also very, very similar. It is also very, very similar to malaria. Remember, babies also gets malaria, similar to malaria. Only difference in the peripheral blood smear, you see something called Maltese cross. Babies like to put cross on their neck, you know, these days. Babies, they like to put Maltese cross on the neck, okay? I mean, if, if this is a chain, chain ka cross hota hai na, like this, okay, cross. So, babies like to put the chain. So, Maltese cross, baby. Baby likes Maltese cross. Okay. And one more thing I told, baby see also, baby see also is caused by heart thing. Heart baby. Babies are hard these days. Remember, like a Koishnur forest, like a Rocky Mountain fever, these babies are also very hot these days. Like tularemia, a hot today. Okay, fine. Now, Toxoplasma gondi. Toxoplasma gondi is another disease. See, there is, man is intermediate host, intermediate host, intermediate host in three diseases. What are they? HMT. HMT watch. HMT means man is human. H for hydrated. Hydrated cyst. M for malaria. T for toxoplasma. Toxoplasma. So the definite host here in toxoplasma is cat. That means pregnant ladies. You know? The blood smear may. The main thing what you see is tachyzoid. Tachyzoids. Tachyzoids is a catastrophic feature here. You see this. These are the tachyzoids, which you're seeing inside that macrophage. These are the tachyzoids. This is these, 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 these things. These small, small, no? Like this, this thing is a sphere shape like this, you're seeing. Okay. Spindle shape. They are tachyzoids. That is the detection. Antibody detection, definitely, yes. Uh, best is IgA is the best. IgA is the best. But of course, IgM and G are also increased. Okay. Congenital toxoplasma, the best test is again, of course. See, the uh, uh, ideally, IgA is always the best. Remember, IgA is always the best, but if it's not there, IgM and G you can do. Okay, IgA is overall best. Okay, IgM and G, IgA is best. Especially for congenital, me, IgA is the best. More than adults, this is uh, overall best. And then it's common where in pregnant ladies, you know. This was, see, I put it in this picture because pregnant lady, the, 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 the test name, antibody test is called Sabine Pillman test. Sabine Field man test. Sabin filament test. Okay. Sabin is neutralization. Sabin filament test. This question also was asked. Okay. Sabin filament test. Now, now, now. It's a complement. Sabin, Sabin is a complement test. Okay. Sabin film is a complement fixation. Complement fix CFT test. Complement fixation test. Sabin treatment, you know, spiramycin. Spiramycin. This, if you forgot also, you remember this is the Sabin. This girl is Sabin. She's pregnant. And she got, she has a cat and she got toxoplasmosis. That's it. Remember like that. So tachyzoid is very, very simple. Okay. That's it. And congenital toxoplasmosis is you, again, the child can have what? The child can have uh, micro uh, microcephaly, calcification, etc. etc. All those symptoms can happen in this also. Okay. Right. Now the helmet part. Helmet. 
uh, when you talk about helminth, there are platy helminthes and the nemeth helminthes. So first you have the platy helminthes. Platy helminthes means anything flat. It's basically platy helminthes means it's the flat form. Flat form. Flat form is this one we call. Okay. Now there are two things. That uh, cestode, trematode, and this thing. So we'll go very fast, very simple, very, very easy. Don't you worry at all. Cestode, I would say cestode ka dusra nam tape. If you forgot to also remember, cest, sexy, tape. You know who is wearing the sexy tape? You can see the one and only Deepika. Deepika about phone. Okay, the one and only Deepika. Trematode. Trematode means a tree. Trees or see, from the tree only you are making the flute. So, what is the clue? Sisters can play flute. Sisters can play flute. Very simple. The Deepika, she is wearing a tape. You can see she is wearing a tape around her body. The Deepika, the Deepika. Trematode tree, from the tree you make the flute. So, the sisters, you see the sister, she is playing the flute. She can play the flute. The sister can play the flute. Sister can play the food. You know this one very well. Okay, now next. T for Tinea. Tinea solium, Tinea saginata. H for H nana. E for Echinococcus. Echinococcus, that is a hydrated cyst, Echinococcus. And D for Diplobotrium lato. We are going to talk each thing now, Diplobotrium lato. Okay, now more. Here for trematode, yes, for cystosoma, sister, cystosoma, cystosoma can see for uh, sisters can. So this is clonoricus, clonoricus sinensis. And opistoricus also will come. Clonoricus is opistoricus. Both are friends, you know, clonoricus and opistoricus. P for this will be paragonimus, paragonimus wester money, paragonimus wester money. Flute for F for pass. Fasciola hepatica and fasciolopsis. Fasciolopsis. Okay, hepatic and fasciolopsis. Fast, fast. So that's it. They can give you like this also question possible if they're crazy. But forget about the operculated eggs. Operculated means open egg. See, this egg is open here. The lid is there, it's open, you know. So open egg. If you talk about the open egg, open egg is see how to remember open egg. See, whenever whenever open without condom, if you make a sex, you'll get what? You will get yes, T. T, sexually, STD. So, when you open with a condom, you get STD. So, what are the operculated egg? S for spirometra and other T for all trematodes are open except except sisters because sisters are in church. They can't go open. They are completely closed. So, except is cystosomiasis except cystosomiasis and D for D for I'm sorry, I'm not this. Huh. Huh. T for T for D is there. D for diplobotrium. Diplobotrium. Diplobotrium latum. If you forgot, also bottle should be open. Diplobotrium. So these are the things. Yes, T, D. Yes, T, D. Okay. X is so much not there, but these things are there. So yes, you overglitted egg. Finish. Now, next. Yes. Now, uh, let's start like this. Uh, yeah. So, trematode, uh, so disease, cystosoma, the disease is, see, you should be cystosoma. Uh, it, it's called blood fluke. First of all, let me write this in now first. Blood fluke. It goes to the, the detail I'll come. So, this is a blood fluke. Number one, blood fluke. Paragonimus vestrumani, we call this lung fluke. And it affects the lung, lung fluke, lung, para, gonimus vestrumani. Clonoricus, everything, clonoricus, sinus, opistoricus, these are the, this, this, see, fish, fish, no. So, it is a fish, we call it as a, ah, these are the, these are related to the fish diseases only. We're going to talk about that. <coughs> We're going to talk about, uh, it's a biliary system. Usually, it affects the biliary, biliary system. Okay, we'll talk about biliary now. Fasciolus hepatica, this is called the sheep look. It's called a sheep. This is clonoricus, they also call it Chinese Fluke, Chinese fluke or Oriental fluke. Chinese or Oriental fluke. We'll talk about the fish things here. Chinese or Oriental. This is called sheep fluke. Sheep fluke form. Okay, Chinese fluke form, dung fluke form, everything different, different. Okay, then Fasciolopsis busky. Uh, this uh, shape form. We'll talk about the fashion busky. Nothing's not no special name, but we'll talk about this. And this all of it's a liver. Definite host. Definite host for everything. The definite host is human. 
no doubt and you know, human but the only thing here is that for uh, fasciolosis hepatica sometimes sheep can also be the definite host possible okay so that is remember but ideally it's human so if no confusion so in trematode we're talking about we're talking about the flukes now everything is fine everything is going very good here no problem trematode flukes we're talking about the flukes everything is going good first intermediate host always it is snail you know a snail s n a l snail climbs you remember this is the snail niche dekho see this picture if you see this movie turbo snail comes the first place it takes the first place so the first intermediate host is always snail 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 okay snail in second intermediate for cystosoma is always s for s for single so there is no second intermediate host but rest all you have paragonimus para cara you know so it's like crab fish you know crab crayfish you are a crayfish cra para you know they sound same cra bra you know para para cra 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 okay so crap is easy the sound say you can take it second everything is question question for sisters or sisters are single always single they don't get married you know that sisters are single so only one intermediate host the definite host and one intermediate host not a second host okay you know that one then clonoricus clonoricus sinus these things so <laughs> fish so you have to work we have fish here fish is the main thing here so second tributus is go to fish okay fine oh uh, there are different type of thing we'll just uh, stick with the fish only the fasciola and these two far 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 there that means fresh aquatic vegetation fresh aquatic fresh aquatic which is coming from the fresh aquatic vegetation here also fresh aquatic fa fa fresh vegetation. very very simple for very easy you know so easy now some more points again the same curve we are going to go a little bit more you want to add cystosoma the infective form for everywhere it is meta ser ka re yeah meta sercaria meta sercaria for everything but for cystosoma no why it is directly sercaria sercaria because why this is transmission is happen to skin penetration the sercaria it penetrates the skin yes for cystosoma yes for skin penetration even this also sounds yes no sercaria c c you know penetration rest all or oral root oral 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 only this is skin penetration adult worm we have uh as we told adult form uh, only we have in, in cystosoma we uh, separate sex is separate sex is separate we have both male and female separate. but here rest all are her mo or hermaphrodite hermaphrodite okay hermaphrodite 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 means they have what both male and female in same hermaphrodite they are called hermaphrodites okay hermaphrodites remember that only this is s s that's what cystosoma yes 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 x has spine and it is closed you know that x are closed here x all are open we already spoke operculated egg operculated egg we told okay operculated egg okay spine closed treatment here First sister soma. Okay, this is fine. This is all are going to be prasi quantal. Prasi quantal. Everything is prasi quantal. Prasi quantal. Except these two, you're going to triclobendazole. Tricla, I'll tell you this bit later. Trick, how to remember? Triclobendazole, triclobendazole. I'll tell you about it. Rest all are prasi quantal only. Okay. Very, very simple. That's it. Okay. So even if you forgot also, in whole tremendo, sister soma must be different. See, sister soma, we have three species. This picture can come. So one is the first one is sister soma. This is all a cystosoma X, no? Cystosoma X. Cystosoma uh, Mansoni. Cystosoma Hematobium. And then this is Cystosoma Japonicum. Okay. These are non operculated This is an operculated egg. This is operculated egg. <coughs> No. <coughs> um, yes. Now, Mansoni, 
Mansoni, remember Mansi. This girl Mansi, look at the spine. She has a side ponytail, you know, side spine. Very simple, you know. Mansoni, side or you know, side me sota. How you want to remember? Side me. So I, I remember this beautiful girl Mansoni. His eggs are all see sisters or the eggs are closed. It's non-operculated, no? non-operculated eggs. It's just non-operculated eggs. Non-operculated. These are the rest of the trematodes. Rest of the trematode. Rest of the, it could be anything, you know, rest of the trematodes. Okay. Spine. T terminal. If you have a terminal spine, that is hematobium. Terminal spine, that is hematobium. Japan, Japan people have very small knob, small nose or knob. So when you see a small nose, you know, Japan. Okay, that's fine. Now, cystosoma hematobium, this is first difference. Now, cystosoma hematobium, what else you should know is that, you know, already you know, you must have revised many times. Cystosoma hematobium because bladder carcinoma. Bladder carcinoma. And you can see in the urine, you can see the eggs in the urine because in the bladder, so you can see the egg in the urine. But these two are in the blood. These two are in the, in the most in the blood. Mansoni causes Katayama, Katayama fever. Also, it causes intestinal cystosomiasis or bilharziasis. Bil Ha, Z, Yasis. Same thing. Uh, this also, Japonicum also, Katayama fever or intestinal bilharziasis. Intestinal bilharziasis. This you should know. Okay. This question will be asked. One more thing also. In previous slide, I forgot to tell about the cancer. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, so, what is the thing? Clonoricus, opacericus, you already know this causes the Bile duct carcinoma. Bile duct carcinoma. Okay, yeah. Paragonimus vestrimony affects the lung. Oh, you know, lung lung symptoms you can go first, not much important. The bile duct carcinoma, that is cholangiocarcinoma. When you talk about such a cholangiocarcinoma, you think about clonorico sinuses. Okay, clonorico sinuses. That's what I want to stress. Okay, hepatic buski, it's fine. Ah. Buski causes very important disease. That is the uh, it causes uh, what all malabsorption. Mal it causes severe malabsorption. Severe malabsorption because it's big. No fast with buski bus. So bus everything goes in the bus. So this is you have to remember. Okay, this is also another question you will be asked. They will ask you. Okay, now next. Okay, I think uh, we have finished a lot here. So sisters, a lot of things we said. Okay, fine. Now the cestode. 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 See, all the adult worms like this. See, it's here. Mm. Adult worm. Uh, the host is the host is same. There's only two hosts. Okay. There's only two hosts. Always there's only two hosts. Uh, always two hosts, except in Nana. H Nana. Hymenolipis Nana. Only one host. You have only one host. Only man is the host. That we'll talk about it. Adult worm, usually it is like this. See, you have what? You have a, a proper, there is a, a head, neck, and proglottids. Proglottids. Proglottids means all these segments are called proglottids. Head is head is basically you have this collex with hook, 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 hooklets, no? Collex with hooklets and all. Neck and the proglottids, usually. Eggs, eggs, usually, see this, when you talk about the egg of the cestode, I mean, I'm talking about cesti, we are now cest. Sexy Deepika, tape sexy tape Deepika. So eggs will be here. Every egg has three pairs of hooklet. The common is three. You see here, three pairs of hooklet inside. Three pairs hooklet. That means totally it is six. Six hooklet plus you have uh, your granules plus you should have a polar filament also. Polar filament at the end. Polar filament at the end. So this is a characteristic egg for all, except what? Except in H diminuta. In diminuta, you don't have this yolk and the polar. You don't have yolk and polar is absent. Yolk and polar is absent because they're minuta, na? so they don't have. Remember like that. Hmm. Larva, see larva only few cysty circus. The cysty circus, you know, just for the tenia solium, tenia solium, and then you have cysty. Sercoid, cysty sercoid, which is for the H nana, H nana, you know. Other one is your hydatid cyst, hydatid cyst, that is for your echinococcosis, echinococcosis. This also you know. Okay, fine. Okay, good, very good. Now we are going to the next one. Uh, next one. 
Definite host now these are the things so stored or sexy. D Deepika. We are in D Deepika. H Nana. So for everywhere, everywhere you remember the definite host is man. M A N man. All. Except one place. Where is that? Your Echinococcus. For Echinococcus or hydrated, it is the dog. You know that. Okay. Dog is the definite uh, definite host. Intermediate host would be for H Nana. No, there is no. Nana is only only H Hymeno. See, you high men and eh, men. So only men is there. No, this thing. So there is no intermediate host. For diminuta, it's right. I would say minuta, na, minute right, minute right, minute right, minute right. Okay, right. Diplobotrium lotum is a big name. Uh, so, philo, fish, and a fish. It's like a fish. So, no, uh, Diplobotrium is like a fish only, no? Diplo, fish. Okay, fine. So, this is the fish. Tinea solium, you know, it is the, uh, comes from the pork, pig, pork. Pig, I, I write pig better. Yeah. Saginata is a big name, but also cattle, cow or cattle, whatever. Here, uh, intermediate host, you will have the man and sheep. Man and sheep will be the intermediate host. Okay, both can happen. This is the exception. Okay. Now, next. Ah, important points. H nana, uh, uh, here, that's what you, uh, uh, everything is same. H nana, there is nothing to tell. It's mine today. Diminuta, yes. In diminuta, I have to say there is no yolk and polar filament. There is no yolk and no polar filaments. You know that one. Okay, right. Diplobotrium bottom, this is the only, uh, this is the only operculated egg. Rest all are non-operculated. This is the only operculated egg. We told now. Shortcut was STD. In that, we told the D, no? D is the operculated. Only open, rest all are not open. Okay, that's one thing. And diplobotrium causes which one? Vitamin B12 deficiency. It's a big name. So, it causes vitamin B12 deficiency. This also question will be asked. Question will be asked. Okay. Tinea solium, more important thing is what? Cysticercosis. Cysticercosis. That is the cysticercosis, neurocysticercosis. Because different type neurocysticercosis, that is the most common cause of, you know, that seizures in India or um, CNS parasitic infection. CNS parasitic infection. That will come. Saginata, nothing. It's not nothing to know. Echinococcus, of course, you have a hydrated cyst. Hydrated cyst, the pictures we're going to talk in a while now. These are the things. Nothing special. Okay. Now look at this picture. This picture, if you get, be happy. This all are the template. It could be anything. It could be your tinea, uh, tinea, or it could be uh, H nana. Okay, everything, whatever it is. Okay, H nana, or it could be even your uh, echinococcus, etc., etc. So because you have three filament, and then you see polar and yolk granules, all these things are there. So this the egg of the. This is you generally we say this is the eggs of the tapeworm, tapeworm's egg. Okay, so usually H nana, tinea, they will give you options. Okay, these are the which one? These are the neurocysticercosis. Neurocysticercosis. You know that the uh, it is a tinea solium. Tinea solium. When when you are intaking the which form? When you are taking in the egg form. In the egg form, you will get all these things. So you see what all things have happen here. You can see the this is uh, in CT scan. They also call it as cheese. Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese appearance. They call it the Swiss cheese appearance or starry sky. Starry sky appearance, starry sky, starry sky appearance. Okay, these are the few terms. So these are so that's what neurosis is the most common CNS parasitic infection. Question will be asked. Most common cause of seizure in India. Seizure in India. Okay, any uh, parasitic infection seizure in brain that would be your tinea uh, solium neurosis are consorting. Okay, now this is this is hydrated cyst. Hydrated cyst, this will be there like this. Okay, so cyst, you can see it is grown here and there so much thing. And then here you can see inside, you know, the it is in CT scan, you can see all the, the, the cysts inside. Okay, but nothing much. So, you know, the okay, one test is important. Which test that would be asked is Cassoni's test. Cassoni test. And one more is there R5 electrophoresis. R5 electrophoresis. Kesoni test. Kesoni, you know, it's a type 1, hypersensitivity, hypersensitivity type 1. Type 1. That's it. Okay. This will be very, very important. You can ask this highlighted cyst car. Right. Right. Now, the final topic going to nematode mythos. Very fun filled topic. Nematode mythos. Nematode mythos. First of all, everything, the clue is given. Nematodes. N E M A T O S M E N for N for. I'm going to write something nice here. 
uh, let's say uh, yeah n for nicator nicator americanus e for e for we have two e's one is the nicator uh, 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 we are talking about an uh, enterobius enterobius vermicularis that is the pinworm and other e is for eye worm eye worm is we are going to come near eye worm oncocerca volvulus that is basically onco uh, 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 no no wait, wait I'm just coming one by one we'll go okay I warm here they will go in order otherwise you will confuse M is usteria M ko tero you ulta karo then it will be usteria you be, you put upside down so usteria bankrafty usteria brugai they are same family so it will come in brugai come here already A two one is and cyclostoma other one is ascaris ascaris the ascaris is the most common nematode most common nematode is ascaris you know that one T for T. Ah. So, what are the two, two T's we have here? Trichinella and Trichuria. I know it will be a little bit difficult. Don't worry, guys. Okay, I'll give you a clue. You don't want to know all the things. Some only important. This is Anco Serca Volvulus. Okay. Uh, this I worm is lower, lower. I worm, otherwise called lower, lower. We'll talk about it. D for Dragonculus. Yes, for strongyloides, strongyloides, strongyloides. Okay, that's much only. Now, 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 now. Before we just stop it, you know this nicator and this ancyclostoma. They are the hookworms. They are otherwise the hookworms, you know, hookworm, which causing the iron deficiency anemia. We'll go there. Okay, then then uh, enteropoiesis and all. We'll talk about each other now. So transmission by now before that. Oviparous, oviparous, oviparous means the adult worm lays the egg. The shortcut is E A T, E A T, right? E A T. E for enterobius. A for ancyclo. Uh, oh, sorry, A for. Ha. Uh, huh. Ascaris. T for your trichinella. Okay, trichinella. Okay, enteropoiesis, ascaris, trichinella. Same thing will be for transmission by eggs also same, E-A-T. Okay, enteropoiesis, ascaris and trichinella. Right, okay. Now, transmission by the penetration through. Now, transmission by penetration. Then by penetration, it will be me, san, my name, Santos, San. So, S for strongyloides. And ancyclostoma nicator, that is a hookworm. Ancyclostoma and nicator, nicator. These are the three things where I, I wear barefoot. So the worm enters inside, especially I'm talking about filariform larva, filariform larva, which enters inside my foot and then it goes up and affects my lung and everything. It causes a lot of problem for me. Okay, mention it in lung. Okay, I'm just giving for example. Okay, I don't have this infection. I'm just saying, okay, yeah. Now look at this. Uh, X immediately releasing the rhabditis form. This is something called parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis means you don't have the egg stage uh, directly. You know, I mean, like uh, uh, I mean to say, uh, without any fertilization, just like that, immediately the egg release. That is called parthenogenesis. So for this example, is your strongyloides, strongyloides, because there is only female worm, no male worm, only female worm directly it lays the egg and this thing. That's called parthenogenesis. Strong woman doesn't need anyone. Directly she lays the larva, like egg and larva. Egg immediately lays over VV Paris. That's called over VV Paris. This question was asked in a recent INICT. Now, what about the VV Paris? VV Paris go, uh, VV Paris means see, they, they no eggs directly larva. So that means be big, no? So, example, your elephantiasis, that is uh, Ustereria, Ustereria, and then other one is your. Uh, dragon colosus that is the guinea worm dragon colosus dragon colosus dragon colosus these are the common brugge also but mainly these two okay common that's it now let's go to individual fun fun the fun starts here now so enterobius vermicularis what do you think this is otherwise called so many names every one of us had this pin worm seat worm pin worm seat worm everything anything anything you say okay pin worm seat etc now what happened the other name is this thing pin worm seat worm okay pin worm seat worm everything the root is fico oral root only fico fico oral fico oral root uh, root diagnosis is egg egg you see what is the egg you can see here egg here Ah, egg is planoconvex. 
plano, plano concave, con, plano concave, ¿no? plano concave. Okay, one set plane, other one is, uh, sorry, plano convex, yeah, plano convex, okay, plano convex, okay. One set is plane, and other one is convex, so plano convex, okay, plano convex egg like this. If you get an egg like this, one side, like a D shape, no, D, then thing, okay. So, see, it's very simple. If you forget also, see, you know, D shape, no, D. What happened? Usually children, what they, what is the symptom? Children, they get the perianal itching. Perianal itching. No, they get perianal itching. So when they get a perianal itching, what the child will call? Usually call, they'll call it dd only na. D, 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 they call it. So D shaped. No? So when you D shaped egg, that is the enterprise so vermiculitis. This question will be repeated. Sure. Now auto infection. Auto infection means infection automatically goes back to our body. So there is chest. Shortcut is chest. What is C for? C for cryptos. Cryptosporidium, cryptosporidium, the acid parasite, and H for H nana as uh, auto infection, E for entrobe, this one, entrobios, so you know, fecally they touch the anal and then go into the mouth and then it goes inside, entrobios. Hmm. Because, see, perianal, uh, before, uh, okay, well, let me come there, then strongyloides also, auto infection, strongyloides infection, and T for tenia solium, tenia uh, solium, these are the auto infection. Okay, now, uh, perianal itching is the characteristic sign, why? Because the, uh, how do you, Diagnosis car. What happened? The are the, the when you the, this enterprise when you lays the egg at night time in the perianal region. So that's what this perianal. Region. So what you do? You use a tape called NIH tape, National Institute of Health tape or Scotch tape. Scotch tape. Okay. And then from there you take the smear. Uh, you take from the perianal smear. You touch and take it, and then you see under the microscope. So you think so clear, right? Perianal itch, NIH worm, plana convex. Everything is orphic or root, seat worm, pin worm. Wow, what is this next one? So it looks beautiful. This is a beautiful coconut here for you guys. Trichoris, how to remember? This is very easy. Try, try to break the coconut shell. Okay. Try, try to break the coconut shell with whip. With a whip. Whip means, you know, not the, the one which beat the animals on a horse and all like that. That's a whip. Okay. So this is other name is called whip worm. This is a whip worm. Huh. Okay, whip form, whip, uh, shall we say whip and dumble also, whip and dumble. Okay, so see everything is there. So this is first of all, this is called coconut rectum, coconut shell rectum, because it becomes so severe and it becomes like, it looks like a coconut shell, coconut shell rectum. This will be able to prolapse of the rectum. This question, exact word can come or picture can come, coconut shell. Other than the egg is the most important. You see on either side, there is this knob. So that's what this is called as. Dumble. Dumble shape. Like our dumble is also seen in the pox virus, the one for the nucleus. Here also one dumble has come. Okay, but either side, two knobs, you know, two polar end knobs. So it looks like a dumble. So this is also called whip form. Other name is whip form. Okay, trichotus stricoria. Over. Now Ascaris. Ascaris lumbric or Ascaris lumbric, as we told, this is the most common. This is the most common round, most common round worm. Among round worm, nematel means this is the most common, most common round worm. Okay. Now here are two things. See if there is uh, this is this is the egg. One, there is a space. Other one, there is no space. If there is a, if the space is present, fertilized egg. If not, no, no space means not fertilized. No, no, not fertilized egg. Okay, not fertilized egg. That only, that's a clue. So if you get a picture like this, they'll give a clinical symptom of whatever, you know, diarrhea, area of malabsorption, that, this, this thing, then you'll find it. So egg, Ascariska, that's the picture. Nothing to tell about that in Ascaris. Necator um, and Ancyclostoma, these two both are hookworms. This is also hookworm, this whole worm. So one disease which both causing is iron deficiency anemia. Vitamin B12, don't forget diplobotrium lotum, diplobotrium, for big name, so big B12. Iron is here, it is necator, this is because iron deficiency anemia, iron deficiency anemia. Okay, hookworms, iron deficiency anemia. Uh, now, here if you see, hmm, yeah, so this is the hookworm, you see, inside hookworm, there is big, large, this, you know, uh, cysts are there, these are these things inside, okay, the eggs, no? Embryos, okay, right like this. So like this is called hookworm, typical hookworm. Now you see this is there is something called when the larva migrates, no, when the larva because you have cutaneous larva migrants when they penetrate your skin and come down in visceral migrant. So cutaneous larva migrant, as I told you, sand will come here. That means strongyloides, ancyclostoma, any ancyclostoma, necator, all comes here. But visceral, there is only one toxo, cara. 
toxocaracanis. This question can come. So that's what toxocaracanis. I'm telling you only one thing. Toxocaracanis. Okay, that's it. Now strongylitis. And strongylitis cells like this. You know, always I say, always strong female. So there is only female worm, no male, only female worm. Directly, what happened? It lays the egg and then the larva goes out. Okay, so that's what strong female I say. So always remember strong females are very fast. No, they're very fast. Recurrence, right? So larva recurrence. This is the word exactly. Larva recurrence. Okay, electric current. Like, like, they're very super fast. Electric current. So larva recurrence will be uh, in the strongyloid is terporalis. That's what I want to say. Okay. Larva recurrence. This word typical, you know, larva recurrence, fast, all this thing comes in there. And then it's a strong female. Always, you know, they are single enough to manage everything. So this thing. And of course, it is to skin penetration. We already took a skin penetration. The site where they're penetrating, it is called as the, the site where they're penetrating. You see this uh, itch because swimmers itch. No, no, that is, I'll tell you message, I'll come later. So skin penetration. Okay, that's it. So skin penetration, strong little circularis. Okay, I think I finished everything in here. Anything need to be added here? Barefoot, that's what barefoot. So the skin penetration, only the larva, that is especially this mm, filariform. Filariform penetrates the skin and goes in and causes all the things. Okay, that's it, fine. Now, Ushiria brancopti. In Ushiria brancopti, uh, they cause this is elephantiasis. Elephantiasis. Leg, uh, that you know, which is because elephantiasis only, because elephantiasis only, okay. You know, that's what I mean. Sorry, one second. Yeah, elephantiasis only, because it's a so, Ushir Brankitum is elephant, as you know very clear. Why? Because here the lymphatic system is affected. The main thing is lymphatic is affected. That's what, what happened in urine. Also, you have something called chilurea. Chilurea means the urine in the thing. And then you know it is called, transmitted by the Culex mosquito. Coolies, you know, we, when Ushir Brankitum is coolies, get, we told that they are elephant. Yes. So, this is the one. So, now one specific thing is that in microfilaria, microfilaria, the important thing in the tail, in tail and there is no nucleus. That's the important point here. Okay, that's very important. So uh, in tail, uh, you you have you don't have any nucleus, zero nucleus. Okay, that's the important clue for this. Okay. Now Ancocerca volvulus. See, remember like this. You know, uh, there is this guy called Simu. Simu. He was traveling in the Volvo bus and fell into the river, and he got blindness. He, uh, this is a black simo. Okay, this is a black simo. He was going Volvo bus and fall into the river. He got blindness. Okay, everything is here now. Onco circa, onco Volvo bus. So, this is caused by black fly. Black fly, otherwise called simulium. Otherwise called simulium. Excuse me. Volvo bus. So, the disease is river blindness. Exact word, okay. Oncocerca means oncoso volvo bus. When it falls into the river, you get river blindness. And why this is simu? Because it's a black play and simulium simu, okay. Oncocerca lower lower, lower lower, lower, see, lower, lower, the two lower that means beautiful eyes. You can draw beautiful eyes, you, know? you can write beautiful eyes. So, usually, what happened if you uh, if you see this is the beautiful in Malabar, this is in Malabar, this deer, you know, this deer. You see, it's crying. This Malabar deer, Malabar deer. I say Malabar deer. Okay, Malabar deer. Why did it? Why you have to say Malabar deer? I'll tell you why. Okay. Now, why is it Malabar Gilabar here? Because simply in lower lower, first of all, it's eye warm. See, it's crying. The cry soaps. Lower lower is transmitted cry soaps or deer play. You'll have a question here. You will have a black play simulium, black Volvo, black simu. Crying deer, see that the, it is crying. So, chrysops, you get lower, lower. That also an eye worm infection also. What is this Malabar? At the site of bite, you see some swelling called Calabar swelling. So, Malabar, you make Calabar. Malabar or Calabar swelling. There's some special swelling, Calabar. You can have this, Calabar. 
Calabar lover means I, I, dear, dear, I walk. Very, very simple. Okay, very easy. Trichinella spirus, anything inside the muscle. You see anything inside the muscle like this, inside muscle, spiral is now. So, skeletal muscle, anything you see inside the skeletal muscle, that is trichinella spiralis. This should be asked. You can see the cyst inside it. Okay, picture like this comes, trichinella spiralis. Right? Of course, also from the fourth only, when there's metagrid. Dragon culus is what? Guinea worm. Do you have guinea worm? Okay, it's a guinea worm, dragon culus. Here it is the guinea worm. Dragon culus is very dangerous. So now what happens is that this is causing this dragon culosis is actually eradicated. This is eradicated in India. We don't have it in India. It's a guinea worm. So now what happened? Usually, again, it usually painted the skin and goes and causes and all. So this is the way you remove in olden days video. But anyway, we, we don't have it anymore. But remember, okay, it's usually present the fonts and etc. When it enters, it goes and then uh, while removing, you know, with this only you roll it and take it out. Okay, that's a guinea worm. Dragon Bull is another name. Okay, right. Now, uh, non bile eggs. So now the, we are going to very shortly. Non bile eggs is Neha. Neha is not, she's very good girl. So there's no any bile stain. So N for Nicator, E for Enterobius, H for H Nana. A for and cyclostoma. Okay, non bile stain. Now, X the float. Float means heat to float. You heat to float. Okay, so H for again, H nana. E for again, enterobius. Enterobius and H nana, they're always present everywhere. Even if you forget also, you'll remember always. It will float. A for again, and cyclostoma. T for tenia. And then, uh, ah, this is a fertilized egg. F for fertilized egg of, this could be a question, but unfertilized will not, only fertilized will float. F for have fertilized egg of Ascaris. That's it. These are the eggs that can float. That question can be asked. Okay. So this is very, very easy. So fine. Now the last, almost last part, treatment. See, all, most of the infections, okay. See, this is the prasicontal. Prasicontal, this is crystals of prasicontal. Most infections, most parasite, you give prasicontal. Especially I'm talking about cestrode, nematode, whatever. And most, most of the cestrode and trematode I'm talking, cestrode, most parasite. But this is tricolor, you know. Triclabendazole, 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 tricolor, this is a tricolor. So this is, you put it on the face, no? So fasciolopsis, fasciolopsis and fasciola. Fasciolopsis and fasciola, you give triclabendazole. Question, question. Prasicontal for most of them. Who bends? Chinese, this is bend, no? Bendazole, albendazole, eh, no? So albendazole, you give for what? Chinese people. So this is again clonorhynchus sinensis. Usually prasicontal works, but even you can give here also. Clonorhynchus sinensis you can give, right. Nemophis. Nemo can bend. No? All nematodes can bend. So I'll bend also. I'll bend also. Okay. So all bend also. I'll bend also. So this is, um, this is again, yeah, this is uh, again, uh, IV got ivermectin. Who is ivermectin? Strong ladies, strong ladies. So for strong women, you give ivermectin, okay? Ivermectin, that question can be asked. Albert, all the nematodes, Albert also, all the nematodes. This is, you see elephant too, no? So two, so for elephant, yes, this. For elephant, yes, the drug of choice is DEC. What is DEC? Di diethyl carbamazine. Diethyl carbamazine. Diethyl carbamazine. That's it. That's it. This much only you should know. Okay, finish. That is bacteria, not one. Okay. That's all. We have finished almost everything. See, I tried to, this is a revision class, so I picked the right topic important topic where questions are expected and i gave you 
Okay, rest all in your hand. Uh, I mean, how fast you revise this other subject, whatever, and solving questions or whatever, there will be a few more minutes. So do well. And I'm expecting for, uh, uh, I pray for good results for all of you for FMG exam. You will definitely rock and you'll get a good score. And uh, I'll try to make one video just before the exam, just the pictures and the tests, which obviously is very important. You know, you can't make mistake in those questions. I'll try to make it. Okay, for now, uh, all the best, study well. And uh, very, the, I'm, I'm expecting good results from you guys. Okay. Take care. See you guys soon.